I'm back. Good to see you guys. Hope you're having a great night. We're doing this again. Uh, so good to see you all. Hello, Kaiser Fluffy Wuffy with 62 months. Thank you, bud. We're going to do this again. Sorry for the late start. I had some tech issues. Took me about 30 minutes to resolve. Um, the fastest way to get me to remove these glasses is to mention them. I'm forgetting I have them on. Thank you for reminding me that they give me, that they cause me pain. Uh, Joel Tick, thanks for 16 months, bub. Um, it's good to see you guys here. Uh, I'm forgetting I, I have them on. I keep forgetting I have them on. Mike is now super blind. How many times do I have to explain this? I'm nearsighted. I don't need them, and when I wear them needlessly, I get headaches from it. It causes me pain, so thank you for reminding me. Uh, Mayo Chicken with 15 months, thank you. Thanks, guys. Um, so, guys, thanks for coming tonight. And being here, especially because... The streamer awards are tonight, and I know that's a big draw, so I think I really appreciate a lot of you guys choosing to watch me over the the streamer awards. Guys, I have to say a lot... Uh, 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 The way a, a lot of the, the the bigger the bigger streamers act on this website, like I'm not trying to throw shade at anybody, but just by saying this, but isn't it, it isn't it like re really unfortunately reminiscent of like high school, like 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 they they act like they're in high school, like it's like it's like clicky and cringe and and fucking uncomfortable. With a lot of those people, it is really it's a massive turnoff for me. And I and I think when you when you realize that like a lot of their fan bases are fucking children, it starts to make a lot more sense. And then when you realize that hold on, a lot of them are children, it starts to make a lot more sense, right? Rocket uh, uh Zeluna, thanks for 32 months. Um yeah, it's re it's it's really it's really an unfortunate parallel that's kind of difficult to not notice for me, um, especially because we we are talking about grown adults like, it's like sometimes, I mean, half the time. Now that the populars have taken over nerd space and over marketed it, it's. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I think there's an argument to be made that, like, after a certain point, every facet of life has, like, elements of, of, of like, of high school. You know, like, Lord of the Flies type thing. Like, may, maybe even, like, the office you work at has shades of that, you know? Like, it's... It's, uh...
it's it's a kind of a it's a thing that follows you throughout life, unfortunately. But some play in, in some scenarios, it feels more evident than it does in other scenarios, right? Does that make sense? Some people don't know how to grow up. You, you know what it also is is it's you have you have a lot of the in in this in this industry in this space you have a lot of people finding success and wealth at a very very young age and what that creates is arrested development because you, you don't you don't have to grow up you don't have to learn about empathy for other people you don't have to learn about you know like what it is to be in a society and shit because you're insulated from it because of your wealth and like you don't get a chance to grow up you know what i mean and that's why you have a lot of those people acting like children you know behaving like children and 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 fucking trying to like honestly like yeah like those up those 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 top streamers it feels like i'm looking at people i, I went to high school with you, you know like it's really, um, it's really fucked. It's really fucking gross, frankly. Um. But anyway, uh. Let's move on. We're do we're doing some of the uh, King of the Castle again tonight. Uh, do you ever plan on playing No Man's Sky again? No. Um, you guys, some of you remember how this is. You should have the widget on your screen. Do you do you see the widget? I don't think it's possible for you guys to join yet because I haven't started the game. Um. By the way, it, it's seems to be the general consensus on this game is the king can't win. Rev, what's up, bud? He's gonna uh, let uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna join. The widget is there. Cool, Web dude. Thanks for five months. Um, Rev won. Oh bullshit. Limes won. Bullshit. Fucking cap. That's cap. That's so cap, Junior. R I two X E with the give sub. Thank you so much. You have to play CIA level mind games to manipulate chat into letting you in. Do I want a tip? Yes. Yes, I do want a tip. I can call you and give you a secret. Go ahead, call. Grapefruit with the raid. Thank you, buddy. Oh, man. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a good night, dude. Um, Oh, I appreciate that, man. Look, can we get a shout out for Grapefruit in here? Mods, if there's any mods here. Sloth with 22 months. Thanks, man. Hello? Hey, so first tip. Uh -huh. Go ahead and call so that way they can't hear it. So we can give you... Oh you, want, oh, you want to be muted? Yeah, mute me real quick so that way I can give you secret tips. Okay. All right. Okay. So they can't hear... They, they, not, they, not no. Hold on. <laughs> you muted yourself. I muted dude. myself. Okay, I muted myself. I, I sure did. Okay. So right. the way that you mute you is by clicking. Okay, hold on. Yep, yep. You'd probably got it. Okay, I got, I got it. Yeah, they can't hear you. They can't. I figured it out. We got there. We got there. Go ahead. Understood. Understood. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, but I want you to know something. I I did that last time, and no one cared. They, they're own. They they don't they don't care about winning. They only care about fucking me over. Like like they literally don't like that. That is the vibe. Like they just want to fuck me. They don't give a fuck. That's what it's all. It's all about ruining my life and like just destroying me at any cost they will they will they will disadvantage themselves to screw me like maybe it was different for you but like the vibe over here is like it doesn't matter how benevolent he is or how nice he is or how much he like how chill he is they want me to fail they 
They don't care. They, I swear to you, they don't care. Yeah, yeah. I'll, that seems like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just, just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that last point, of course, was felt, felt obvious, but I think, I, I think, it, can I unmute you now? It, it seems to me that it's, it's mostly RNG. There is an RNG element, like, but, um, you know, uh, keep, keep those, those tips in mind and it will help some. Uh, -huh. Okay. It's mostly, it, I think it's just mostly You just, just want to stack RNG. the odds in your, your favor as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I also know that this is the strategy, so I will be doing everything I can to fuck you over. So enjoy that. Well, I, you know, do you want to, do you want to not do that? Any chance of you not doing that? Um, on the table? We'll is that on the table? If you're not... Um. I mean, you're one guy, you know. Yeah, I mean, one guy, but chat respects me, so they might just do whatever I do. All right, so Matt Mellon I has... I love that one guy emote. That's amazing. Yeah, where did that come from? That's beautiful. That's uh, 7TV has that. Matt Mellon has a tip that seems obvious. It's a bad idea to promise viewers something they may enjoy more after the game is finished. I'm sure it wasn't just me who wanted to see Pizza Tower more than this game last time. Oh, so by and making we, you fail fast. We knew yeah. we could end the game by betraying you. Mm. Well, we're going to do... We're going to do Mario uh, Kart afterwards. So, yeah, if you want to If you <laughs> If you want to see I'd Mario rather... Kart, just just behead me as soon as it start that start the rebellion as soon as possible. Mm, yeah. Um oh, one other tip. Yeah. Uh can you meet me here again real quick? You're muted. Yeah. They, but, but Rev, I need you to understand something. That is almost exactly what I did last time, and it, it failed miserably. That is that is actually exactly what I did last time, and it was a horror. It was, it, 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 it just I don't know. I without I can't get into detail, but it didn't work. Hang on, I think. Okay, you're unmuted. Okay, cool. I think you're just fucked. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They don't care. Like those strategies mean are meaningless to them. Okay. They, they they see through it and they don't give a shit. Goose right. man, thanks for the sub, but like uh, uh, chat, fresh freak. Freak. Dumpies, please. Um, but you know, good luck with that. Do you um? Do you want to be my advisor? Uh, I'm hungover as fuck, but sure. You want to be my advisor for a little bit? Sure, okay. I'll be your advisor. All right, new dynasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, you're, you're gonna be like my um, what's new his... dynasty? Every time also feels like a good idea. What's what's his name? The the guy the uh... Jafar. Yeah, sure, Jafar. I got the you... beard for it. I was thinking of the guy from Lord of the Rings. Oh, I don't know him. That that Weasley little 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 piece of shit. <laughs> Not... <laughs> no, the the, the advisor. Worm tongue. The wor worm tongue. Yeah, yeah. Wor you want to be my sure. worm tongue? Sure. SC Knight, I... thanks for two months. So how do I be me if I'm playing? Because I mean I own the game, obviously. So well, how do I be? Well, me like you be you 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 can't you can't play the game if you're gonna be my advisor, bro. Oh yeah, that'd probably be a. Conflict. Unless you wanna, is there a way we could we could do multiplayer and then just no no no, right? no I'd be just actively trying to fuck you over. And it you does. can't. Yeah, it's not okay. It's, all, it all, seems all, like right. antithetical to the idea. Yeah. Um. Uh. Um, bu bus lord of of um big dicks. Sure. Well, a I mean that's dicks. your monarch name. Yep. Okay. Dynasty name. Um, so you'd want to change your 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 dynasty name to big dicks, right? Big 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 big, big dicks. All right. Sure. 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 Okay. Okay. Bus lord. Um. What if it was something? Hold on. Like 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 Bucifer. Bucifer. It's got a nice ring to it, right? That reminds me of um. Was it, uh, Pussifer? 
Lord Bucifer of Big Dicks. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's fucking so stupid. All right. Don't, don't say like King Lord Bucifer. Um, good. Even better. It's the, the more like honorifics, the better, right? Sure. Yeah. No, that's how I live my life. All right. Right. Um, party game. Uh, play yeah. on Twitch. Right. We want to do play on Twitch, of course. Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Is there a way to make this like? Uh, oh, okay. There it is. So I was thinking we could pick the ones we didn't pick last time, chat. The counts are ruthless aristocrats steeped in secrecy. I love them. Uh, allegations of forbidden rituals are unproven. Oh, they're weird. They're, they, they're, they're like vampires. Spooky they're like spooky yeah. gods. Okay. Grandees of the South. They are impassioned duelists known for their strict adherence to honor, etiquette, and the ninth god. Okay. So they're. Um, they, they go for faith wins. They go for faith wins. Okay. That's what I went yeah. for last time. And you know what was fucked? Mm -hmm. I had it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I literally had the, the faith. I had the, the stats that I needed and I had the air. And chat still fucked me in the final round. Mm -hmm. So I guess the, the vibe is like uh, barons, I think, are just like warlords. Chiefs of the north are like Vikings. The goths are, uh, the counts are goths. Mm -hmm. uh, grandees are like religious nuts and patricians are like um, capitalists. Yeah, they were disgusting the last time we played this. Yeah. So, so what, do you, what do you want as the third? The barons again? The barons or the patri the patricians were 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 very interesting, honestly. Um, the the uh, the blue. You could do a quick poll vote. Blue really, really, really pissed me off last time. Honestly, mm. they all found ways to like really piss me off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. D didn't they? Right. Uh, counts are weird because they usually go for like low stats. Uh huh. Like we want to have the lowest uh faith. Okay, let's do. The, I'm gonna do. We're gonna do barons again because barons seem like they're just basic. They're kind of basic, yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna do that again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course. Uh, type exclamation point join in Twitch chat to join the game as a noble. You will be assigned a random. Um, right. You you get filtered into one of these randomly, right? God damn it. Did you get fil did you you're playing? I just wanted to be goth. If I was goth, I would have been like, all right, peace, Aliati, but you know. you can't, you're gonna advise me. You can't you can't be playing against me if you're gonna fucking advise me, bro. Okay, fair enough. Right. Um So yeah, Purple let's check it out. Best team, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so did you play against uh, red last time? You did, right? I, I that's the yeah. It was red, blue, and green. Mm -hmm. and, and green was green is savage. They, they they were they were cocksuckers, man. They they were so. I think they won against me. No, it was yellow that won against me twice. I have not played against yellow or I haven't seen ye any of the yellow or purple stuff. I do so. not trust the battle nuns. They have murdered me twice. That's the purple battle nuns. That's the yellow. They have like oh. Uh, nuns they're like the religious zealot type people mm -hmm, yeah, yeah okay okay yeah i hadn't i hadn't seen that 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 dynamic yet um mike you fucked over green so bad I, you, you can't you can't be friends with everybody guys mm -hmm. you know like so are you guys done joining well, they can join later as well. So, like, once you have a decent number, and this is probably fine, you can just go. Right, they could, you could join later. Right, right, okay. Right, exactly. So it's not going to be a big deal. You could join whenever you want. Um, mm -hmm. So we start with the coronation. Okay. Um, You want to do a funny voice for this guy? No, absolutely not, no. Like I said, I'm hungover as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, so do like a I'm hungover as fuck like voice at low effort. Yeah, right. Like, you have scheduled the coronation to take place in a week's time. I was really bad. That was yeah, just your I regular know. voice. Like, you just didn't well, even dude, like, again. I'm hungover. Like, what the fuck you want from me? What have you had a wild night last night? No, just you know, when you get older, it doesn't go away. You know, like sometimes. <laughs> oh, you can't. oh, I do. Oh, I do know. It's not just like. It happens. It's like it happens, and then you can't like. Rev, I yeah. get the ha the hangovers start before I'm done drinking. 
at this point. Oh yeah, like, does that's that, fun. Have you experienced that? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's that's coming. That's coming in the next. Telling it, me that things are coming and all that, and I'm just like, all right. That's coming in the next few years for you, bud. Um, you keep saying that. You keep it, saying that. It's coming down the pipe. Shouldn't I be giving the orders now? Of course, your majesty, but to delay any longer would make the nobles restless. Okay, what should I do? The council uh, will decide what happens at your... Right, right. And they threw me in the river, too. They, if you veto that, they will take a thousand of your treasury money instead. So you just let them throw you in the river. Yeah, let them do it. Yeah. Um. So there won't be a veto here. Um. Do whatever you want. You're just, they're, they're not going to choose anything but throw me in the river. Probably, yeah. Right. Host a lavish parade with jugglers, and uh, yeah, you you lose money no matter what. This is just kind of something to like hamstring you in the beginning of the the beginning of the game, honestly. Yeah, to put I, you at I a disadvantage. And yeah. also another thing is like, don't leave uh, them a lot of time to think, because then mm -hmm. they can't coordinate. If they can't coordinate, they can't work together as a team. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. I, I don't, don't, don't give, don't give away the, the secrets, bud. Oh, Mike is. But I, don't give away I, the secrets, I'll man. Hi. Hey, Tilda. I, how's she doing? She's doing good. She says your mustache looks good. What? Really? What? Man. Really? That's like again, like. I think you, it looks. You, you know, good. again, you know the story. It was a joke, and everybody liked it. Now they won't. They won't like. They won't, they, let won't me, let, they won't let me shave it now. Or really? not. Do, you, do you want to just, like, take the mic? Oh. Okay. But, I mean, he might be able to hear you. I don't know. I, 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 think, I, I think I just heard her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to have dinner with me? I'd love to. Oh, could I have one? Yeah. Can I have one? Just a, a full one would be good. I'll take a half one, please. You're going to take a half? <laughs> what are you talking about? What is it? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Come on. I don't know if it's against Twitch or not. It, is it booze? It's booze. Sure. Edibles? Sure. D dude, if it's legal, I... I it's I, legal, yeah, but just, yeah, you know. It, what is it, like gummies? What is it? Yeah, thank Co you, my love. Is, what is it, was it, is, is cookies, brownies? What do you got? It's, uh, they're, they're uh, creamsicle. Apparently. What? Like ice cream? Uh, no, it's just gummy. It's a gummy. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna be very not helpful in about like 30 minutes to an hour. Okay, looking forward to that. Yeah. It'll well, it'll simulate like my advisor slowly descending into madness and like irrationality yeah. mm -hmm. as he ages and like becomes more, you know, like inbred or whatever. That makes no yeah. sense. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, dignitaries are arriving and they're gonna. A lot of this stuff they've already read before, so you can kind of skip through. A trained eagle drops a ruby encrusted crown atop your head. Um, That's awesome. Oh, hold on. They wait. They they did. They didn't do the thing of. I think it's because I talked about it. Sorry. Um, already not doing great as an advisor. I'm just saying. Yeah, I think. Uh, oh they... yeah, this is a really good way of doing it. Chat, go ahead and use the prediction thing to pick which team you're on. So I'm on the barons. So I'm gonna choose barons. And just refund the points after you're done, Mike. And that way, people can have little markers next to their names so they can remember. Oh, they forget. They're gonna forget what teams they're on. Oh, hello, the boy. Hello, boy. How are you? Thank you. Why are we doing something that's giving them an advantage? Well, it just lets the lets you know what team they're on too. Uh, so if you see someone that's like, you know. Oh, I well, see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one I is barons, two, like. two is counts, and three is grandees. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So if you want to know what team you're on, you can also uh, choose the, the King of the Castle extension, make it mm -hmm. visible, and it should be whatever color you are. But some people don't want to have the extension visible, basically, is it? And some people are on um, mobile. Mobile, well. yeah. yeah. And you can't do it on... Well, you can't see what you are on mobile. You can still vote and stuff. You just won't be able to know. So using the prediction thing is a good way to do that. So they did this thing that raised all of their stats and gave them money, but it also it also gave me money? Is that is that right? Uh, no, their wealth went up. And I got and I got dick? I got nothing? Um, Yeah. Cool. Uh, thanks for the gift sub, Plastic Squid. Only the Grand Pensionary of Kurt is not in attendance. The Republic, after all, is fundamentally opposed to the concept of monarchy. That's an overseas 
like nation, right? Yeah. You can see them on the map. Yeah, they see, never yeah. show up, really. That's over here. Uh, it's, mm. Those are like the, the, the free nations of the, those, of the those West. Free or whatever, the, whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I'm so... I'm going to be real, real with you. I'm yeah. going to... Like, I know I'm a baron, but I'm just going to side with the East on, like, fucking everything. I don't know why you're in a team. I If I could have been, like, with the barons, I would have just... You know, I'm just not even going to vote. You're going to fucking backstab me as an advisor. I, Listen... Why you would I do that? You shouldn't be in the, the, the one of the teams, bro. How do I tell my team? If you have the extension, uh, go ahead and enable it. Uh, manage access and then allow it. And then it'll change the little extension thing in the corner to whatever color you're on. Now that you're the king, your first duty is to meet with the Council of Nobles. You can ignore this um, entirely. Well, hold on, because I, I, haven't, I personally have not seen these nations yet. Okay, right. I'm gonna go get some water. You okay. enjoy um, talking. To uh, so there leaders. she is, Countess Avery Corvoid Day. Um, some do it crows. You you ended up in the right. You ended up in the right uh, Harry Potter school or whatever the fuck these are. An honor to finally make your acquaintance, Your Grace. May you escape the doom that befell your predecessor. That talking about the last game. Incoming doom. Introduce yourself to the grandees of the south. Okay, so that's the east. Uh, we got the grandee, luminous vows. May the ninth god bless your reign. You will conduct yourself with honor and faith. Introduce yourself to the barons of the march. And there it is. Okay, we've seen that. Uh, you sigh and sit back. Is this what the council is like? Nothing happened. Stop complaining about literally nothing happened. Stop bitching. Okay, uh... Path to victory. Your Majesty, the first few years of your reign are the most difficult. You're new and unproven. You're going to scheme, kick you off the throne, put the puppet claim it. Oh, no. Secure an heir and prove you're worthy of the crown by completing an ambition. Okay. We got to figure one of these out. Um, It won't be faith because we did that last time. Um, Architect of... A new golden age. We could do trade. We could do authority. We could do military. We could do stability. We could do farming. Wish my advisor was here to tell me what he thinks might be a good. Uh, and by good, I mean easier one to achieve. <laughs> Go for authority or stability. Those are easier. Which of these do you think is easier? Um, I tried authority and it went bad. Okay. I tried uh, stability and it went bad. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. The military? barons want to increase their military. The counts want to increase their farming. Mm -hmm. The grandees want to increase their faith. So basically, those are ones that you know are going to go up in value. So in other words... But I mean, like, 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 I don't think I want to pick faith because I already did. But what you're trying to tell me is that I don't think faith is good here because what's going to happen is what's going to happen. Going to try and lower their faith. These people they don't believe in or the, 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 the not accounts. that's yeah the, yeah okay. The Goths do not like um, religion. Religion, yeah, they have their own religion, and it's yeah. It's funny because they're gonna. Tr I feel like they're gonna try to lower it, but the but the grandees are gonna try to raise it. Right. So, and then the barons don't give a shit. So it's probably going to go down. Um, and then the counts probably will lower farming across the board. So farming's probably Why? not right. Why would they want to do that? Because um, they want to have their own farming be the highest. All right. So why don't we? Uh, why don't we go military? Why don't we go military? That's I've, probably okay. I feel like the barons are going to want to do that too. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Um, well, and that that could work to my to work to my advantage, perhaps. So I would say let's just side with the barons. Yeah, let's do military. Okay. A warrior king is sure to be remembered fondly if he wins more battles than he loses. Whose ass do we have to kick though? Like, is there going to be asses for kicking? Yeah, you got all those invaders and and stuff like that. I suggest. And then if they mm -hmm. try and you know freak out and throw a rebellion or whatever. Over the next few years, you focus on improving the kingdom's overall military as much as possible. Yeah. And once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. 
Okay, time to turn on the charm. So, oh, I guess so the last time I played this, this was the north mm -hmm. up here. So it's changing based on which like regions you pick. Yeah, it shuffles them around a bit. Why can't they do it with five though? What was what was the was that um, was that like too hard to program? It'd be something? very confusing, and the boats will get split a lot. Yeah, right. Be too much. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the count scheme. Mm -hmm. Uh. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back the days of glory, but not while the false king, Lord Bucifer, wears the crown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mike, is this an ad? No. Why would you think that? This is just like the hot new streamer game. Um, blah, my fellow counts. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Uh, here you go, guys. So, I mean, the, but here's the thing. like you Only purple can vote on this. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, so they decide what they want to do. Okay. So if you're any other uh, faction, you won't get to choose what their thing is. Uh, all right, so their thing, they want to do blood ritual. Uh, goal, highest farming. I guess, I guess they think that's the easiest. I think it's just because it's a blood ritual, and that sounds awesome. Is that really what's going on here? I mean, when you think about the other ones, like Ascension and Subterfuge, mm -hmm. or Blood Ritual. You know what I mean? Like, which yeah. one sounds like the cool? I, I, guess it, I guess it is Blood Ritual, but it also, I mean, I don't know. It might not, it might not be the easiest. True. I went with Groupthink, yeah. Okay, yeah. there you go, Blood Ritual. Don't forget to bring the, uh, the chalices, guys. The chalices, the blood chalices. Oh, yes. So fancy and bougie. The Count's plan to summon an ancient famine demon that will devastate the other regions, paving a clear path to the throne. First, they must ensure the East can withstand a famine. I think I saw part of the Blade movie. It was on, like, uh, sci fi or something. Wait, you say you never seen Blade? I think I have. Ah, uh, go watch the whole thing, dude. I think I've seen it. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. I do like the, the, the bar scene or like the dance club scene. Where it's, it's like where industrial it's just, music and it, it's just like him freaking the fuck out in the middle mass, of it, killing people. Like, like massive chaos, like while well, there's a like, like strobe light going, right? Yeah. Listen, like it was a different time and it kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, that's a movie not, you need. You need to see in its entirety. It'll make dude, you appreciate you seen, things. Um, God, what is the name of that one? Uh, it's the one uh, that came out right around the same time as uh, The Matrix and as Gun Kata. Uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, but I don't remember the name of it. That movie fucking slaps. It's got um, what's Equilibrium. Name? Equilibrium. That yeah. movie is fucking awesome. I remember it being a little poopy, but it oh, has it been a long time. Oh, it is dumb as shit. Don't, yeah. don't get me wrong, but it's kind of awesome. Um, Christian Bale is the lead, yeah. In the future, it's illegal to feel things. That's that, why that's, we have that's, guns. That's, that's right. If you have a feeling, we shoot you. Yeah. Right. So everyone's on Xanax. That way they can't <laughs> feel anything. Um, Best. Okay, to advance the scheme, the counts must be the region with the highest farming within four seasons. Now here's the grandees. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. Grandees of the South, this is a stain on our whole hour. We must not allow it to go unanswered. So I think grandees are the only one that have a glitched. Um, there is one event that's glitched. It's not too bad, but oh. it's just kind of weird. Uh, what do you mean it's glitched? Um, they they try and um rob themselves in one of them like it doesn't randomize who the other team is so they'll just fight and rob themselves oh it's like an actual bug okay yeah it's an actual bug they know about it they might have fixed it all right so they want a lower stability uh they're going for this excommunication uh thing. raising own farming would fuck over purple if you guys did that but it's too late because they already it's also important to like say strategies while they're like voting so that way the people who are undecided can be convinced into things 
sometimes be accurate in what you're saying, sometimes straight up lie and just say incorrect information. You know? C Star, thanks for the resub. Just just because people who are just joining will not know which yeah. you are saying. He's saying we need to flood the zone with shit. Just Basically, fucking they need to be me, me when I spread misinformation to the kingdom. Uh, right. Yeah, just gaslight the shit out of everyone. <laughs> um, okay, so... But but like I told you before, um, their ultimate goal, they don't give a fuck about winning as long as I lose. I swear to God, that's that's how they play this game. That's how mm, they played yeah. this game last time. They didn't give a single fucking shit about winning. Mm -hmm. Moderators, can you please ban that stream element spot to be on banned at a later date? Thanks, guys. Yeah, we, I, I told you to on ban that. It looks like we need to ban it again. Is it being weird? Yeah, we got it. We got, we got, yeah, it's being, we got to ban that bot, guys. Thanks, guys. Sorry. Yeah, I, I made them on because we, I, we, because we are going to need that, but it's, 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 there's something very wrong with that thing. Okay, the grandees plan to persuade the archbishop to ex. That's going to be on Monday, that Macarena thing. To excommunicate the king, first they must lower royal credibility. To advance their scheme, the grandees must lower stability to four or less in two seasons. That's going to be very easy for them. It's five right now. I have like a hate boner against the yellow. I'll be honest with I, you. I have to do everything I can to fucking raise stability or that is going to immediately basically take place. The mm. first is always easy. I don't know. The I thought first the one is always, yeah. I thought the, the counts one is actually a little bit difficult. Th but that didn't seem winning. that hard, yeah. When right, have Red the Witch. barons of the march ever backed down from a fight? We're going to put me, your rightful queen, Bertha, on the throne. Bertha? Okay. Intimidation. Goal, raise others' defiance. Um, where you got modernization, lower their military, or propaganda. Okay, to lower stability. Propaganda we had last time. Um, they did not succeed at it, if I remember correctly. Although I may not be remembering correctly. Lowering stability might be a good choice. In the sense that it would abs acts actually be the worst choice, and you're gaslighting them, right? No, I think it's it's good because then you can work with yellow on that. All right, so that's why we're gonna get, let modernization. Uh, whoop. Yeah. All right, so. Okay. Looks cool. like so now you only have to defend stability, really. Okay. The barons plan to persuade the population that only a charismatic general can protect them. First, the common folk must be afraid. To advance the scheme, you have to lower stability to four in, in three seasons. Four seasons or less? Three seasons or less. Lower stability, have the highest farming, which they already do. Or right. um so we need to we need to find a way to lower that farming in the next four seasons. To really fuck them in the butt. All right. Yeah, I mean if don't, we wanna, don't fret about it too much right now. If we want to screw them over. Mm-hmm. Lower the kingdom stability in four or less into so basically the we can have yellow and red working together to get that stability down. Right. Unfortunately, so, so we we need to do everything we can to keep that stability uh, as high as possible. Right, but here's the deal: yeah. you know that's the issue with them. So that means that we can kind of team up with purple, right? Because purple's already going to win one. So why don't we do that? Why don't we just like help purple a little yeah but and, you can't uh, do that because like if i because dude i i sat here and openly fucking pleaded with t i was like yeah i, I will do everything i can to help them. you you, just, you, you promised them you no know? and then they and then in certain instances they got exactly what they wanted and still chose to destroy me like you well, can't do, do that doesn't work what you're fucking you that doesn't work what you're saying listen you know like it's, here's the deal i don't want yellow to win so I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that yellow loses. That's the only thing I really give a shit about. Like, you're right. This game is really fucking hard for Kings. So like, as long as yellow loses, I'm fine with that. 17 months, uh, from bookworm. Thank you. Help us with the blood ritual. I mean, if we're, if, like, I, 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 I could They're say good on the blood ritual. So like, you don't really need to help them. I mean, I could say right now, okay, 
purple. Let's have an alliance. I will do everything I can to help you. Well, okay. Every other time you help them out. That's the rule you got to make because if you do it every time, that's not real. You're not actually going to do that. Every other time you help them out, right? So if, like there's an opportunity, you Til veto the things they'll screw over like their farming or whatever. But then when they get an opportunity to backstab me, they're absolutely going to do it. Like in what universe do you think they're not going to take an opportunity to fuck me? Because they're going to be like, oh, remember three turns ago when he did this thing that helped us? They don't give a shit. They just want to see me fail. Well, I mean, yeah, you're a Twitch streamer. You know that they're going to bully yeah, the shit out so, of you, so right? why even bother with that pretense? You know, like... Diplomacy is not your thing right now, is it? It, but, I mean, like, I thought it was, but they all didn't give a fuck. They were like, oh, thanks for this. Th th thanks for this, asshole. And just, again, plunged the dagger into my back the second they got the opportunity to do it. Like, it didn't that matter what, I, like didn't matter what I did for them. You know? Mm -hmm. I will say that the battle nuns look rad as fuck, but they will absolutely lead you to your own death. So I do not trust them. Now that you're a king, you need personal protection. I could plunge my sword. Right, we've seen this. Uh, okay, honor guard, keep you safe. What are my options? Okay. Um, we should pick one. Battle nuns, okay, which we're not going to pick because... Well, I frankly, don't because them, you don't... They're kinda, yeah, they're, they're, they're cool looking. Like, listen, I'm going to be that guy for a second. I'm just going to say, like, nuns are hot. Yes. Yes. You think nuns are sexy? Yeah. I'm going to tell you why. It's because you can't have them. That well, makes them that makes them hotter because they're 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 off limits. I right. guess. There's a show on You're Netflix. Going to I'm going to hell for other reasons, but I mean, whatever. There's a show on Netflix that you would absolutely jerk off to. It's called Warrior Nun, and they have a hot nun and she's like a battle a battle nun and she's mm -hmm. hot. And it's like everything, it's, 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 it's basically porn to you, if you like, if you have a nun kink. It's just porn. If, if, it's, just, it's just porn. If you have a nun kink, it's porn. Mm -hmm. I see. Right? Check out the nuns, though. It I mean, kind like, of you don't have to go with them, but like, you know, just check them out anyway, because like, kind of awesome. The show is not good, by the way, but I think, I think you, I think you'd like it based on what you just told me. Understood. Right. Mike, stand up. I have a boner. I'll just tell you right now. I'll just straight up hmm. tell you I have a boner. Um, tell me about the Southern Battle Nuns. Oh, they got masks? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that fucking rad? That is rad. It will absolutely lead you to your death, but they're cool as fuck. They've sworn a vow of silence. They won't spill state secrets. Nah. That's, that's spooky, dude. It's um, true. They won't spill state secrets because they'll just kill you normally. The Eastern Knights, the Order of the Drowned Rose are respectable. They understand palace etiquette, but it's been years since they fought in an actual battle. They mostly write poems these days. Last time I did this, I went with the Veterans of the March. And in the in, in, thinking that that would be the beginning of a path to, like, you know, some kind of alliance. They didn't give a shit. They fucked me in the ass. They didn't care. So now that as a direct result of that, I am not choosing them this time. Okay, so that means that you got to choose the the goth yeah. knights. Then? Yeah, we're gonna okay. go with the goth. Uh, even even though they're kind of like, you know, they're just too goth to fight. <laughs> you know, like yeah, I mean, they're just writing poetry and shit. So like, you know, it's not really the best defense ever. But yeah. like, you know, it's eh, you know. Right. Too too goth to fight. Uh, Very mainstream um, to fight things. But let's uh let's 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 do it. Let's go with um the Eastern yeah, the Eastern Knights. Uh I do like the idea of like warrior poets. That's cool. Like them chanting battle hymns while they're like murder. That's that's cool. The knights arrive a few weeks later, they are pale and polite. The commander introduces herself with a florid bow before reading out a poem she's written for the occasion. Oh, they oh they were serious. I thought that I thought oh, that yeah, was Oh yeah, they're very serious about that. I thought that was hyperbole. No. Oh, I don't get to see the poem. I kind of wanted to see it. It was like, dude, these are just cure lyrics. Okay, you can't just pass these off as your own. Touring again. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Big question on why. Uh, but you know, they you know, there, there it is. Yeah.
All right, so let's see what they got going on here. Uh, Your Majesty, a number of grandees have gone missing in the East. They traveled to Count Android Priest's castle to negotiate a trade agreement, but they should have returned weeks ago. The missing grandees never even made it to my lands. They most likely got lost. The East is a dangerous place. <laughs> Who's gone missing? Anybody I care about? <laughs> Uh, where could they have gone? Who Just knows? north. Hmm? Who knows? Just north of my estate lies the Mold Patter Forest. To the west, the Twilight Lakeland. In the south, the Larian Swan. I like to live remotely. It does wonders for the soul. Oh, look who's missing. Grandy the Plushy. Uh-oh. Not Plushy. Plushy's got a founder's badge. Grandy Bob the 13th and Grandy Andromeda Official. Oh, no, not plushy. Oh, no. I'm certain this is some kind of ploy by Count Android Priest. In a few months' time, he'll quietly offer us a ransom. Seventh takers, don't be so foolish. We'll find them. We just have to decide where to focus our efforts. Okay. Um, you guys didn't... You, you didn't kidnap these people, right? You don't have them in, like, some kind of weird, like, blood dungeon or something? Right, you guys aren't doing weird stuff to them, right? Like you're not doing. Uh, I'm gonna be real. It's it's probably exactly that thing that Jordan Peterson was tweeting about, where he thought it was like a, a thing where it was like the the Chinese were like milking people's dicks for for cum or whatever. Did you see this? No. Sound. What, 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 tell me more. Okay, so he found this video of this woman who had strapped a couple of guys down to like medical beds. Yeah, and like they had penis pumps on. It was like yep. draining in their cum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, is, it was a it was kink shit. It was like it was yeah. like I'm a, no, it, was it was like cold, it was cold a, kink. Yeah. yeah, right. Well, it was like uh, hardcore S and M. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like medical S and M. Oh yeah, I know it's just porn. I was just describing it the way that he was describing it. That's fucking bad. You yeah, want to hear? You want to hear something God amazing? Does not have his shit together. Do, do you want to hear something amazing? What? The first time I saw that photo, like, the, you know that one picture of, like, the guy in the, he's wrapped up in the fucking, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. rubber thing. Uh -huh. And he's got the penis pump on his dick, and the woman is standing in front of him taking a selfie. Huh? Okay. The first time I saw that, it was with the Her caption. Pump. You oh. hearing me? Yeah, no. It was with the caption that... That was Jordan Peterson when he was in a coma, and the person taking the selfie was his daughter. Right. And I, I totally fell for it and believed it for, like, days until somebody corrected me. It, it sounds like something that he would like. If I go into a coma, make sure you get all of my cum so I can have, like, babies. I'm going to be real with you. I blinded the fucking penis pump the first time I saw it. <laughs> and the, the, and yeah, I blinded the penis pump, and, and the caption was something like... It was like, oh, isn't it fucked up that Jordan Peterson's daughter would take selfies of her, of her like, in front of him while he was in that coma? This is fuck. They were like, this is, um, you know, exploitative or, or, or something, right? Elder like, abuse or whatever the fuck. The, the irony totally went over my head. Mm -hmm. They were like, oh, she's exploiting him for, like, sympathy or something like that. They're like, wow, that's really fucked up. Mm -hmm. The irony went completely over my head. I didn't realize it had nothing to do with him, and I just I fell for it like hook, line, and sinker, like fake news. And then I think I brought it up to chat, and chat was like, "Yeah, that's not Jordan Peterson. There's a cock pump in that picture." <laughs> and I was like, "What do you mean there's a cock pump?" And then I had to go look at it again, and I was like, well, "Yeah, you're they, right. Yeah, they got me. Okay, yeah, they got me." Yeah, no, I, I, yeah. I looked, there, there's been ones like that that I fell for, and yeah. it's like, oh. They got me good. The problem with, like, people just saying insane shit all of the time is I'm not entirely sure if what's happening is real anymore. I think I'm starting to feel a part of me. Like, like the part of me that did care and was, like, always trying to sort, like, the truth from, from distortion is, mm -hmm. di is dying. I, oh, I, yeah, I, I, I no feel it. I anymore. feel it dying from exhaustion. Mm -hmm. now yeah like no, it, too much work to trying to figure out it, what's actually happening it, it, it can't do it anymore and, and you know what that's what they want like uh, not yeah, to get it is. to get too real but that's that was the plan all along like to get us to a point where like we legitimately can't fucking tell and we it's we're too exhausted to try anymore like it's yeah it's it's 
it, it's working. It's absolutely working. It... Yeah, that's the problem is when people actively act really stupid, it's hard to tell when it's a meme or when it's real. Yeah, yeah. And so I kind of have just sort of started assuming that, like, people are actually that dumb. Because Flood half the, the time, even shit. though... Well, some of them are. Yeah. I mean, some of them are. Yeah. Right? Did you see um, the most recent retweet of the cock pumps? No, well, Rev just told me about it. I. Yeah, it, well, it's a different picture. I, I, I mean, same vibe, but, you know... I'll, I'll I'll check it out later, guys. Yeah, I mean, listen, he can't jerk off on stream. It's against the rules. Uh, all right, guys. So here's what you're all going to vote on. Everybody's going to vote on this. Where is Count Android Priest going to look for the missing grandees? Um, here we have the D option. It says Count Android Priest, Priest will instead be executed for abducting them. Um, I don't like that because... Um, we don't know that they did it, and I want to be, you know, I want to be a bastion of justice here, okay? Get innocent until proven guilty, even though they are weird goths and they're a little bit sussy. Easy target. Thank you for 14 months. And also, I get the, what you're saying, but it'd be really funny, too. The, the, the um, what, to and kill I, him? Yeah, personally, I think it's really funny um, when people get murdered. Well, so. it, it it also is going to raise my authority, which is something that we need to avoid. We 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 need we need that. I would just let them go on that. No, that's authority, not uh, stability. Oh right, I, I stability is what I need. Right, I fuck right. Up. So this okay. absolutely does not affect you in any way, shape, or form. I'm so going to tell like, you. Let them go. No, no, no. Here's here's my here's the monarch's opinion. I will be vetoing D because. Um, no, that's good for you. Don't don't veto it. You need it for later. I need the authority to be to be higher. I mean, that you well, you need the veto for later. There's going to be things where it's like you're yeah, because you only get fuck. one you only get one veto a turn. Right, and then it has like a cooldown of a turn. So if the next thing they vote on, it's like how hard do we want to fuck Mike a little bit, a lot, or none at all? If you veto the a lot thing, then you're good. I've seen what D does. It will fuck you hard. Yeah, but don't, you know, don't tell me shit like that. All right. I, I I think they actually went and looked for him uh, when we had this event. Okay. Um, I, I feel like I do want to veto D. I, I don't. Okay. It is funny of this guy getting executed without proof, but it also bothers me. So I don't want, I, I, I'm, I won't veto this because I think I need the veto. Mike, can I tell you something? Yeah. Do you think that um, political leaders have any morals whatsoever and consider like whether or not it's right if people who are, you know... Okay, but this is my chance to be one. And if I was yeah, one, I would, I would fucking, saying, you know... Like, maybe this isn't the time to have morals, my dude. Um, yeah, well, I, I tried to be reasonable last time and everybody backstabbed me. Oh, you know what? I also was, was a spiteful cocksucker a couple of times. Yeah, they'll, they'll take that out on you. Um, okay, I'm not vetoing. I'm not going to do shit. You could pick whatever you want. I, from, I am discouraging D strongly. So okay? if you do that, if you say, I don't want you to pick this, they will pick that. So do the opposite of what you just did. Okay, so then definitely pick D? Yeah, but make it not sound like you're lying. It's too late for that. They know my honest thoughts on it. Yeah, so don't just don't do that. <laughs> Gaslight. You, you know, you know why I'm good. You know why I'm I'm never going to be good at this game for the same reason I'm not, I'm never going to be good at Among Us because I'm not a good liar. I'm inherently like I I don't I'm not an inherently like deceptive person, you know. Like I'm just not. I mean that sounds great and all, but you're gonna get fucking murdered. So time to stop having morals and let people murder people. All right. Well, this is fucking happening now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and 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 I and I get. I, I'm gonna say. I guess I hope that the the that the the counts remember this and appreciate it. But why do I doubt that? So spiteful. No wonder they want to murder you. No, did they start this shit? And then and you then, started it just now, my dude. How so? You're, you're like, ah, oh, well, you know, I could trust you guys, but fuck you. I'm speaking from experience, okay? I know, I know you're right, don't get me wrong, but, like, you don't say that. Well, I'm saying it. 
All right. All right. Let's let 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 let's see if there's any decent people in the counts tonight. What do we got? Ilarian's haunt will be searched for the missing nobles. A detachment of the bravest knights venture into the bedeviled marshland known as Ilarian's haunt. The grandees are found alive and well. If a little bedraggled, they were not in her basement having their cocks milked. Oh, well, that's good. Confirmed. Okay. So those those wails of agony were actually somebody else. Not my problem. Unrelated. Unrelated. Maybe those people wanted to be down there. We are in debt to you, Egad. We've been eating bugs for a month and living in the pod, too. It gets real cramped in there. We've been eating shrimp and crabs for months. Right, chat? Take this as a thank you. It's an antique teapot from the Cursed Age. We found it in the bog. Would you believe it? Uh, I would believe that it. That seems like a good thing to have and definitely not cursed. I mean, it's called... It came from the Cursed Age. Yeah, that... I mean, that... You know... Oh. That don't sound great. <laughs> Uh, I mean, having a hundred bucks is nice, but that's not, that might not be worth an eternal curse, right? How about we say uh, this is an ancient artifact of the East, which should be returned to the Count's, okay? Which will lower, I'm assuming, the Count's defiance, however, yeah, that low. is low, so yeah. it'll do nothing, right? It might um, piss him off to tell him to keep it, but, you know, like, getting cursed shit sounds bad, too. Well, maybe, maybe you guys have the curse, okay? How about that? Hot potato. Okay. Hot potato. You have the curse. I honestly just give yellow the cursed teapot so they can fuck right off. <laughs> we, okay. We don't know that it's cursed. If you're telling me that it is cursed for a fact, then I consider that a spoiler. Oh, yeah. I don't know, but it's a teapot from the cursed age and they found it in a bog. I mean, like, if I had a cursed teapot, I'd probably throw it into a bog. You know yeah. what any bogs are? Like, I don't. Nobody's asking how it got there in the first place, right? Yeah, I feel like that's something that you would, like, you know. Um. Okay, yeah, so that, that went, I think that went pretty nice. Let's see what's going on down here. An untimely death. Murder. My father, Baron Automaton Orion, has been murdered, and I know who did it. Sorry, Orion. It was Grandy Fafner's blood. Fafner? Somebody who's, like, really into Five Nights at Freddy's? Fnafner. No, that'd be, that would be Fnafner. That would be Fnafner, yeah. I won't deny that I killed the venerable Baron Orion, but it was no murder. They agreed to an honorable duel, which I won. Hell's bells, it was no duel. It was a cold-blooded killing. What reason would my father possibly have to duel you in the first place? That reason is between the challenger and the challengee, a private matter not fit for this council. Okay. We got a choice to make, guys. We could hold a trial for Grand D. Fafner's blood, or we can just go ahead and imprison him. Um... The spy master will investigate to find evidence of this claim. Okay, and, and A and B raise defiance, but it's interesting that B does, A and C raise it, but B doesn't? Hey, Glass, thanks for 36 months. I'm glad you're, you're in a good mood, bud. Thanks for uh, coming tonight. Um, the grandee is a danger to all. Why would that not raise defiance, right? Uh, it depends on who's. So it shows up and down. So one person's or one team's is going to go up. The other oh, go down. I see. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, a duel is a duel. Let the accursed go free. I cannot veto anything. Right. This is why I'm saying, like, save your vetoes for times I, when you need it. I, I right mean, here is probably fine. I, I frankly don't give a shit. Yeah. Half frankly. the time you won't, so it's fine. Okay. Just let them fight amongst themselves. This is fine. Uh, Honestly, I think that it's kind of base that they killed a yellow guy, um, cause fuck him. One, my advisor thinks one less yellow guy is is good. Right. I, I'm racist towards the yellow team. So better dead, better dead than yellow. He says. Right. Exactly. Right. Fuck him. Fuck him. 
Fuck him. Um. You okay? All right. All right. Um. Looks like Chad is going towards C. We're going to investigate. All right, so that seems reasonable. We're going to investigate it. We're going to see if there's any truth to the um, to the matter. Uh, you wouldn't want to lock someone up for no reason. The guy who died was red, uh, so you're just actually wrong. It's the other way around. Uh, No, I thought it was the other way because I thought it was the red guy killed the yellow nope. guy. Nope. Okay. Well, you know, I mean, shit, man. I don't know what the yeah. fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm shot. They think the edibles are kicking in. Fafner's blood killed my there. father and admitted it right in this council chamber. What more do you need? I will make this as swift as possible, your majesty. The sooner we get to the bottom of this, the better. All right, so to be continued with that. All right, guys, it's auction time. You could build the building. So, like, before you build, like, set them off to build... Let's talk about the options there. Because, like, right now, purple needs farming, right? I'm That's still what behind they want. On... Right, purple wants farming, and then yellow and red want to lower stability. So purple, really, in order to make sure they keep an early lead, should make sure that they uh, go up in farming. So purple should probably go for C. And uh, red and yellow should probably go for B. But the problem is that purple wants to make sure that doesn't happen. So just like a pittance towards C and then like really make sure that something else wins that's not D. And then, um, yeah. So you, well, only the- I'm only, talking about the strategy for them because then, you know. Only the counts get to vote on what gets built in their territory though. No, you can spend money on other regions, which is why, you know, why the red fuck and yellow would... should probably have, like, buy that's, D. That's so strange. Like, base, so basically, red and yellow want, would want this deer park to be built. Mm hmm Because that will uh, fuck over purple for a turn. But they also want to worry about their own shit. Okay? And right. they also so want to worry about their goal. probably focus on C and make sure that something other than B wins. They want... B uh... and D need to not win in order for C to be good. So they could literally choose anything else. Yeah, but yellow uh, and red yellow and red are both trying to lower stability? Right. So purple needs to make sure that B is not one of the things. And they probably can't do that. So they should make sure that D isn't a thing. So purple should vote for C. Yellow and red should vote for B. And then uh, yellow and red should also vote for D. Everybody should vote for the thing that makes me win. Go ahead. Go nuts. Yeah, go for it. I'm wondering how the prison, like, lowers stability when pr presumably it's, the, you know, it's supposed to be, like, uh, well, that's uh, how a, prisons work. a civic thing. I mean, um, kind of counterintuitive. Um... It's one of those things that, like, legalizing drugs reduces drug use. Okay. Well, it's getting funded. Yeah, it it's would. Absolutely is getting funded. Um. The observatory lowering the faith because they're discovering planets and shit. I like that. Oh, okay, that makes some sense. That's clever. They're learning science, so they're becoming less faithful. Mm. Time's up! What'd you clowns build? Let's find out. They got... Exactly what I called? Yep, they did the thing that you said. Very cool. Stability is down. Uh, no, you do not get your gold refunded if what you wanted doesn't get built. Yeah, get fucked. Yeah, basically. Alright. Let's get lucky. Hey, Mom. I've been busy. You better find the time. I'll take the liberty of finding eligible candidates. Which which is your preference? Men, women, or do you not mind? Make it surprise me. Excellent. I'll send out messages to the most influential noble families in the kingdom. We'll see what they have to offer. Herrick said, cartoons. <laughs> That's bring an option. Me, bring me cartoons. Bring me Lola Bunny. Okay. Um, 
the spy master's investigation. What did he find out? Uh, 65% chance either way. It looks the same. Challenge failed. Man, I'm getting really used to seeing that. The servants were too afraid to testify, and there's no physical evidence of wrongdoing. It's clear that a duel did take place, and that the victim died by a rapier cut from Grandy Fafner's blood. But I can't prove anything beyond that. You've confirmed what I've said since the beginning. Perhaps we can move past this issue and on to more important things. So this is going to piss off the barons. Despite the lack of evidence, Grand Nefafner's blood is uh, guilty of murder. His evidence is inconclusive. We shall have to hold a trial, raising the fines anyway. So you you probably just veto C. Cause There's C no bad. evidence of murder. Grand Nefafner's blood is innocent. We don't know that he's fucking innocent. Okay. And, I mean, I can tell you that... Um, He's I, also yellow, so, like, you know... I, I cannot have my stability dropping under any circumstances. I hope you guys... Right, so I, that's why I, you I hope you guys understand that. Why are you telling them what you don't want? Because they fucking should know if they've been paying a shred of attention. They don't sometimes. Don't help them. Just veto it and let it be. I'm trying to be a good king here, dude. Yeah, part of that is uh, lying. <laughs> Just outright so then you lying. Think, so then you think Donald Trump was a based president then? No, not at all. No, no. This is this is how to be a tyrant, which is what you're trying to do. Which, you know, Donald Trump did a great job of being one. But, you know, not not super helpful when you're trying to be, like, honest. But, uh, -huh. uh, chat is out for blood, so there's no reason to be honest or helpful. We're having a trial. Everybody put your trial pants on. Let's go. Get in here. Put your dicks away and get in the fucking courtroom. How must, how long must we wait for justice, my liege? Forget about it. No trial conducted by this council will ever be on based. Biased. I demand a trial by combat as per the Grandee's Code of Ethics. No! Didn't we just have a problem with this? Some, like, that's literally the reason we're here in the first place. Stop doing some, that. Some dumb shit like that caused this. Yeah. If yeah, we're to I've, believe this yellow bastard, I, like, yeah. It, it, it's not that Game of Thrones literally, like, like you know, necessarily invented any, any like, you know, they, they're all tropes that, that, that George R.R. R. Martin used, but, like, like half of them are references to real life. This is shit. Th this does feel very heavily inspired by Game of Thrones to me. I think some yeah. of them are. I, I, I no, it, that's it, the it, it, de it definitely is. Like I, yeah. Um, and I read the books. Right, mm. man who has only ever seen Game of, Game of Thrones. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> they say that for you know, They say that for literally every time I say something, they say that. Every time I say, like, it's like, anytime I say anything, man who has only X, Y, Z. Every fucking time I say anything now. Anytime I make a statement, that, 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 I see that in chat. Mm. Okay. Um, we got the contested wreck. That story is ongoing, okay? And oh, I the contested wreck is the one that, uh, gets bricked sometimes. It's fine. It runs. It works. It's just weird. As long as it fucks them over and not me, I don't care. It just net doesn't do anything. Footbuckle says, the other day I taught a student named Khaleesi. She was seven years old. You, you, I think the year that kid was born... Khaleesi was one of, like, the top ten girl baby names for girls in the United States. Yeah. Like, at, like li literally, or, or, like, Daenerys. Like, there's little girls Daenerys, wa yeah. walking Daenerys around named Daenerys. If I was a fucking kid, if I, if I, you know, if I, if I was seven years old right now and I was in class with, with, with these kids, I'd be like, season eight sucked, season eight sucked, you suck, your name is bad, Game of Thrones sucks. 
Season 8 was dog shit. Season 8 was dog shit. Your legacy is dog shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. You suck. Game of Thrones is dicks. You're named after a shitty TV show with a horrible, horrible ending. Fuck you. Cringe. Everyone point and laugh, they're cringe. Everybody point and laugh, they're cringe because the last two seasons of the show with the character that they're named after was dog shit. Nanny nanny poopa. And the teacher's like, listen, Mike, you apologize because while it's true, it did <laughs> suck. And it was just a blight on our collective consciousness for years. Yeah, the Much like she is blight on my consciousness every day I come into work, you can't be saying that kind of stuff. Yeah, because now, every time I hear like, oh, oh, it's like, oh, well, does anybody know the answer to question number 12, uh, Khaleesi? Like, every time they call this girl's name out, I'm gonna be thinking about how much cock season 8 sucked. Mm. And like, how badly, and, and like, just, I'm just gonna relive the trauma of having to watch, like, frankly, the last two seasons, like, over and over again, every time I hear that girl's name. Mm. Like, every, fu every fucking time. Because you, you understand, I loved Game of Thrones. Loved. Yeah, loved it. I, I wasn't, dude, I wasn't like, like, oh yeah, I watched Game of Thrones. I fucking loved Game of Thrones. Wow. I love. I loved it. Yeah, you could. You could say you have fucking things that you like that you know are cringe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my. This is my. This was my thing. I loved <laughs> game. I loved everything. I was obsessed with it. I fucking loved I it. I played Dark Tide today, and there's no reason to do that. That's mega cringe, bro. Uh huh. Yeah, I embrace the cringe. So some people have like are using a great example for themselves. It would be this Twitch channel. Mm, um, but yeah, I, yeah. You watch Jabroni Mike cringe. Did you give House of the Dragon a chance? Absolutely not. I 100% refuse to to have anything to do with anything related to that franchise, or H or honestly HBO. HBO can suck my cock. I will never do, do. I will never watch anything HBO ever does. I will never give another penny to HBO ever again in my life. They're totally dead to me. Tell us how you really feel. HBO is completely fucking dead to me for what they for, for what they did to Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm fucking I'm I'm serious. Sopranos in shambles. I I loved the Sopranos, but that's that's in the past now. Yeah, Fly the Sopranos isn't on the air anymore, so it's okay. Whiny bitch mentality. It's called having principles, and it's called. For once, making, like, the people responsible for ruining something that was great because of profit motives and fucking selfish reasons. Like, making the rest of us fucking suffer. Okay. Holding them to account instead of doing nothing and continuing to lap up the shit they produce. Okay. And continuing to give money to these people and rewarding them for horrible fucking decisions. Okay. How's the story going? What story? This game you're playing. Oh, I'm 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 not on that right now. Okay. Meat Canyon just won the best art streamer. Wow, that's so cool. Mods, time out anybody who talks tries to tell me anything about the streamer rewards because I don't give a fuck. Okay. Uh show me Pluto D's message. The person who has only seen Family Gal, I'm going to name my child Miranda and then date a werewolf. I love females. An opportunity, your majesty. A Kurth ship sunk last week, just off our coast. I request permission to salvage the wreckage. Kurth vessels are always full of valuable things. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's the pone cake. It might be yeah, off see, your coast. It might be off your. Oh, it's supposed. It. This it's guy. It's supposed to be two different factions, but it's it's both going to be grandees. Oh, that's so stupid. Oh, it's very dumb. I see. You seeded those waters years ago in exchange for a chest of silver, right? Okay, so this is all fucked up. So I'm just gonna let them do whatever they want then, because why? Well, I, I actually don't have a choice. 
Yeah, I mean, you can't veto. So there are some. Just, yeah. I wish you could see all the things beforehand. That way you know what to spend your veto on. But they don't let you do that, right? Like you can't. You you have no ability to know what things yeah. in the future are going to be. Yeah. That is the unfortunate part about the future is that it's hard to predict. Yeah, but I also have the choice of what order to deal with these things in, so it's not really this it's not really a one to one comparison of what of what you just said. Okay. You know? Right. Sure. Leave the wreck alone. Okay, so that looks like that's the option. That is, does a 50% chance to do something to authority. All right. Leave it alone. Oh, looks like the challenge failed. And the South's defiance was raised. I don't know what that means. Um, everyone protests the decision, of course. Less than a week goes by before Jumpy8 or secretly orders a salvage team to loot the wreck anyway, but it doesn't go well. The divers are dashed against the jagged reefs by a swarm of sharks. Somehow, you are blamed for this. Sounds about right. I put the sharks there. Right? Thanks, Biden. Yeah. Yeah, I let the I let the sharks um proliferate too long. It's my fault. Mm. Yeah. My open border policy for the for the for the ocean was um a failure. Yeah. If Last we... time people from the ocean came up on land, we got humans, and that was just bad in general. Turn around, Teak Talik. If we yeah. had been al al allowed to explore the wreck openly, we could have worked together and the divers could have been better equipped. Okay, so that was the bug thing we seen it. Yeah, that was the bug one, yeah. Okay, um, if you hadn't told me that was bugged, I probably wouldn't even realize that, frankly, because I'm brain because I'm brain dead. Okay, let's end the season and move on. In a picturesque castle overlooking the southern city of Arrain Jar, two grandees are lying back and enjoying the sun. The city may look peaceful, but underneath it's nothing but discontent. All across the kingdom, peasants are sharpening their cutlery and barricading their shacks. They know a storm is coming, and who better to blame but the king himself? Mm. Exactly. The commoners are afraid, and it's time for them to find their faith. For the next stage of the scheme, the grandees must raise all regions' faith to a combined total of at least 12 in four seasons. That's not good. Um... It's already appears to be uh whoop. all beyond them. Yep. Yeah, that's that's bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's real bad. Oh yeah. It's a shame that the counts didn't pick the thing where they had to lower their faith, because that was a that was a thing, right? Uh, yeah, I think that happens later. Hmm. Everyone hates yellow as they should. Tax time! The grandees strike a lucrative deal with Kurth worth 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. All right, so you know that I have to tax you guys, right? I mean, yeah, basically, um, how I usually do it is just fuck them. The people that have the trade bonus get taxed. No, just whoever's got a lot of money, like richest nobles on the right there, it's like, hmm. That's how, that's um, how you do it? Yeah, or if someone's gonna, like, gain something by having lower defiance or something, just, like, just generally fuck them over whenever you can. In this case, yellow will fuck over, like, if you do it to yellow, you'll fuck more people over. And you get more money, which is always good. Tax the rich. Easy choice. Mm-hmm. All right, looks like they're having, uh, ooh, eligible options. Yeah, oh. I found three potential matches from you. Uh, choose wisely. Uh, yes, I know. Wait, uh, let's see the candidates. We have Desmond, the eldest son of the Eastern Yuri V. Art dynasty. Apparently, they had a hell of a time getting him to smile for this portrait. He is goth, after all, right? It's a little goth, little goth bitch. Um, see that beautiful fur coat he's wearing in the portrait? That's Wolf Pelt, hunted it himself. Half the East are in love with him, apparently, and the other half hate him. Normal. Don't see what all the fuss is about, personally. From the South, Zeno Viva. 
The eldest daughter of the bread bottle lineage. She's reputed to have an ego the size of the sun, but there's nothing wrong with confidence, right? Uh, like many in the South, she puts her faith in the ninth god above worldly concern. She's got grand plans. She wants to change the world. Okay. That's cool. For the better? Eh. Maybe by toppling a monarchy? Uh, I don't mm. like the look of her. You're not into tomboys? Finally, we have the... No, I just wanted to see the third option. And finally, okay. we have the marches offering Ulrika Scion of the Clyde the Cash bloodline, unlike most of the barons. She can conduct an entire conversation without shouting. Ah, she's not Italian. And look at her. Stunning. Is that all? Meh. You will anger the other regions by picking a candidate. She... Hmm. Okay. In my right. experience, here, here's here's what I think. Tell, tell me your logic. It's fucking irrelevant which one I pick. Um, no, I think um, getting on well with your wife is important. In this game as well. Um, like, right now, Yellow's Defiance is the highest. And your stability is lower than their defiance, so maybe marry the tomboy. I have a hard time keeping track of all the goals and shit. Right. Yeah, I'm just looking at the stats over there, and I'm just seeing defiance being high on their end. It's either them or the barons. We don't want them to be able to like have a rebellion. If the if if what is the whole thing is bad yeah so i mean if the defiance is like what six they can have a rebellion i think it has to be higher than the current um thing um higher than the stability so right, right so that... so if that's true then right now they could they could do it or higher than authority i think it's higher than stability but i'm not sure okay so chad said is they're saying like well Re rev is inconsistent because he's telling Oh, uh, look, Rev, side with purple. Also, Rev, don't go with purple. But it's not well, like, purple, necessarily... Like, Y'all are chill right now, right? Like, you, you don't... I mean, like, listen... But me marrying somebody from yellow also, doesn't... Like, it, you know, like, it's gonna upset purple a little bit. But, like, it doesn't mean fuck purple. Right, yeah. And uh, honestly, uh, not not to be this way, but if purple had been a girl, I would have... I've been in the big titty goth girlfriend. Yeah, like, but he's got camp. big... He's got big fat pecs. Big milky mm, pecs. I guess. Big milky pecs and he waxes them. He's like a JoJo character with fat, fat man tits. Okay. Dead cows, thanks for 11 months. Okay. Tell he me says, less? he says, okay. And he goes, okay. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say to that shit? Abaccio's big sweaty man tits. All right, dude. Um, I feel like. The ambition of the, the grandee candidate is intimidating. And it makes me Strong feel... Strong women intimidate you. What's, what's up? Strong women intimidate you? It's that she has... That, that ambition may collide with my own ambition at a certain point. That makes sense? Mm. Kitty Cat with 10 months. Thank you so much. True. Um... And I think, uh, again, again, like when it comes to the future, like yellow team yellow will not give a single fuck that I married their candidate. I mean, they literally won't care. Like they won't care at all. They, they might. Yeah. Okay. Yellow and red. You're, you're the, the top contenders. Like we getting anything out of like supporting either of you. Yeah. Pitch us on this. Um, like, what what do we get for, like, having... Because, like, that will mean more events for y'all, which means more chances for you guys to have, like, a win. We will fuck you over anyway. You will. I know you will. Red is military strength. Honestly, yeah, I was saying, like, don't support yellow earlier, and I should probably stay consistent. Is red hot, at least? Yeah, red's, red's also a tomboy, a hot tomboy. Okay, yeah, she can bench, that. She can bench press you. That's and, awesome. 
and and like fucking just destroy you mm. completely. She could pop Hot. your fucking head like a watermelon with her thighs. Amazing and good. You like that? I think that could be something that you could work with. Also, I heard she's into nun roleplay. Uh, based? Um... I would go with red, because fuck yellow. Yeah. Right? Let's do it. It's, uh, the march, yeah. Okay. I, I think we're going to be seeing a Grand D rebellion in this game. Well, I, I think I think we have to start accepting the reality of this kingdom is going to. There's rebel. entirely a possibility that Yell will try and like rebel or whatever, but also like they're piss babies and they can suck my nuts. Yeah, you see that? I think what you're doing there is you are f further cementing that reality. You're, you're you're like this is a self fulfilling prophecy right now. Yeah, but they already hated you. You already brought up the fact that you're gonna piss them off anyway, so fu fuck yellow specifically. It's the day of Grand Nee Fafner Blod's trial, and half the city has turned out to watch the spectacle. Grand Nee Fafner's Blod will be fighting a champion of the crown, Your Majesty. Whoever draws first blood wins. Who will represent you in the pit? Um. Okay, well, we know the Eastern Knights are a little bit, um, like, kind of limp, limp in the wrist or whatever. Um, we know the Marshal is going to be, um, a problem. You know if I go fight myself, I'm dead. And this game will end right now. I've seen that happen, but I wouldn't recommend it. Absolutely. Just because that sounds dangerous. Um, a fighter from the March. Okay, uh, a stupid question. Who the fuck is the Marshal, guys? That's that's your like um, person who she's the one with the, the eye scar and the eye patch, right? Uh, she's one of your advisors. She tells you you're fucked. Let's uh, let's let's have let's have her do it. Let's have her sure. do it. Let's have her do it. Yeah. The fighters don the armor, weapons, and face each other in the small fighting pit. All right. Yeah, she's dead. Oh. Whoops. We should never have agreed to this. Trial by combat doesn't prove anything. Well, I mean, I know that, but it wasn't my choice, so, you know. Because apparently we have democracy in this monarchy. Yeah, I'm a little confused about the logistics of that really that understanding like not kind of, the way you would ever want things to go that doesn't really make a whole ton of sense does it no no it doesn't but that's okay uh you know a democratic monarchy one of those things like england except for you actually have some level of power and you're not dead fafner's blood is released immediately hopefully that'll be the end of the squabble rip to a real loser uh, your majesty, forest fires in the east are out of control. We've tried everything, but they're caused by a demonic spirit loose in the woods. Grandy Andromeda officials' estate already burned down with him inside. Rip. Andromeda. Initiate a controlled burn to contain the spread or send priests of the ninth god to exorcise the demons. Okay, that will do something to faith. 55% farming. What's the... Uh, all right, so the farming stat for the grandees appears to be irrelevant. But we also... Uh, okay, how does the how does the, the farming stat relate to the counts again? for this, some, they, they, it, they want it to be the highest. So they want to have their... They want to lower everyone else's farming and keep theirs higher. So they would need to get down to like five or six for it to matter. But but like for everybody in total. Well, they specifically, as long as theirs is higher than the other two. 
I mean, okay. What's going on? There's a fire. We um probably just and I mean like I I know we're saying we're trying to be like, you know, we're trying to be friendly with the counts, but we probably don't want to get them like let them get away with their scheme. You know. We don't want their scheme to just happen. I think red and yellow should definitely vote against uh, you know? the possibility of well yeah because that's gonna if it goes bad it's gonna so probably the faith one then is the best one i would just let them go you know just let them figure it out like half the time it's impossible to understand what even the fuck you need to be doing to like influence things in your direction you just go all right whatever fuck it we all figure it out it, dude it's fucking rng anyway yeah, a little bit. I'm moving away from the microphone to chew, excuse me. What's she eating? Cock. Hella. Okay, so they want to send priests of the ninth god to exorcise the demon. I thought it was a fire. The demon is causing the fire. Oh, okay, yeah, that would that makes sense. Looks like it succeeded. DJ Andromeda Official Two has joined the council. I see. Uh, I guess that's your son. Yeah, when you die, you just get to be the second. The South lost defiance, gained faith, which is meaningless, if I remember correctly. Um, um, no faith. Yeah, their their faith is continuing to go up, which is bad. They, they want to have the highest faith, I believe. They want their faith stat to be the highest. Yeah, yellow wants to have their faith the highest. Purple wants to have their farming the highest, and then red needs the stability to be low. I thought excommunication was had something to do with lowering the faith to fuck me over. No, no, they need to be super religious so that way they can tell you that you should fuck off and die. They need a combined faith of twelve for between oh. every, between everybody. Oh, okay, that's that's bad. Yeah, that's pretty fucked. This this was not good. What happened here? No, you, this is yeah, man. Like that's bad. Yeah, this this that was not a good outcome for us. Yeah. yeah. While the king settles into his young reign, a general has risen in the march. Baroness Bertha, ready to move forwards with the plan. The kingdom is in such a state that commoners are begging for someone to save them. We need his boogeyman. Yeah, right. We saw this last time. Okay, while your campaign warns of the Ash Median threat and proposes a march of defense, we build an army to back your words. Okay, so the stat goal is to have the highest military in three seasons. Okay. They already have uh, the highest military, so that's that's cool. Um, Rev, you like this one, right? You said reverse voting? No. Yes. No, I think reverse voting is great. Nobles must vote for their least favorite option, and the option with the least votes will pass. This is exceedingly confusing for people who are not actively paying attention. <laughs> the option with the least votes will pass. Oh, that, oh, that fucks chat so bad. Anyone who's not Great. paying attention gets fucked over by this. Uh, after voting, nobles can change their mind and vote for a different option. I don't care for that one. I don't care for the anonymous one because I don't understand why... It being anonymous would change anything. Ooh, look, bribery. If nobles vote for the monarch's choice, they gain 500 personal wealth. That one is solid, and there's another one where it's like either you gain treasury money or you lose it. Um, I still think reverse voting's the best one. Yeah, and but no amount of is... money in this game is going to be worth more than watching me fucking die and fail at the game. Well, they need to be able to kill you and one of the easiest ways to do that is when you have money it's one of the few times you get a real solid choice on what you want to do but i think it sounds like we want to go with this right i i like the reverse voting yeah, personally. yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna fuck we're gonna fuck with that all right that'll be nice and chaos inducing right 
yeah. The royal wedding. Let's do it, guys. So, big tip on that. Don't announce when you're using it and just use it. Your wedding to Ulrika is, naturally, the talk of the kingdom. Nobles and peasants alike travel from across the realm to attend. You're the only one not taking part. You're getting ready for the ceremony, cleaning out your foreskin. Do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. fucked up to say no. Uh, there's a feast. After the feast, the dance. Ulrika laps up the attention and delivers a witty, witty speech, which she flatters me. Oh, there's a change of piss. Oh, wow. You got one that doesn't suck? The hell? He's not can... a boomer, and he's not senile, and he doesn't have mole eyes. By the time you find yourself alone with Ulrika, it's past midnight. You've never felt more tired. You dance beautifully. It was a wonderful day. Yes. You endure a long conversation in which she seems determined to flatter you relentlessly and agree with everything you say, starting to feel a little bit manipulative. Hmm. Well... No, your mustache doesn't make you look like a hipster douchebag. By night's end, you still don't know who Ulrika really is. Her real personality is concealed behind a hundred layers of etiquette. You go to your separate bed chambers, still strangers. Okay, okay. Seems, seems normal. Ooh, the demonic teapot rears its ugly head again. Your Majesty, my people recovered this teapot from Grandi Andromeda's official estate. Oh. Oh. Wait. Yeah. That. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the forest fires were related to that. Yeah. Yeah. The fire. Okay. Well. Yeah. Pun, the pot the caused the fires. Side. Yeah. I mean, at least it wasn't in your kingdom. So there's that. My people have recovered the teapot from Grandia Andromeda's official estate. It was the source of the catastrophic forest fires back in the winter. I mean, are we sure it was a teapot? It's a little weird that it did all that. You know? He hands you an ash-smothered teapot, the same one that uh, Andromeda had offered you when you rescued him from the east. If I had taken that teapot, we'd be starting a new game right now. Quite possibly. Some kind of evil spirit had infested this crockery. A fire demon from the seventh hell, no doubt. We should destroy it at once. Who knows if it might cause the evil spirit to return. Destroy it. This is a priceless eastern artifact. You never should have been allowed to take it back to the south in the first place. That doesn't matter now. The thing is dangerous. Okay. Um, I am... I, I, I think, I think, if the fucking counts want it, they can have it. Just give it back to them. Uh, choice number C seems brain dead and guaranteed to fuck me in the ass. Right? So. Uh, uh yeah, I mean, C is just bad. Right. Okay, you want to unselect reverse voting because they know that's what's happening. They know, so you don't do it. Can I ask you a question, though? Yeah, what's up? I thought that by choosing reverse voting... Um... No, it just means that when they vote for something, whatever has the most votes is the one that doesn't win. You mean, so whatever, sort of... you mean whatever has the least votes, votes wins? Exactly, that's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um... So what you want to do is if you're going to do reverse voting, just like talk out the answers and then hit reverse voting and hit start vote real fast and it'll trip up a few people and it'll fuck them. Someone in chat said that Limes puts the VTuber rig over here to block the button. <laughs> 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 which, which is like a little bit too fucked up. I that's think. a little much. That's, that's, that's a little... A little too fucked up. Um, I may want I to. I the energy. I may want to veto C here because I feel like it's a, it's practically a guarantee they're going to they're going to make yeah, me make me take that that, that that teapot, guys. And I am not interested in that teapot. Okay. Right. Listen, I'm not a superstitious person, but um, this is yeah, this, this is a thing. video game. Okay. Return it to the counts. That is my preferred choice. This is what I would do if I if I had if I had the option I would choose that. 
You also always should Seems say that reasonable. and then half the time lie. Mm -hmm. Well, like, I mean, it's the, it's... You're like, man, I would fucking love it if you stole all of the money from the treasury. But yeah. don't say it where you sound like you're lying. They could tell when you're being sarcastic, though. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, don't be sarcastic, but try and give a reason on why. It's like, well, you know, there's a lot of events where I need to pay for shit. So if I don't have any money, then I can't pay for it. It's going back Just... to the counts. Thank you, Your Grace. The fines can't go lower, so it was a little bit of a waste there. You'll endanger us with all this recklessness. Mark my words, the counts cannot be trusted, so we should have been paying, maybe paying a little bit more attention. Not like I could have influenced this anymore. But we uh, we had some more defiance going on here uh, with the grandees. Everyone is dueling for the weekend. Ever since Grandy Faf, there's blood. This shit's not over. Yeah, no. Arrested nobles and peasants alike are demanding similar trials. It's all the rage. We should probably put a stop to that because they prove again prove nothing. It's 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 essentially barbarism. All right. I mean, yeah, but it's kind of rad. Ban duels and trial by combat. Could ban it. It raises Good. authority and stability, which seems really cool. Uh, encourage trial by combat as an alternate justice system, which well, is... None of these really affect anything right now, because you kind of don't care about stability anymore. I mean, it would be nice to have, but I mean, it's like, eh. You know, it's not as pressing as it was. Yeah, that kind of worked itself out. Right, yeah. Um, okay. So I'll just let it go. Let's see what they do. Exactly like that. Let's see what they do. Let's see what they, they, they do. Oh. Let's see what they... A little a little faster than that next time, but that's the idea, for sure. A little faster than that. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the worst possible option came out of this. Um, yeah. It looks like, right? Um, yeah, yeah. For, for me, yeah. I mean, there's always the, like, I'm not going to get into it, but honestly, like, I, I want... X, when X is definitely not what you want. We lost, um, we lost two stability from that. I mean, at least Yell's not mad at you anymore, so that's cool. Oh, uh, they, they don't care. Hmm. They're, they're mad no matter what you do. Yeah. Unfortunately, it encourages violent criminals to become more violent and use the duels to escape justice. Murders have never been more common or more legal. Legalized murder... Yeah, we definitely, uh, we definitely didn't want that, but that's okay. That's a banger song. Uh, late at night, two counts meet in an ancient stone cemetery to discuss their schemes against the king. Our grain stores are looking much more impressive than the rest of the kingdom. Yes, and I've had peasants from the march moving into my lands, desperate to sponge up our semen. Won't summoning this demon be difficult? It's magic beyond our usual fare. The walls of reality are sturdy, but they can be weakened. A tide of blood must swallow this kingdom in its wake. Chaos. For the next stage of this kingdom, the counts must lower stability to four or less in two seasons. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh -oh. That wasn't ideal. Sure wasn't. So they're actually in their second phase right now. Yeah, yeah, I believe everyone is. We're so fucked. This isn't going great. The other thing is, like, Rev, once I, you've think, seen... I think I think you're uh, you advising me has actually been a, like a net negative. Yeah. I I think your advice your advice has been actively fuck fucking me in the end. Well, I mean, like, 
I, I will I will state that when I've given advice, you have also just not done it. That's not tr that's absolutely incorrect. Well, when I told you to let you ha like keep the veto and don't use it, used it, and then the next one was like real bad for you, and it was like exactly no, what I predicted. That's not what happened. That's not remotely what happened. I, I, I believe that was exactly what happened. That's not what happened. Mm. The Wandering Bard. She says she has the uh, come to compose a song for you. This not, is great. Not this is perfect. Not just any bard, your highness. The best in all the land. Sally Six Fingers, they call me. Oh, she's AI generated. I have no time for this. Or a song, you say, about me. Why, of course. In fact, I have the tune and verse all but ready. I have saved my best work for you, my liege. All I require is a subject. What should I tell the masses of you? What would you like to inspire? Tell them to love you. Teach them to love me. I will do so, your highness, absolutely, but give me a few weeks. I only need a small payment of 500 gold. A discounted rate for one as esteemed as yourself. This is worth paying for. Is that more bad advice? No, that's good advice. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Depending on whether or not you succeed or not depends on how much uh, it improves your stability. So that's kind of a judgment call on your your end on... Well, I mean, you can't pay quadruple, but you could play a thousand if you want. But I mean, also, being broke is a bit bad. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And hopefully just odds are in your favor. The song has the desired effect with everyone praising your good nature. I paid a thousand coins to get plus one stability, which is going to immediately be undermined in the next turn. Right? And like the next event, that's going to be immediately undermined. I mean, listen, there's two ways you could look at this. You could be defeatist about this or not. He's. It's funny because you know, you know what's wild? You guys know there's something wrong with my headphones. And that this one's not working. Yeah. So he's literally whispering, and I have him pretty quiet. Oh, he's literally whispering into my right ear like silver tongue. Oh, good. Okay. Like good. you're literally the, the Lord of the Rings character now. I'm not right? high. These gummies ain't shit. You should have got the shit gummies. I, they, well, there's your problem right there. The ones that are the shit? Yeah. Your Highness... The Jenkum Edibles. You will recall the Queen Consort's recent visit to my lens? Absolutely not, but sure. Nope. More importantly, your wife, Ulrika, went on a hunt with some of my vassals. I have some bad news. D did you kill my wife? My prized Sal princess. She was loose in the fields that day, and your wife, your highness, she shot her. Oh, fuck, you thought you were gonna tell me my wife died? I don't give a fuck yeah. about a pig. Yeah, who gives a shit about this? This is fine. You shot a pig on your epic hunt? Hilarious! 30 to 40 feral hogs, bro. Is this true, Ulrika? I don't remember it happening. Surely I would have apologized already if I did. Please, your ma if. Please, your madge. Princess was worth more than my whole farm. My family might not get through the next winter without her. What land are you from? The the the, the their um their goths. Oh okay, so we like sort of give a shit. Well, I I literally cannot bankrupt our entire fucking kingdom to pay for this man's pig. It's not happening. Yeah. Well, I'm more along the lines of, like, I, I, I don't really give a shit about your pig, my dude. The queen consort will compensate you for your loss. I, I don't have a thousand to give. I, I, can I go into the negative here? No, absolutely not. No. So then why that... am I even getting this as an option? Uh, oh, no. Making the counts pay is... I don't know why you can do one and not the other. That's got to be a glitch. I think so. But either way... Well, I just know, like, the the outcomes thing, I was just telling him the obvious, that I want them to fear me as authority, and I want them to love me as stability. That makes inherent sense. Counts, listen. 
I will make this up to you guys, okay? I will make this up to you guys. I think you can see clearly, okay? It's not even like you have to take my fucking word for it. If I fucking pay for this man's pig, I am bankrupt. I lose, okay? The queen consort will compensate you for your loss. I don't know why that's even an option. That should not be an option. That's probably a bug. I'm not choosing that. Right. I, I, I can't. Th that, that could take, for all I know, that takes me to zero, okay? I cannot, either way, I cannot pay for this man's pig, okay? Yeah. All right. Count Battens is going to have to take the L. All right. Our defiance is going to go up. They're always big mad about everything. Yeah. Dude, you 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 were fucking you, Excuse me. You're richer than me, the king. Okay? Thank you, your majesty. You are most kind. Your wife visibly relaxes her shoulders as the judgment is. Oh yeah, we. I didn't even think about that angle. Was yeah, this gonna honest, piss off yeah. my wife? Was it? Was I she gonna like? The most important thing is honestly just. Here's the deal, and this makes a lot of sense. Your wife will fuck you if she likes you. Right. Like. So like, you should do things that make your wife love you. And I need her to put out because I. Still don't have an heir, guys. I must have an heir. Yeah, that is important. Your Majesty, we're being overrun. Not by sword and spear, mind you, but by hogs. Oh, wait, somebody... Really? I mean, my wife just killed one. Is this really yeah, still... Yeah, that was... Wait, the fuck? Like, that was awesome that that happened. Why didn't we talk to this guy first? Okay, yeah. listen. If you're, if you're a count and you're still mad about another a, a, a dead pig at this point, then you're an idiot, okay? So my wife did you a favor. A particularly virulent breed of wild Tavalinese hogs, to be precise. They terrorize our farmland and forest alike. They even attack our farmers when they're feeling brave. Okay, so for every penny to my name, I can introduce a new species to prey on the hogs. Uh, Leave this be. It's just nature taking its course. Which will reduce their farming, except their farming stat is irrelevant now, isn't it? They don't really care at this point. They're in, uh, the, they're in the second phase of their plan. Their farming stat doesn't matter anymore. So, I think, like, A is good for them and B is good for them. D is probably the least good for them because that gives you, like, a coin flip chance of, like, not getting fucked by this. So, like, D is... Oh, yeah, D would fuck over red, though. So red probably shouldn't do D. It, right? will, fuck, it will fuck over uh, red in the sense that they will no longer have the highest military stat. They will have an equal military stat to counts. Yeah, I don't know if it'll raise their military, though. It might. It might, yeah. I mean... Um, I... And honestly, like... Making you lose is less interesting than being the one that wins. So like, no, it's not. Purple. Well, the thing <laughs> is that you still lose. So like, they're still happy that they should vote for things that make the other teams less good. That doesn't improve your game. Anymore. Rex, thanks for thirty-one months, buddy. Um. Okay, so so vote with this in mind. D may improve military. Okay, C. I mean, I don't know. It's just going to lower those two stats. Leave this be. Okay. Mm. All right. I'm vetoing A. Because they will take, they will absolutely, yeah, A take, that, good you, take yeah. that opportunity to fuck me in the ass if I give that to, the, if I give that to them. Mm-hmm. That's the most obvious way of fucking you. Comple over. Completely, they will. Uh, so yeah, it looks like uh, you got the the counts voting for for D. Could be cool. A lot of people voting for D. We got a lot of barons. Oh, Sixty percent chance, but I mean, still, like that's that's XCOM math as well. Like, 
it's you know, hot. yeah, technically, like, but like, for reals, it's probably not going to be what you want it to be. Okay. So that was a good example of saying the wrong thing and justifying it. How do you figure? That that was good for us. You didn't lose any stats there. Well, yeah, but we we knew what we weren't going to lose any stats. That was honest. The thing that I thought we we that I guess we were wrong about was the fact that their military stat didn't go up, but. We weren't lying, or I we wasn't weren't lying. lying about that. Like I just didn't know that. It yeah, I mean, we were just we just didn't know. We told you we didn't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, but farming went up. Oh, it really told us that was gonna happen, didn't it? I mean, that would make sense. Yeah. So you didn't have max farm. I thought I for a minute I thought that was I got excited because I thought it was military, but it wasn't. Um. Uh, all right. End season. Okay, it's auction time. Barons can build a deer park or a fortress. Raising their military, getting it a little bit, just a little bit further away. They want to have their military... No, they're, they're propaganda, right? So mil having a higher military doesn't really do much for you, I think. Deer park, you can I mean, lower it, your own farming stat, if that, that which might be useful in, in some... You've got to make sense when you lie. Uh, so, like... The one thing that shouldn't happen is if stability goes down, that give purple an advantage. So obviously, purple should vote for that. But I mean, like, yellow and red to me need to make sure that anything but D goes through. So they should have a good plan on what they want to do. So it's kind of pretty obvious for everyone what needs to happen, right? Like, purple wants to vote for D and... Um... Okay, but are you full of shit right now? Red wouldn't mind voting for C... And then yellow wants E. F would be F and uh, yeah, F is, I think, the only real way of. Mike doesn't understand over. the objective, so he's accidentally manipulating chat. Well, I, re I genuinely I don't. I keep forgetting and it, it's hard to keep track of the yeah, like what each team is trying to do. I'm, I'm not I'm just not like well, galaxy brained enough for this. Well, you just look at the side thing, right? It doesn't right? really. It's got oh. a check mark, so that means that they're currently succeeding at the thing they're trying to do. That's, which is fucking disgusting. Yeah, that's there's a lot of check marks. That's, that's, that's disgusting. Hmm. Okay, they're going to do whatever we they want anyway, and I we have no way to influence this. So, You say that, but did we? I mean, I don't know. I have no idea what you said. It sounded like you were full of shit. Maybe I was. Maybe I wasn't. <laughs> we're so fucked. We 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 are losing. Look at all the check marks. This is well. It's well. Okay, the check marks are for red, yellow, and purple. The number of check marks across the side there don't really matter. Uh huh. Uh, for military, it really only matters that, like, for example, red is succeeding in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Oh, y yellow! You guys like being like bitches, or what? What is that? Like, why are you guys not funding E? Like, you bear. You barely put any money into that. I mean, E is based, right? E would be great for yellow because it would improve their chances at staying above that. And, like, they're going for, He's like, throw you out. He's fucking lying right now. No, their entire thing is they're trying to throw you out, right? So they probably need to have a decent amount of faith for whatever they're trying to do. Well, they're going to have an unreal amount of faith. Sure, but you want to pad your stats a bit as well. I wasn't lying about any of that, but that's the other thing, is if you just sort of lie, like, 10% of the time, they will no longer trust you and do the opposite because they think they're being big brain, but actually they're fucking themselves. You, I, I think you think these things, but it's like... Fantasy, basically? Yeah, I play video games to live out fantasies, Mike, yes. The, for um, the Fortress raised... Um, the military stat for the barons. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. One of my goals was to get the military stat to 12. Wasn't it? Uh, you need to have a kid first before you can progress on your military aims, I think. the So, th so that's irrelevant until I have an heir. Yeah. So you really need to make sure that your wife likes you. Working on it. Yeah. Working on it. 
Be a wife guy, Mike. I'm. I've tried to fascinate her with the wheel of cheese about your heir. There we go. Your marriage to Ulrika is not what you'd hoped. She seldom sleeps in your bed, and over breakfast you exchange only a few frosty words before she departs on a hunt. Hmm. Being friend-zoned. By your wife? Did you the at least meet your wife's boyfriend? The last thing on your mind is procuring an heir. Okay. Uh, we have to... Um, we have to turn this around, man. I mean, you're not wrong. All right. We know about the air. Okay. Do you think your wife wants to fuck you under any circumstance? The answer is no, which is why I think that if I say my wife and I will have a child together, it's just not going to happen. She's not having sex with me. It's just yeah, not. My wife kind of liked me because I treated her well. Her and I um are not we're we're not gonna her and I are not gonna have a child together. It's 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 obvious. Um You might have a bastard lying around. It's gonna piss off the zealots, but they already hate you. It's gonna piss off the grandees? Yeah, I mean, well, just generally anyone who like has opinions about faith because like you know, God needs to be watching you when you bang. Yeah, but isn't this also just gonna fuck over everything? Because I mean I don't know, like, do you think you're gonna fuck your wife at any point? The thing about bastards is they don't have, like, you know, their their claims are dubious. I mean, right? that's going to be an issue regardless, my dude. Like, I plan to adopt a lowborn child from the orphanage. Why would any... Had the, how could that possibly be considered an heir? Uh, I don't know. Like... That, that sounds not, like the opposite. The, that that's that's not an heir. That that's not an heir. I wonder if that's ever happened. What? Like this random person, they're they're my son now. It has happened, but that's not why? an heir. And and it, why, that's what an why heir, would and, anyone accept that answer? That's insane. An heir, by definition, is it's your blood offspring, right? End of story. Like I. What is an heir? It's legally an heir? Well, then why would anybody person fucking... legally entitled to the property or rank of another on a person's death. Oh, I guess you don't have to be related. I think it just sort of would make the most sense for that. Okay, but, but you have to look at that in the definition of fucking monarchy. Not yeah. in, in, in not like in legality of modern legal fucking terms. In, in, in fucking medieval monarchies. Yeah, I mean, you could leave your couch what? to your cat yeah that's what i'm saying and not not like oh in an air on his on his like on his will or something no that's irrelevant right different thing right okay here's my idea bastard time i think bastard's a good choice because it doesn't seem like your wife wants to fuck you no skill issue and lower, lower faith could be cool. Right? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt. I mean, it. they're going to have a legitimate reason to hate you, but um, they already hated you. So, I mean, here we go. Blasphemy. Your Highness, an urgent matter. My agents suspect there's a reason behind the recent unrest. Oh. The counts are stirring up chaos to power some kind of dark ritual. Hmm. What kind of ritual? We don't know yet. They've been too careful, but we must fight back against this sacrilege. Okay. Order kingdom-wide curfews to calm things down. Send inquisitors to uncover proof of this ritual. Delay scheme for one re for one season. So, like, purple wants to pick C, but. Delaying it seems like a good idea for red and yellow, just because them not being able to do the thing would be better, and I think they just need to get your stability down to four, right? So A just, like, does nothing, really. I'll get some stability from A. I mean, yeah. Some desperately, think... desperately needed stability, right? 
yeah, that would help. But, like, you know, purple just needs your save ability to be four or less. So, like, if you want, like, a lead on them, then B would be the way to do it. Okay. Honestly, well, I, I'm I'm being legit. Like, think about it. Like, you want to not have to deal with purple for a turn, right? That means you get ahead by one. I would just I'd let him do it because, like, there's there's not a lot you can say about this. You need at least at least five st five stability to beat purple. So I have. Yeah, I mean, and it, the plus stability on A is not going to be five, right? Well, it could be two, which brings me to five. It's, there's no way it's two. They it's, don't like nice it, things it, like that. It, it's it's been two before. It's been two before. It could be. We are owed. Are you a are you a count? Snally Blaster? Well well well, well here's the thing. Two next to their uh, name if it was they were. Well well, well I under, I understand owing you something, but at the same time, you are doing something to actively fuck me over. Like you know yeah, that has to stop at, at at a certain point. Like I can't. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna like just let you do something. I, I I happen to know that you're scheming something to fuck me in the ass. I'm not just gonna let you do it. I mean, y you know, like what? You, come on. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Leave the counts to their petty business. Send inquisitors. Delayed it. I think delaying the scheme would probably be the way to go. That's yeah. the way to go because yeah. literally, like, they're gonna get it pretty much no matter what. So, yeah. B is the choice for red and yellow because you don't want purple to win because you guys aren't like losers. You want to delay. You want to delay the scheme, chat. You want right. to delay the scheme because A isn't gonna be enough. No, purple should pick C. Just cause. Um, it is. It is gonna be in their best interests, of course. But I think. I should hide the screen when I click start the vote. That way you don't know if I, I mean, reverse vote or reverse vote. It'll say up at the top, so they'll be able to Will check. it? Yeah, it does. All right, well, then I just won't show the screen for the entirety of the vote, then. That seems a little cheaty. Well, you know what? I think this game is very difficult as the king, and you got to fight fire with fire. That's what you got to do in this game. Bean sent. Thanks for 22 months, buddy. Okay. Uh, I think this is the last. I could use a veto. Why? There's nothing left to use it on. Okay, put it on C then. Because C is the only one that like is an extreme benefit to someone that's what other I think. Than that's what I think. Just just in case just, and I don't I don't really I, I even expect people. I don't even really expect people. No, really. I don't expect people to actually vote for this. I don't expect anybody who's not purple to vote for this. But I I mean maybe maybe they're feeling like maybe they're in they're in a kind it of mood on where or like not that purple or if red and yellow are smart enough to realize that B is the only winning option. Yeah, and some of them might not be. So right, uh, I mean, maybe just let it go. It's it's red and yellow versus purple. You could use a veto in a minute. Like you're gonna lose. It's not going to work, Barons. Like it straight up won't. It will prove their stability by one, which means that they still get their scheme off. They're summoning some kind of eldritch Lovecraftian horror, right? Hmm. Chat spoiled that for me. I mean, it's a blood ritual. What do you think it's for? Big Bird. Is that how you get Big Bird? Barney the Dinosaur. They're bringing him back. Did you see that? Yeah, and he's except he's woke now. They brought back Barney and they made him woke. You, I heard there's this there's this how scene. How do you make him black? What? What? No, not black. Woke. Yeah, I know, but like that's basically what conservatives mean when they say oh that. oh oh and like i was just i was just memeing you mean like 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 actually i i don't know if they think that he's woke who gives a shit anymore they don't oh yeah he could be gay as well they're gonna have a scene where barney fucking sucks off another dinosaur 
Based. And they're gonna show and they're gonna show the cum going down his throat. They're gonna do like a medical cutaway. Where you can see Barney swallowing semen, bro. Wow, man. That's what just do you think? the worst set of words that I've heard recently. And the pe and they and they also and they showed the baby the baby's penis also. I'm quoting a drill tweet. Did you see the drill tweet? No. Man, there were a lot of people who voted for A. Why do you think that that is? I legitimately think that chat's sometimes dumb. I think it was like to, they were. They thought it was like it was like trying to spite me somehow. Yeah, a small... I was telling the truth there. I don't know why the fuck they decided to like just screw themselves for no reason. And then, that, and then, that, and, and the, okay, the fact that so many people voted for A is part of the, is a large part of the reason why you saw me veto C. I hope that helps you understand. Well, they had a choice and they didn't want to choose what I said because then, like, I don't know, I win. A small army of inquisitors rifled through the Count's estates and questioned the peasants on their lands. Kitty Cat is upset. They said, we're already behind the other teams. Why did you fuck us over, even after the pig situation? You are you are gonna win this game, Kitty Cat. Are you kidding me? You're not. You are in no way, shape, or form behind the other teams. Why do you think that? You, you're you're very ahead of me, for example. And you're very. I would say, honestly, all three of you are like neck and neck right now. Really, I okay. Here's how you need to start looking at this game. I fucking lost. Like, like seriously, I'm. Fu I, I, it, the writing is on the wall here. I'm fucked. Okay. You guys so need to. You guys need to figure out which one of you wants to win and start voting in the in a way that enables your team to win, guys. Okay. Here's an alternate strategy, right, Mike? You know you're gonna lose. I, I'm team... positive I lost this game. Yeah. Okay. Just... Yeah. So which team do you want to win? Purple. Sure. Do everything in your power to make sure that stability stays low. Purple. Yeah. Just do everything you can. Like, if you have a choice between helping out, like, one of the teams, always purple. Fuck them. The Count's efforts have been hampered. They're, no, 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 no. Because, because, because I'm gonna say, at the same time, uh -huh. I'm not going to make it easy for anybody. I'm going down. Well. I'm, no, I'm, go I'm going down. But I'm not making it easy for anybody. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I'm because again I'm a spiteful Sicilian fuck. I'm going down swinging. Yeah, I sure. am. Sure. I am. I've accepted my failure at this point. Stalling is fine too. The count's efforts have been hampered. Their stat goal will not be evaluated until the end of next season. Bankruptcy looms. Oh, yeah. The treasury is almost empty. Where did it all go? Apart from raising taxes, we have a few precious options. Bank loans, sell off the crown jewels. What did we do last time? We sold the jewels, right? I took a loan. Uh, um, Don't tell me how it worked out. I mean, uh, it's like a regular loan. Okay, but you have, which you eventually have to pay back with interest. That's how, yeah, that's how loans work. I mean, were you fucking burned at the stake before you could pay it back? Uh, no, no, I forget. I think I lost for some other reason, but yeah, they, they came for all of my money and it was, it was rough. You just have to deal with the issue later down the line, essentially. That's how, I mean, because you'll get the money, but then you just don't spend it on anything and then you can pay it back. But then like, what did you gain? Yeah. Official GS, thanks for 64 months, man. Appreciate that. Wow. That's cool shit. Um, I own the Royal Mint, make more good. Th this one see seems so obviously like a bad idea. Um, I mean, inflation, I guess. Yeah. Somewhat, uh, someone time got a fetish for it. We did the jewelry last time. I, I like having that, that high authority stat, and I hate to give some of it up. It's probably also going to be like two author authority points. It's not going to just be one authority point because it never is. Um, no. take, 
a hefty loan. I'm, it, it's, it, yeah, I'm probably gonna lose. I'm, I think I'm. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna lose go authority no matter what. That would be fucking hilarious. I cannot lose more fucking stability. I cannot. You know what? Honestly, Silver Tongue, the inflation could pos potentially be the best option out of all of these. Can I explain why? Because the inflation doesn't just fuck me, does it? Oh, that's true. Yeah, that'll Farm fuck it. That'll fuck, fuck everyone. Over. Like, I don't know how you'd have a military with no money. That's going to fuck everyone. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Also, I just want to see what happens. Honestly, it fucks all money exchanges. Probably lowers everyone's trade. Trade is irrelevant to this entire game, actually. Like, no one's running for a trade win here. Um. Hmm. Faith. It's, pro it's probably going to do a thing where it ends up, like, lowering stability to zero or some shit. Right? Yeah, I can't imagine I would say, oh, yes, this is a very stable government if, like, everything is fucked. Okay. Um. I don't, I'm, I am not going to allow, I'm not going to deliberately choose something that lets stability go any lower. The, the jewelry, I, I think maybe, it, I'm not opening the tomb, stop asking. Okay, take a hefty loan from Salvant and Gall Bank. It also lowers authority. The Royal Mint begins churning out new coins, allowing you to pay off several old debts. The consequences to that are going to come in like one turn. Right? Like they're not, they're not going to be immediate. Deep in the south, a group of grandees watch silently as a blindfolded grandee Zani 12 tries to stab a portrait of Bucifer with a wooden stake. We did this at my granddaughter, granddaughter's fourth birthday with a drawing of a pig. Okay, very, very, very cool. Uh, people of the faith, the ninth god has spoken. Now begins the final stage of our plan. Which sin will the archbishop excommunicate the king for? Okay, guys. For tyranny and abuse of power or for greed and avarice? All right, they're going with the avarice. Hoarding money that could be used to improve the peasants lot little do they know What the actual situation is We shall now ensure we must now ensure that the king is seen as a greedy pig for the final stage of the scheme the grandees keep must keep the treasury at at least 5,000 for one full season well, looks like we got to get spending. We got a lot of money to spend. Rev, are you still alive, buddy? Rev, like, got up and walked away. He's not, he's not answering me. Across the kingdom, commoners and nobles alike are now turning to General Bertha, who promises to rescue them from the king's weak rule. All right, we're going to need some kind of... Some some kind of like infrastructure bill or something like that. You know what we need? We need some pork barrel spending. Wee, wee, wee. Luckily we got a lot of pigs laying around, right? Holy shit. Across the kingdom, commoners and nobles, right? There are daily parades in the general's honor, occult to personality forms. Uh commoners are signing up. For the military, so you just get a free military point for, for no reason. Her popularity eclipses the king's. There's hey, a number. I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Soon oh, the people. Oh, kind of. The people will beg us to depose the pathetic king. All right, barons, how do you want to fuck me in the ass? You want to do it raw it or me. you want to do it with lube? I mean, I haven't been playing. I'm just, you know, there it is. It literally was Rev. Mm -hmm. Enact a swift, a swift and brutal palace coup, with the goal. Uh, so 
You will have to lower authority, but I... My authority stat's looking pretty good. There's... Authority's pretty solid. Raising other def others' defiance might, might be harder, though. I don't feel like you guys are going to be able to pull either of those things off anytime soon. But we'll see. I'm sure something stupid will happen. I'll lose, like, four authority points. I mean, yeah. Dude, I got Triscuits. Lower authority to four or less. He's fucking baked, chat. Nah. Dude, I got Triscuits. Okay, um... We're going to... The Triscuits are baked, actually. No, they're they? good, dude. They're baked in an like, oven. They're baked. Yeah, I don't know if, um... Do you think they really do that, or do you think they just say that? No, I think they do it. If you eat, if you eat one, you can tell the texture of it from baking it. Is like, oh, right, but, yeah. I, don't, I like Triscuits. They're really salty, though. They are. It's like chips. But I feel like they're healthier, and I don't want to learn if they are or not. Um. Well, Red has lots of money. Fuck the rich. Yeah, it could be that type of situation. Um. But, uh, you, you might not have been here for this, but the... Nah. The, uh, the grandees voted on a scheme to make me look like a greedy fucking scumbag, and that's how they're gonna denounce me for my sins and depose me. Using the church. Oh. The archbishop. You do have $10,000. Yeah, and the, the goal is to keep it above $5,000. So oh. I actually am in a situation where I don't want money. Oh, shit. You understand? So I think um, we do the common tax right now, actually. Does it help right? you? Oh, yeah, because you don't actually want money. <laughs> I mean, I hate that they get to keep all of that, but... I mean, yeah, but... we got No, we got to find dumb fucking shit to spend this money on. Where are the fucking crab NFTs when you need them? Okay, here we go, guys. Saint or sinner? All I'm saying is every grandee claims to have a saint in his ancestry. Your great-great-grandfather was probably a common dullard. Shut your mouth, you hedge-born puzzlewit! His name was Saint Umber, and he defeated the werewolf of Aranjar by turning it to dust in an instant. If you're sure, how about a little wager? Bet gold says your ancestor was no saint. You're on. What's... What's all this, then? Kitty Cat is spreading damnable lies about my grandfather. If you really think he was a saint, then dig him up. Saints are incorruptible. Even after death, they don't decay. Very well. I request the council's permission to exhume my ancestor and prove this fool wrong. Like I give a shit. Like I give a fuck. Okay, let's think this out. Grant permission for the body to be exhumed has a 70% chance to do something to faith. Um, dead people should stay underground. We'll be raising defiance, which, I mean, why? What does that really do for you? You know, Ask the archbishop to check the records instead. So, you see, there's a 30% chance to do something, again, do something to stability. Uh, there's a 70% chance to do something to faith. It's usually when I, you fail a thing, it's like that stat goes down. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or um, an associated thing. It's, it's, it's not really like... I mean, the, the, those stat, those stats at this point are irrelevant to all of you. The only stats that matter now, uh, well, right, well, st stability matters. Stability matters. Does anybody remember what the deal was with stability? It was it has to get under a certain amount. It had to be. I already forgot. We just saw this. Something. I already forgot. I think it has to stay under four. Uh, I, I need stability to go up, is what I fucking need. Um, there is a likelihood that if the archbishop checks the, 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 checks the church records, and that, and whatever that is fails, then stability goes down. So there is a 70% chance for stability to go down, if you guys vote for C. 
Right, guys? So, you know. Um, I think it's the opposite of that. You think it's the opposite of that? Yeah, I think if you succeed, it'll be good for stability. But if you fail, it'll be bad. If you succeed, it's going to be good for stability? Yeah. All right. Um, I could veto something. I don't know. Just let it go, man. Just let it go? Yeah. All right. So... Are you feeling the edibles? Are they hitting yet? Like, how's it feeling? No, it's legal. Well, yeah. What? Yeah, they're the the Delta Nine ones. You can get them. At, I just go to the liquor store. Man, that sounds hardcore, Delta Nine. Nah. All right. That sounds fucking hardcore, dude. It's it's really not like Delta Nine. You know, like that's oh, intense, yeah. dude. Don't you think? It is a rad name. Okay, so you guys chose to um, say dead people should stay underground. That's raising defiance. That is meaningless. All right. Delta 9. Yeah, it just sounds like Delta 9. It sounds serious, you know. Sounds like a 90s drug. Your Grace, a bard who calls herself the songstress, has been making waves in the East. Uh, not the person that I paid for before. No. Her performances no. are attracting huge crowds. So huge that there have been brawls and stampedes as people push closer to the stage. There's some panties getting thrown around, right? They have been, There have been no deaths yet, but it's only a matter of time. With every concert, the riots get worse. What can we do to nip this in the bud? Let's hire the Hells Angels for concert security. Oh, right. That's a thing. That'll go well. Yeah. That's actually an option. Ban her from performing. Ensure her shows have adequate security. Invite her to the palace for a private show. This is not a matter for the council's attention. Which will uh, reduce stability. And... We don't like that. Um, we don't like that. We don't like that. So what we're going to do here is um, we're going to be vetoing uh, D. Yeah, that's what we're going to do here. Okay, guys? Yeah. Um, inviting her to the palace for a private show will increase defiance, but, like, I mean, again, defiance for who? Purple? Probably. They're, they're just trying to, like, vote for something that will not have really any any impact one way or the other. There was something I wanted to fucking talk to you about before, and I've been trying to remember what it was all night. Fucking. God damn it. What the. Whatever. Voting is closed. It wasn't it sucking penis. Was it sucking penis? Maybe it was sucking penis. Solid song. Have you heard that song? It's fucking... It rules, dude. I, I, I sent it to you. Seventh, take us. Instead of stopping this madness, we reward it? That's right. The Stone Maiden. Here's... Here's me about to wish I hadn't used... My veto just now. Behold your grace, Count Eccentric A.U. Pulls aside the tarpaul and to reveal a granite statue of Count El Presidente. The statue is impeccably detailed. Its expression, a frozen grimace. We fucked up. We killed Grimace. A sad sight, is it not? That's not a statue, is it? That is all that remains of my fellow Count it seems the Stone Maiden is abroad in the East. Grimace died? Yeah, he's he's gone, bro. Shit. It was pretty fucked up. I mean, like, they killed him off in, 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 like, an actual commercial, like a McDonald's commercial. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that happened. You want me to, you want to see the commercial? 
I got juice. You got juice? Mm-hmm. Fruit punch. All right, I'm going to send you a, U a YouTube video, okay, buddy? Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to send... Yeah, I'm sending you... I just want you to... Check that out. You'll enjoy that right now. Okay, um... She is a walking statue with burning yellow eyes. All who meet her gaze are turned to stone. She sleeps for years at a time before waking and terrorizing the kingdom. She must have ambushed Count Presidente on his latest walk in the cemetery. Please, Your Grace, we must do something. Okay. Ooh! Hiring a wizard! What a perfect waste of money that would be! But of course, it's not my choice, chat. It's yours. And I don't have the ability to veto anything, and I don't expect any of you to do anything to help me. Um, even though, um, if you want to stop Yellow from winning the game, um, you do want to vote A, uh, guys. Um, because if you, actually, I, I, I think what's, if you don't vote A, I lose in the next turn. And the game ends. And then we probably pay, play Mario Kart. Okay? I'm glad he's dead. Um, who? The Grimace. Oh, you watched it? Yeah. Me yeah. too, honestly. He always was kind of a creepy piece of shit. Yeah, like I wasn't really thinking about it, but when you think about it, like the dude's fucking weird. He's a weird, creepy son of a bitch. I'm, I'm happy about it, frankly, yeah. Yeah, I think you guys want to, uh, you want to vote A to, uh, to fuck over the Grandies. Um, and even, and even that might not work because my treasury needs to be below 5,000. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's a, it'll be a nice start. Right? Yeah, there you go. They know what's up. It's funny, you got, you got a number of people voting against their own self-interests down here. It's very interesting. Wonder what that's about. They do that sometimes. Yeah. Every now and then you'll see like a couple of guys actively choose to vote against their team. We even had some grandees voting for, uh, voting against their own self-interest here. The Count El Presidente has died, but his son joined the council. You sent out word that you need a wizard, and fast. A few days later, one arrives and presents a hideous spectacle indeed. The wizard is a smoking rune of twisted slag, mouth stretched in a silent scream. Carried into your throne room atop a palanquin, he is set down carefully by a team of sickly-looking apprentices. <laughs> I hear you're having trouble with a woman who turns people to stone. I matter I regretfully have some experience with. I fucked her. Never put your dick in crazy, my liege. I can make this problem go away for the advertised fee and a small sacrifice. All I require is one of the king's teeth. Didn't see that coming. That's a little, uh, that's a little out there. You want to explain that? That's wizard business. That sounds like some wizard shit, yeah. My authority will drop. Why? D that can't be good, man. That, 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 that can't be good. That can't be good. I can't give this fucking creep one of my teeth. Like, that's gonna fucking... That's gonna fuck if, me up. But if I reject him, look what happens. What? It might be good for you to lose money. No, I know that, but it's not like if I tell I him to get. Like, what if you get cursed, and the curse is everything sucks, and then you're broke? Maybe could be a could be a financial curse. Could be the curse of like listening to Jim Cramer. Oh yeah. Take the tooth. How's he allowed to have a TV show when he's wrong? Oh, look. Now I've, fu now I've fulfilled the Baron's uh, thing, thingamajig. No, I haven't. Thank you, Majesty. It makes a fine addition. 
Okay. Uh, the East, dr Defiance dropped again. Oh, I got stability. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That was an unexpected outcome that uh, kind of fucked purple in the butt. Right? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I didn't know it was going to happen like that. Uh, the Stone Maiden's eyes are dark. She's a statue again, silent and unmoving, with the village children dancing around her and pigeons making messes on her head. Okay, time to end the season. I was not able to spend all that money, so it's not good. I wonder if the... The grandee's scheme accounts for inflation. A pair of counts face each other in silence. A code word is exchanged. They speak of their latest schemes. What happened? The kingdom was meant to be a whirlpool of chaos by now. It's more like a whirlpool of smiles and hugs. No demon will come anywhere near it. Plushy, thanks for the bits, bud. Oh, congrats on the job, bud. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Also, the Counts suck blood and cock, maybe at the same time. Why not? Why not? They go down there, sucking off, su sucking off some, you some, just uh... Just do a low cut, and then you can suck and fuck. Yeah, 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 sucking off some fella. You do a little nibble, and then you got a, uh, you got a fucking blended smoothie coming out of there, right? Yeah, I don't think it would taste good, though. That was a horrible thing to say, man. Yeah, it was. A blended smoothie. I really don't think that we should be allowed to speak. Ever again, right? Yeah, just generally. Like under any thir any circumstances. Yeah, that was just generally bad. Rev is like, I, I regret that for you. Right? Yeah, He's I didn't like, say it. I was going to say, <laughs> like, say wait a minute. I didn't say this shit, so why am I acting like, you know? <laughs> right. Okay, the Count's aim is to lower stability to four or less. Can I ban that guy for saying strawberry milkshake? Um, if by ban you mean mod. Okay. All right, guys. So you you gotta still uh, you gotta lower stability, guys. Um, by royal dec decree we can tweak the laws. Okay. Anonymous voting useless. Monarchs useless. golden choice. If nobles vote for the monarch's choice, they gain five uh, five hundred personal wealth. Honestly, royal gamble, but don't use it as it should be used. Tre uh, 500 treasury if the nobles vote for the selected option. If so, the nobles let's vote... Say you really want A to be the thing. Just pick... Wait, no. It doesn't work like that. No, you pick on something that you'd want. Wait, that'd be bad. Rev... I'm wondering yeah. if I'm wondering if there's a way where we could use this ability to drain our treasury immediately. Right? That's what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how it works. But you know what? Monarch's choice is useless. Yeah. So we'll sure. just get it's rid of it and then we'll and then we'll, we'll we'll see if that if that opportunity kind of pre presents itself, you know. I generally think that you could just tell chat, "Hey, vote for this." And if they're actually going to, you know, do that, um, we're going to a cathedral, the holy site, which your excommunication will take. Oh, I lost. It's over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is ab absolutely that. is it. It's over. We no, no, I won. I, I, I lost. I lost. Yeah, and I lost because yellow won. You spot your wife in the stands alongside her fellow baron. She waves at you half-heartedly. You stand accused of greed and avarice, of hoarding the wealth and letting the ninth god. How do you plead? Not guilty. For several hours, you're subjected to a grueling trial in which countless witnesses are wheeled out to testify. Some of them you don't even recognize. He confiscated my life savings for a missing single tax payment. That never happened. The protests are swept aside as if you weren't even there. More tales of your misdeeds pour out. Lack of farming subsidies. Your mishandling of the treasury. Well, they got me on that one. Even the time you commanded a baker fee feed for you for free because you'd forgot your wallet i fucking said i was gonna pay you back bro but you didn't finally you know, your wife stepped kind of glad you're gonna die really it's like that i mean it kind of sounds like you're an asshole man 
I'm listening Man, to them talk, and I think they have a point. You turned out to be a terrible worm tongue. Actually, you turned out turned out to be a pretty good worm tongue. Yeah. Finally, your wife steps up to the docket, avoiding your gaze. They got my wife, bro. They got to my wife. Yeah, you should have been more supportive of her um, pig killing. Ul Ulrika tearfully recalls the time you lost your temper after a stressful council sh session and shouted at her for disturbing you. I don't remember that. It doesn't matter that it's a lie or that it's barely relevant to excommunication. Everyone gasps and mutters like a troop of performing monkeys. You know what's amazing is the thing that fucked me over in this game was the inflation thing. Mm. Was, the, was, the, was the, the money printing thing. And not even for the reason that I that I thought. No, it's some random shit. Right? Like, not even for, for a completely unforeseen reason. Your Highness, you committed crimes. I excommunicate you from the church. Is there any chance for me to salvage this? Uh, no. I think this is you losing. I won't abdicate. By law, the holder of the crown must be a member of the church. You are simply no longer the king, and while you were here, why not crown your successor? I never got the heir. Wait, which successor? It's Grand Zeremia. Oh, okay, so the Grandi uh, choice. This fucking game is bullshit, dude. It kind of is, man. This is garbage. This is complete garbage, dude. What fucking stupid... What garbage? It, 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 this is... It's just... It's all RNG, dude. There's almost nothing you can fucking do. There's almost nothing you could do to win. It's impossible to fucking win this game. I did. I was just saying from where I'm from. Let's get good. It's extremely imbalanced, and it's very clear that they didn't play test it enough. Hmm. Rev, I did everything you told me to do this entire time. You basically played this game. Nah. Oh. What do you mean, nah? There's video evidence of it. Okay. Okay, so if you're a grandee, you were just... Basically, you were just lucky. You got lucky, essentially. Because I because I chose that option to print more money. It was just... That just got handed to you. I, you, I you didn't... did tell you to do that one. You're right, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, thank you. I didn't, you didn't make every decision. Just that one incredibly crucial one that I suggested. But I think I was... I'll, I'll be honest. I, I think I was going to do it anyway. Yeah. It turns out it was funny, but not for why we thought. <laughs> True Blue, thanks for the uh, the gift subs. Uh, Mike is high as a kite. He has no idea what's happening. I didn't have any edibles. I'm, I didn't. Nah, he's saying that I am. Um, yeah, but he must have typoed because he left your name out. You knew printing money was a bad idea and you did it anyway. Yeah, but I, again... Not in that way. I didn't know it was going to be a bad idea in that way. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, that kind of came from left field. I, I, I sort of expected that the reason we were fucked was like, you know, money's worthless. So effectively, we have like $2 to our name. And then it changes the score on based on that. I knew it was going to be bad, but not for that reason. Okay, so... You guys refunded the points? Yeah, you refund the points on the... Okay, the what, what if... What if... What if we do a thing, but the team that wins gets to keep all the points? And if mm. I win, they get refunded. Or you could pick, you could have a, a fourth option that no one, yeah, I kind of like that, man. Interesting, right? Yeah. What do you think? Want to do it, chat? I mean, of course you don't have to. You know, or you could gamble a very, very small amount if you want, you know. Like it, because if you gamble a very, very small amount, it's almost as good as you not gambling at all, really. You know, if you gamble like a... Like, just, just, be, just be on the right team, right? 
Because we're going to do... We're, I, I want to do one more of these. Yeah. Hey, Mike? Yeah. I think I'm high. Yeah, I think so too, buddy. I should go. No, why? Dude, you're welcome to hang out if you want. If you feel like you want to you, you wanna peace out, you, you can peace out. It's totally up to you, whatever you want. I'm probably just going to watch and chat, but this was fun. But I like... Enjoy, I'm, I'm, en I'm enjoying... Um, I'm enjoying having, like, Stoner Rev hanging out. I think it would be really funny if... You continued to advise me, but zooted out of your fucking gourd. Okay, as long as you're happy with that. <laughs> I think that would make it more interesting, right? Okay, monarch name. Um, Rev, you got any? You got any fun? Uh, you got any fun ideas for a name? No. All right. Um. Monarch name. Um, um, birthday elf. Love each yeah, other. Hamburger. Love hamburger Larry. I'll put up the uh, triscuits. Hamburger. Finish the box. No, it's too many. Come on, it's good. They're good for you. They're, they're, they like, are. That's a low guilt snack, honestly. Yeah, but I've been trying to do that because, like, you know, they're healthy. Right. Um, though they're they're healthier, I think. Right. Haps Burger Larry, delicate Steve. Sire. Zoot. Topia. Okay, um, who do we want to have in here this time? All right, we're going to bring back the patricians. We're going to bring back the, the chiefs of the north. And let's bring the counts back again. I'm, I'm angry at the grandees and the barons we already did twice. Right. Why do so many people dislike blue? Just do two? You can't. You need to choose three. Use Monarch's Choice more? What? It would be completely ignored. What do you mean, Monarch's Choice? Alright, let's do it. Yeah, the counts were fun. Hey, Rev, you ever been to Medieval Times? Rev? Oh. I went. I think he went to go put, put the Triscuits away, so he didn't demolish the entire box in I'm one back. sitting. Yeah, hey. Hey. Yeah, it was, it was a lot. I want my wife to have some, too, sometime. Have you ever been to Medieval Times? No. Do they have those in Texas? Yes. All right, listen. I remember seeing one once. When I come down to Texas, which I will, I know, I know we've been talking about this for fucking years, but right. when I do come down there, we're going to medieval times, dude. They're fucking. I think they're pretty far. I think it's like Houston, maybe. Oh, so it's not close. It's like hours away. Yeah, I don't think it's like. I mean, yeah. fuck. It's so cool though. They have like choreographed sword fighting and shit. It's awesome. It would be cooler if they just killed each other. That could happen by accident. Awesome. And that, I mean that, you know, that that'll keep you on on the edge of your seat. That's true. Right. Well, I mean, I guess just the risk of it happening. Like, if you show up enough, eventually there's going to be a workplace accident. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they get you know, the the swords are. I mean, I guess they're not real swords, but. I mean, like, somebody could you trip. Could sharpen, like, what if you broke into medieval times and sharpened the swords? Or, like, just, like, replace the swords with, like, really, f like, like sharp ones? Or like, whatever. actually real swords, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then yeah, you want to do that? No. 
It's probably illegal. Well, you got breaking oh. and entering, and then you have, like, conspiracy to murder, I think. Yeah, it sounds like a crime. Chad said there, there's one in Dallas. Right? Oh, yeah, Dallas ain't close. Dallas is like a four-hour car drive. Why is any... Why is anybody, uh... Why are people sitting this out? Get in here. Pick your team or if you think Mike will win. So there you go. There's there's the three teams and there's me. So if, if I win, you can get money, but I don't really see anybody voting for that. That's... that's right now, that has 0% of the vote. Blue Chiefs are in the lead, 52% to win on blue. Holy shit. All right, it's now down to 42%. Okay. 11% Mike is going to win. All right, I'm going to begin the game. Remember, you can join later if you change your mind or if, you know. You can join at any time you like. You know what else they have, dude? They have, like animals like trained animals like they bring out these horses the, the horses and they right. do like a fucking like like a whole show and a dance i don't know how to explain it to you like they, they the horses do tricks and they dance they, they dance and shit do you know about dressage no what's that it's horse dancing like they make the horse dance Th that's that then they they do that it's like a rich people thing. Yeah. You have to have a horse and you also have to have someone who knows how to make horses dance. They do fancy little dances where they do like clippity cloppity type things and, and, yeah. and, and fucking like they it's 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 cute. The How the fuck do you get a job teaching horses to dance? You probably gotta fucking have spent a lot of your time training horses before they'll hire you for something like that, right? You probably gotta be born into that, that, that industry, man. Yeah, who's going to pay for you to do that? The other thing, too, is they have a falconer. And the falcon flies around indoors and then takes a shit in your soup. That doesn't sound real. Dude, the falcon poop adds such a distinct flavor to the soup. Is They're... it like Applebee's? The food? The quality of the food? Yeah. Better. Better. The tomatoes, no, seriously, the tomato soup is like crack. Once you have it, you're like, you, you will never go back. You, you'll never be able to eat like bullshit, like Campbell's tomato soup ever again. You'll be like, what the fuck is it? Why is this soup so God tier? They also bring you like, you, you, you get an entire rotisserie chicken if you choose chicken, the chicken entree. They bring you an entire rotisserie chicken. I don't want that much chicken. We'll split it then. That's a good point. We could do that. All right. Um, coronation. All right. We're going to just like skip all this, right? Yeah. I mean, you've read it all. Yeah. This is this is all the same. Okay, guys. Uh, let's get this over with. Throw me in the fucking river. Unless, there's, again, there's no point to veto anything. Huh. You just let it go. Wealth. Um, invite foreign dignitaries would raise trade. They didn't even pick their fucking things yet, so who who knows? Yeah, they don't know what. They didn't pick they, their, their 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 what are they called? The schemes. They didn't pick their schemes yeah. yet, so. Right. Oh, they are voting for the foreign dignitary thing to bankrupt me early and get money for themselves it looks like yeah now that they know it's actually good that you should probably veto that because money is important yeah i should have vetoed that huh i guess so i'm surprised money they didn't go things. i i, I kind of thought like throwing me in the river was the default thing it was i'm a little surprised that they didn't do that yeah and it looks like everybody's trade went up which is not good, especially for the uh, the coast, right? Okay. Uh, council introduction. Let's do it. Okay. All right. We've done. We've seen all this. We've seen all this. We've seen all this. 
And we got the path to victory where I'm going to pick my... Alright, so the... Military one was... I didn't that even... Was I, I wasn't even, like, pre presented with the chance to try to do this. Do you remember what I said when I was giving you hints? Yeah. That the easiest way to win is to get lucky? Yeah. I didn't even get an air. No, I didn't get an air. I did that that whole last round was so omega fucked for me, dude. Yeah. It's really not a good situation at all. Um You should do the console introduction. Well, I mean it's too late, so Fun what? fact, if my goal is trade, right? Right. I'm thinking that sounds good because you'll, like, I mean, the, the, the patricians are getting there. They're going to have 10. That's probably a good chunk of the way towards whatever the fuck you need to do. And they're going to probably, like, try to want, be wanting to do something to increase their stat. They probably don't even have a, a, a goal where their stat, their, where their goal is to lower this. You know what I'm saying? Probably not, no. And I would imagine, like, just naturally all their events are going to be about that. I think the Counts always have, like, food, but I think it's just because of the blood ritual. Chiefs to the north, we know I should be on the throne, not Hamburger Larry. Uh, let's go find the horn. Uh, wait, which one was the horn? I think that, that comes later, right? Did you have the bear thing? What was that? Do you have the thing with a bear? And it's an event? Yeah. I never got... No. No. Okay. Then what, don't worry about it. It gets into a bunch of cocaine and goes on a rampage? No. I saw some people were upset and they were taking their kids to it and they expected it to be like family friendly and it wasn't. And it wasn't? Yeah, no. It turns out like 100% that is not... A family friendly. I mean, like it it, it, it advertises gore and and I, I guess drug use, but the bear is doing the drugs. So is that right? The real bear died almost instantly. Mike can't help but openly talk out what everyone should do. Well, that's fine as yeah. long as you also sometimes say the incredibly wrong thing. Because then they won't trust you. I think, yeah, I, gee, I think Cocaine Bear will be fun for my children. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably fucking fairly nightmare-inducing for children, right? Yeah, I mean, it's also rated R, so like... Someone in chat, know. someone is saying children do drugs in the movie, so even better. <laughs> even, it's, it's, it's just a slam dunk family movie. All right. Great family-friendly movie. The Chiefs plan to swap the real king for a perfect doppelganger. First, they must gain the trust of the spy master. To advance their scheme, the Chiefs must be the region with the lowest defiance in two seasons. So you have to... So Chiefs need to have low defiance. They need to calm down and not be suspicious. That's so weird. Uh, well, I mean, like... Literally everything the king does in this game raises defiance, so good fucking luck. Just, you know, marry their son or whatever. That'll make them super happy and they'll be so angry about it. Yeah, well, we... Actually, we want to reject their, their fuck, the person they bring to marry me. We want to oh, reject... Oh, right. yeah, we, other way around. We yeah. want to reject them so and then call them... them every chance. Yeah, call them tax. ugly. Call them ugly. Yeah. And then pee on him in front of everybody. My fellow counts, in ancient times, the East was its own proud kingdom. We can bring back the days of glory. How do you want to do it? Subterfuge. Blood ritual again. Didn't go that great last time. Yeah, I've never seen... Uh, I think the counts won once. And I think it was a military victory. And they still tried for the blood thing. 
Looks like it's fairly even here. They want to go with lowering their own faith, it looks like. So we need to bring faith to these these godless heathens, right? They do have a lot of events that just cause there to be no faith. Well, we're going to be trying to do the opposite, Did I ever I show you the, uh, the Limp Biscuit version of that? Is it, does it have anything to do with sucking penis? No. Then I'm not interested. <laughs> no, it's pretty bad. I, I played it on stream. It's it's. I mean, it's a new metal take on Faith by George Michael. Yeah, that sounds like dog shit, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad. Man, how would that even... How would you even begin to start to go about doing that? What, what would ever make them want to do that? I don't know. They also did Behind Blue Eyes. Ugh. The Counts yeah. plan to induct the king into their secret cult and offer him immortality in exchange for the throne. Dude, that's fucking rad. First, they I'm, must I'm... reduce the power of the Eastern Church. Um. You know what? I'm in. Let's do this thing. Yeah, honestly. That sounds kind of, like, awesome. Like, that's a win-win. Most of these, you get murdered. But this one, you're like, hey, do you want to be immortal? Let's like, do it. Uh, moderators yeah. pay out for Team Purple. They just won the game. Yeah, yeah they're just going to win that. All the other ones, you die or whatever. To that, you get to be, do you think being immortal would be bad? No. Because, like, what if you, like... I mean, what are your chances of falling in a hole? And breaking your legs so that way you can't climb out? Like, in a lifetime. I think it's stupid when, like... For example, when vampires are depicted and it's like, Being immortal is agony! It's like it, shut the fuck up. Well, you don't I mean, get like, you, you don't get the you, you don't your joints don't fail and you don't get cancer and this doesn't happen and that doesn't happen and you fuck you don't need glasses and shut the fuck up. You don't have to go to the dentist. Shut up. Well, I mean, but in reality, you think about it, it's not going to be like you're an aristocrat. You got this whole like thing where you got to keep like moving because they'll know that you're the one killing everyone. Yeah. So what? Like, you're fucking. You have, to, you have to outrun the law forever. So what? You you you'll have you'll have the fucking resources, dude. What happens if they put you in jail for life? They're not doing that. They're not doing that. What I'm if a vampire, they, they dude. They get you for murdering someone. They're not gonna. Skill issue, bro. Bro, you can't even not die in this game. All right. Well. Wait. What are we talking about? Talking about being a vampire. Yeah, being a vampire would be cool. And like, having immortality. Like, having immortality. Immortality, I don't think would work. No, it would work. And dude, okay. so what? You know what? You're immortal, right? They put you in jail, so they they, they know you're immortal, and they put you in a special jail well, no, to contain they, you. They put you in for like I don't know three life sentences, which is like seventy five years times three. Which I'll is... I'll get out, especially because I'm not killable. I'll get out. Well, I mean, you die in sunlight, and if you have to... So you basically have to act oh, like a piece yeah. of shit. So that way you get solitary confinement all of the time. All right, well, if so you... you if, won't get sunlight. If, if you fuck up and get arrested, then, yes, yeah, skill issue. Okay, but, like, that shouldn't be happening to you. But, I mean, like, you know, what? what's the stat? Like, only 10% of murders are ever solved? I don't know. So, like, just every time you have to eat, which you have to do... Like, you have a small percentage chance of, like, getting caught. And if you do, then, like, you go to prison for, like, however many years. And you have to eat a lot, right? You have to eat a lot. So there's a high probability you're going to get caught. Yeah. So you have to constantly be on the move. Like, you can't live in a town because, like, eventually people are going to be like, what the fuck? Why are you so old? Dude, being in a prison is the best place to be because, like, society doesn't care about, like, convicts. So you just suck, fucking eat all the fucking convicts, bro. And what are they going to do? Put you in jail? Yeah, and then you can eat more convicts in jail. Actually, for a vampire, that's actually a pretty solid situation, right? You get kept away from sunlight. Uh-huh. You have a full fucking steady supply of scumbags that nobody cares about. Right. Right. Not bad. Yeah, I guess that's what you... I mean, it kind of sucks. 
But I mean, you're yeah. a vampire. You're worth used to like sucking. Right, blood. right, right, right. You can't lose in the modern age, as a vampire, right? Is, is it your same? Yeah, you basically. I mean, but your life would be real. I mean, like you'd have food and shelter, but man, your life would be rough. Like you'd have to be in solitary half the time. Become a prison warden. Somebody said. Oh yeah. And, like, cops will, like, lie for other cops, so you probably won't ever get arrested. I would just, tra I would just be, yeah, constantly traveling. And, like, just, yeah, I would just, I would just, like, suck off, like, I would find, like, bad people. I would want, I would, I would try to be ethical about it as much as I could, you know? There are 15,877 homicides in 2018. 6,537 were unsolved. So that's like Fuck. 33%. Yeah. It's like, I mean... A lot so of them like, do get solved, though, dude. Math. So that's math like... Is, no. You, know, you, you said something like 90% of them are unsolved, and that's very yeah, not that true. Yeah, that was wrong, it turns out. Yeah, that was out. very wrong. According to this, right now, the um, clearance rate is about 50 percent which means about half of all murders in the united states go unsolved that was as of 2022 okay so it's been getting better worse. better no because it was like a 33 percent chance for it to go unsolved but now it's about like a coin flip maybe they were just like arresting the wrong people for the murders oh yeah well, I mean, I guess really all that comes down to is whether or not they arrested someone, not necessarily the right person. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Look, Chad is like, oh, fuck, that's not good. But like, nah, dude, like murder is kind of legal, I guess. Murder is legal, bro. Half the time. Just because they don't get caught. Yeah. It's sort of like if everyone jaywalks and no one is prosecuted for it then it's not illegal to advance their scheme the counts must lower their faith to four or less in three seasons all right so we need to do everything we can silver tongue to make sure that the count's faith goes up okay right Fellow patricians of the coast, my claim to the throne is far more legitimate than that of King Hamburger, Burgor, Crazy Hamburger, Larry. Something must be done. All right. Patricians? Do you want to make the goal of Monopoly raising your own trade? Oh, I've never not seen them take that, but I guess maybe that's why it always seems like it's their thing. Because that is their thing. Yeah, I just kind of assumed that that was like their stats always went up, but I think they also were trying for it. Well, what I'm really confused about, frankly, is why they picked that when that actually only serves... To benefit me in the long run. Doesn't it? Yes. Realized it during the voting, but didn't want to say anything because... Pretty sneaky, sis. It, they're, they're saying because if we do that, it means you won't work against us. Oh, but I have other ways to work against you, don't I? I mean, they could get past that part and then... Yeah. Once they get past that part, then you just... The patricians plan to privatize the entire kingdom. First, they must build up their industry. To advance the scheme, you have to trade, raise your trade to five or more in four seasons. Well, it's... already done. Silly. In fact, all of your goals are already met. I think this just gives uh, you a little bit of time to, like, stop them. Uh -huh. lower. That's really what it is, is like, if you can lower, or if you can increase their Blue's Defiance, then they aren't. Well, I want to increase Blue's Defiance, and I want to increase Purple's Faith. That's what I meant. Um, I'm just gonna... 
do nothing, honestly, with green at this point. Honor guard. So that would make blue happy, so you don't want to do blue. We certainly don't want to do blue. Okay. I have made my decision. We did the counts last time. It didn't work out so well. And we know it can't be the Chiefs. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's going to be the Patricians. We basically already sided with them, right? Or they sided with us, so we... we like, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a way, in a way, yes, in a way. So, like... The gladiators arrive a few weeks later. The men are bare-chested and the women underdressed, eager to show off their bodies as much as their weaponry. Awesome. They gather behind your throne and begin oiling themselves up. <laughs> Weird. It's getting greasy in the throne room, huh? Okay. Uh, a new baby. You gotta come see the baby. A baby has been born on your birthday, bearing a birthmark in the shape of the number nine. Call the birthday elf. A fantastic omen. Perhaps we should mark the occasion. I don't know. That one kind of feels a little bit uh, a little bit a, a nine, huh? Yeah. Um, um, are you sure it's not upside down? Oh right. Also, what if it's because they they it's what are the gods? It's the seven. Sixth god, ninth god. There are nine gods in the game, apparently. Right, because I know there's one over... Like, they're trying to make a new god or something. They're trying to summon some sort of uh, eldritch demon or some shit, right? Yeah, but I mean, also, there's another thing. where they're, they're, There are heretics that believe in a ninth god that'll take out the other one. Well, it would have to be a tenth god. Oh. Because they, they, they recognize nine. I see. Okay, let me just uh, take a look at these real quick. Um, uh, treasury, gift to parents, a bounty of jewels, and fine wine, right? Send the Inquisition to make sure the birthmark is real. Hmm. Which will lower faith. And I just don't think I trying want to raise their faith that their faith? happening right now frankly so that's what we're gonna do there okay so when you vote C you are taking money from me but you're also raising stability, which is which is nice. Thanks, guys. That's that's stability cool. is always nice to have. That's cool. That's it inevitably nice. comes down to oh, and now for our next step, we lower stability. Thanks, guys. Real cool. Very cool. Very cool. So a lot of uh, green people voting for that. In fact, it was a majority green. You know what it sort of feels like? It sort of feels like. Green the, doesn't have your best interest at heart. No, it feels like the the green team kind of, kind of, kind of might have my best interests at heart. Oh, guys, are we going to develop a working relationship here? This could work. You want trade? I want trade. Yeah. Let's be capitalists. Maybe we, maybe we want the same things, guys. Maybe we want the same things. All right. No cap. Remember what part two of Green's plan was from the last time you played? Green will backstab you. I legit, I, you, you really think I remember that? I don't remember what just happened. Um, we just voted on something to do with this baby. Right, yeah. Literally, we'll get toppled by a bourgeois revolution. I'm getting stabbed in the back either way, though. Yeah. Well, you have no choice in the matter, right? No. It's happening whether I like it or not. Rev. Yeah. Where on, like, in your body do you think your kidneys are? Like, 
on your side? Like, how far? How far down? Like your back? You talk, why? Where do you just? Where do you think they are? Where do you think the kidney is? Where do you think your kidneys are located on your body? Do you know this? It's like above the hips. Above the hips, right? Yeah, give or take a bit. Why do you think that? I don't know. Just that's the way they showed it in medical diagrams. Yeah. Well, now I got to look it up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and Google that location of the kidney. Damn, what the fuck? Why are they so high up? <laughs> huh. I be thought it was like... Beca be 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 because, bro. Because, bro. They were down there where you said. But the fucking... After Harambe was shot and killed, the timelines diverged, and all of our fucking kidneys got fucking moved higher. Is this a Berenstein Bears thing? Yes, it is. What? Yeah. That's the most recent change in the universe. The location of our kidneys was moved. Somebody moved your kidneys, bro. I don't think that's real, Mike. It is real. Mike. Don't. It's 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 real. That's the most recent change. Somebody is fucking with your organs, son. Why would they do that? <laughs> um as a test run. Mani manipulation. Because they can. It doesn't matter why they would do it. I, I don't... I think it's happening. just have shitty drawings, my dude. You think, you, you think it's just shitty drawings? Yeah. Alright. It's a valid theory. I think that makes more sense. It seems like a lot of work to move someone's kidneys. Especially if you don't know them. If you knew him, you could probably do it. Well, I don't think somebody, like, opened you up and, like, physically relocated your kidneys. I, I think it's just... Somebody, like, changed the, the code in the Matrix or something like that, you know? Like, when the universe is split. Right. Or the, 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 the feds got to your wife. And made her move your kid. If they do have to be manually moved, the only person who could get close enough to you to do it is Tilda. Oh, okay. Can you do me a favor? Can you ask her right now if she moved your kidneys? No, I'm good. She wouldn't do that. And if she did, she'd have good reason. So you're t so you're telling me if she did move your kidneys without telling you? Yeah. I'd be cool with that. You would be okay with it because you trust her on that level? Yeah, I mean, you know. Like, basically, she had... You you, you are giving her the benefit of the doubt, and she had a good reason to do it, right? Yeah. Can you do... do, do have you... He probably knows about this one, but have, have you ever... Have you ever had any uh, Fruit of the Loom, like, underwear or, or, or undershirts? Oh, I've or, heard this one. Yeah. yeah. Can you describe the logo of the of the company? It's like a cornucopia, but of fruit. A cornucopia of fruit. Yeah. You know the Mandela effect, right? Yeah, I think that's just because we're stupid, dude. So you, so you, 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 th you think there was never a cornucopia? Because the conspiracy theory is that. No, there's the, no cornucopia. The conspiracy theory is, is is that there used to be a cornucopia, and now there's not. Right. Well, so are you telling me that you believe you believe there never was a cornucopia? Yeah. Okay. What if I show you the original patent of of fucking Fruit of the Loom and the description in the text from like 1928 describes the logo as having a cornucopia? Can I ask you a question, Mike? Not it, until you answer mine. I don't remember what you just told me. All right, what, what did you want to ask me? It doesn't matter. Okay. What did you want to ask me? Fuck. We should get back to this game. I think you're a fed. Okay. 
fed someone just said fed scarecrow. He's a fed. He's a fed. Found the fed. Found the fed chat. Uh, all right, yes, we will. We will get back to the game. Um, by the way, blue. It's interesting because blue is no longer meeting its 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 victory condition because. Its defiance is tied with the counts. It has to have the lowest defiance. Right. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with the patricians' defiance. Like, I feel like I forgot. You're trying to... The patricians are trying to raise their defiance, no, I think? No, 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 no. In order for blue to succeed, uh, blue needs to go down. Yeah, blue needs to go down. And green needs to go up. Green That's needs to go... Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's what the little arrows are for. Yep. Exactly. Your Majesty, they name they asked permission to name the baby after you. The more hamburger Larrys, the better. No, I'm the only hamburger Larry around here. Dude, I think there's gonna be enough doppelgangers uh hanging around, right? Oh right, yeah, that's a thing that's going on that you're concerned about. Yeah, but it's the it's it's the blue people, not the, the purple people. I, I, I think we should totally um, let him do it because. Fuck it, man! They, if they're I, just doing it to praise you, right? I, I, it, it, because if I if. Fuck! If I raise the count's defiance. It'll make it easier for blue. No, yeah. Yes. 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 I think so. Okay. More hamburger, Larry's the better. Yeah. Who knows what sort of person this baby will become? I guess we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out. <laughs> Uh, okay. Here we go. A petitioner from afar. Your Majesty, there is a petitioner here to see you today. We're not exactly sure where she's from. I assume you have a good reason for letting her in. What does she want? You'll see soon enough, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty. My name is Ulreed. I have a proposition for you. Tell me more. Three dicks. Dicks? Three dicks. Three ships are docked in a harbor to the west. <laughs> Three dicks are docked <laughs> in a harbor to the west. Their holds are packed to the gills with muskets and gunpowder, and they each boast a full battery of cannons. They are all yours in return for a small favor. What's the favor? I only wish to stay in this kingdom with your blessing and protection. I can show your soldiers how to use the weapons, of course, to avoid any accidents... All right, what did you do? I don't know what you mean, Your Majesty. I simply wish to keep my dealings private. You will forgive me, I hope. Sus. Please let her in. Well, it's actually up to you guys. Provide safe harbor for all read in exchange for muskets. And this will raise, I'm assuming, everybody's military. Or, or just green chat? Depends on whose land is this? This is happening in the green territory. Then it's gotta be just the green one then. Okay, so it'll raise the greens military. Um you can reject the offer and send her away. You can confiscate the weapons and take or read prisoner, which is gonna lower stability, which will fuck me, obviously, probably at some point. Um So I mean, generally speaking, you don't want your stats to go down. If you're if you if you're green you have the ability to lower stability and increase your military in one fell swoop. I don't, so I mean, like, if you're green, I don't really understand why you would choose A. If you're red, sir, th then you're not playing this game right now. If you're purple or if you're blue, um, you probably want to vote for B because if you do that, you are denying green the chance to increase their military. Okay. So there it there it is. Yeah. Okay. Or and then or you know keep in mind there are on impossible to predict to predict consequences for the other choices as well that we won't. I mean probably rejecting also has some kind of some kind of funny thing that'll happen. Are we still naming that kid? Oh yeah, his name is Hamburger Larry. That was 15 minutes ago. Okay. 
Yeah. I guess Hamburger Larry Jr. Sure. Yeah. All right, so the amount of people that are voting for A fills me with a strange suspicion that they are doing that because they know if they do it, something is going to happen that will fuck me raw. And that, of course, is the only reason that anybody is watching the stream right now to watch me get fucked. Hmm, that sounds right. Um, all right, let's see. Ori and her weapons proved the most useful in the coming months. She and her crew train your officers as promised. And look at, would you look at that? That significantly raised the military of everybody. Huh? Wow. Okay. Ori demonstrates by puncturing a metal breastplate at 500 yards. The council clearly made the right decision. Man, if only I chose military as a, as a goal, like I did last time, right? Yeah. Holy fuck. Then, you know, life like this. It do be like that. Yeah. Surely these muskets won't be used against me at any point. Ding! All right, guys, time to start an auction. You know the deal. Aqueducts to raise your farming. Theaters to lower authority. Observatories lowers the faith. Um, which I think is the thing that you're trying to do. Um, patricians, you have a cathedral. Raise faith. Uh, bazaar to raise trade. Okay. Go for it. Fund a 100 would fund building A for 100 wealth. So you want to put fund, you want to put fund, fund F, 1000 is the thing you want to do. Fund F, 1000, fund F, fund F, 1000, fund F, your entire, your entire wealth is what you want to do, guys, All right? Purple really, really, really trying to get that observatory built, right? And they do get it built. They do put it in there! And we also have the trade uh, being raised, which is pretty sexy for both me and, and the patricians here. A little bit of quid pro quo, a little bit of you suck my cock, I suck yours. A little bit of that. Spouse time. Who are you trying to piss off? You need to really piss off um, purple and or green. No, other way. No, we, you need we, to make sure that the counts chill the fuck out. We need we need blue pissed off. Right. Yeah. So you should marry a big titty goth girlfriend. Ah, uh, big titty goth. Now, are you just saying that because you like big titty goth girlfriends, uh, Silver Tongue, or are you saying that because that's some? Um, really the play uh, no i think that's the play because then 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 they're less angry than the other guy oh that's real yeah. that's real that's real yeah he's cooking he's cooking for real i vaguely understand what's happening Although I think it'll be too late. By, by the time we get to choose, it'll be too late for that to matter, actually. Right? Um, Why? Because the t it'll be like two turns from now. They're, they'll have already achieved the thing that they're trying to achieve, probably. Um, no, because... I mean, they have time. We have time. We can I, do it. I, I wonder why there's a, a little check mark next to the defiance under the counts, especially because... Because that's where the Chiefs want it to be. It's, you know, high. 
you know, and you all you need to do from here is just get below. No, the chief, the, the chiefs want it to want it to be higher. Right, exactly. So the check mark shows that blue is doing what they need to be doing to the counts, but they need to, for example, raise the patricians because it's got an up arrow. That defiance stat, huh? So no, it's because just talking about blue. Yeah, I'm talking about blue because their 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 thing was to try to keep their own defiance low, and they they are not achieving that right now. Right. Good. Bankruptcy looms. All right, you can get a bank loan, sell off the jewels. All right, so printing more money did not, did not cause any problems last time. I think it's because you lost real fast. Okay, it, 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 it caused problems in a different sense. I want to see what happens. I think you lost before it was actually like a real. That's issue. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, dude. Okay. Oh, I agree. I had I got fucked with RNG basically. Time to crack open tombs. Uh. Wait, why are you broke? Because because of chat's stupid coronation decision. Um. Oh right, that thing. Now, we have six stability. Can maybe lose one or two points, I think, right now. Um, but we also have the ability to raise defiance for everyone. Now, I'm again, again, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying really hard to understand this. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to everybody. Okay. Okay. Everybody is so high. Everybody is fucking baked right now. Chat is baked. Chat's out of their fucking gourds. Because you're the one giving gifts to ugly babies. You voted for that. You voted for that. Hey, uh, do the royal mint thing again. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm think I'm I am I am thinking about it. It just seems like a really fucking stupid idea. I am thinking about it. I'm just, again, it's really hard for me to remember what all their things are. They want to keep... Okay, so... Chiefs want to keep Defiance extremely... They want to get the lowest Defiance. They want to have the lowest Defiance out of everybody. Right, so it shows you where they're at. So the, the down arrow means that they want to get their Defiance lower. And it shows you little blue pips on each of them. Because, you know, whatever blue is doing involves all those things. But currently... The stat for the counts is okay as long as blue went down and the green yeah. one is not okay because it needs to go up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. So why the, don't I not I'm just gonna not fuck with defiance right now. The the I counts mean, are having their condition fulfilled because they, they have a very low faith stat. Yeah, their, their faith is below Their faith is, is below whatever number it was that they needed. Right. The patricians have the trade that they need. Right. Okay. Which doesn't which won't help me until much later, right? We're gonna mint we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna I flood mean, we're gonna flood the zone. I don't know how it's a bad idea, but it's a bad idea. It'll 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 take several turns, but we'll find out. Yeah. The curse now captain our goal be to survive to that. Um the curse captain that you allowed to stay in the capital, the one who traded the weapons has been the cause of some concern. I can't imagine that being the case, the nobles have complained she's been rude and confrontational. She does not know royal etiquette, after all. Worse, some suspect her of being a Kurth spy. Sounds like she sucks. All right, let's just let's just go talk to her. Couldn't hurt. I heard you were causing trouble. And where did you hear that? It doesn't matter. I just have a lot to ponder. I'm the king. Surely, I could do something. I appreciate the offer, your majesty, money, but, but I must deal with this myself. Are you going to tell me what it is? I'm still in the fucking dark completely here. Wait, why would they send spies over to your kingdom to, like, make... your military stronger? I, I have to read something that I just saw in chat. Yeah. They said, Michael, I am 34 years old and not gay, but your mustache made my ovaries quiver. 
think my wife's making popcorn. So you're gonna get to have Triscuits and popcorn? Yeah, if I want. You're in like munchies heaven right now, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good, dude. Okay. Up in the north, Chief Automaton Orion. Wasn't he somebody in the last oh, round? What? What a bloody disaster of a year. Not only are we clashing with the king on a daily basis, our relationship is the worst in the kingdom. The spy master will never trust, it to trust us at this rate. Ugh. How does the search... How goes the search for a lookalike? Not well. The best I found is a peasant with the wrong shaped nose, the wrong colored eyes, and a wooden leg. All right, so that means all you have to do is change the shape of my my nose and amputate one of my legs. Easy fix. Don't let that discourage you. Keep searching. Our doppelganger is out there. I'm sure of it. The chief's aim is to be the region with the lowest defiance. Who's getting taxed? All right. The chiefs discover an ancient treasure hoard frozen in ice worth 500 wealth. You should tax blue because it'll piss them off and they want to have the lowest defiance. That's true. Sorry. That doppelganger strat was kind of stupid. All right. Kind of a weird strat. Eligible options. Let's fucking go. You gotta, we got, you gotta uh, get the big titty girlfriend, my dude. The firstborn daughter of uh, Andres Tarrant. She's beautiful. Who gives a shit? We absolutely want to do nothing to lower their defiance, so we we must not marry this woman. Yeah, it doesn't matter how hot you think she is. Okay. You not marry her. Um, although. We really don't want these people in in, in rebellion, though. We, we yeah, don't, we... but I mean, like, you know, it'll be you versus them. Um, We also have Bogdan, the eldest son of the Eastern Hoodie Ninja dynasty. I met him at a party once, but all he did was squeak out a hello and run off. Seemed nice enough. Oh, he's shy. Okay. And finally, from the coast, we have Marthel, the wealthy heir to Lord Patrician Wind Can Cadence's estate. He wasn't originally the heir, but his elder brother had an unfortunate accident. Yeah, who gives a shit? Well, I mean, maybe we'll have an unfortunate accident. Do you think of that? Well, yeah, that's why you don't marry them. His interests are typical of the coast. Money, money, and making more of it. Oh, He's... I thought they said skin flute. Money, money, I like money. The common folk call him a skin flute, though, and worse things. I don't know what that was. What does skin flint mean, dude? I don't know, but I know what skin flute is. That's penis. <laughs> yep, it's cock. Uh. So. Shit. We basically, the, on, the only effect this is going to have, okay, it's going to have the unforeseen story consequences, okay, but it's also going to raise the defiance of the, of the two that I don't pick while lowering the defiance of the one that I do, right? Right, so you want to pick purple because that'll raise greens, it'll lower purples, and raise blues. Yeah, 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 You'd yeah. rather that... Greens was down as well, but net this gives you one more in the right direction. So All right, good. so 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 you think of Bogdan? Yeah, Bogdan. Get into his bog. We're gonna get into. We're gonna take a dive in Bogdan's bog, bro. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, a clairvoyant visit. Uh, let's check that out. Your Highness, a Countess Angry Bilbo has been having prophetic dreams. He had a dream, a dream where he fought with the goblins. Fucked him. 
He fucked the goblins? He fucked the goblins. It is true. I can part the veil betwixt now and some ways off. Give me a prophecy then. Okay, I dreamt of Chief Ham Robler being beheaded. And a plague of bees will bring doom upon Chief Sweet Maddie G's household. Sweet Maddie G, it's honey time. I can't live without honey on my toast. Please, Your Highness, have her foretell the future for the Council. We could gain insight into great mysteries. Okay. Taking a look at what's going on here. And I'm seeing some shit. I'm seeing some shit. Okay, we have a couple of things here. Uh, throwing the charlatan into the dungeon. That sounds pretty appealing. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. Um, it will do something to stability. Probably lower it. Uh, we also have a 50% chance to do God knows what. No idea. No idea. Right? Um... And C is make Countess Angry Bilbo an official council advisor, which sounds very, very, very I stupid. It's everyone other than Purple Off. So that would further increase Blue's defiance. Purple will like it. Purple will like it, and I think the other ones will hate it. It'll piss off the patricians. It'll piss off the chiefs. But... But, but, patricians, it will raise trade. It'll raise trade for, for purple. Right? They care about that? Oh, they need to have well, the highest. The, the, the patricians might care if it, if it raises trade. Well, they're, yeah, but they're not going to get to nine. It, right? We don't need more trade. Okay. Uh, what I don't like is my authority be being being threatened. Okay, I'm I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy about that outcome. So I will be vetoing this. Absolutely, yes, I am vetoing this. Okay. So just this once, we're gonna be it's ridiculous. We can't have a, a we can't have a, Miss Cleo sitting on my goddamn council, guys. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into that. I don't go in for that shit. Okay. I hadn't thought about Miss Cleo in forever. Mike, you are an idiot. You want high overall trade. There's going to be other ways to do it, and that's not going to be relevant until later. I also think it's more important to not have my authority, my authority decre decreased. Guys. Okay. Countess Angry Bilbo spreads a dark velvet cloth onto the floor. Sits cross-legged and closes her eyes. After a moment's silence, she gasps. How exquisite. Something wonderful beyond the veil. Let me gather myself so I may understand what lies ahead. I see respect for the throne spreading across the land. But beware. Deference becomes fear. Treat good fortune with wisdom, your majesty, for luck can disappear like ashes in a storm. That'll be $10,000. Beaming, Conti back to Klesher whisks her out. You think you spot a couple of coins changing hands, but you can't be sure. Hmm. Sure enough, the Chancellor reports a new tax treaty with Ashmead that puts the kingdom at a great advantage. Angry Bilbo must have known what she was talking about. We will get trade later. Okay. We got increased authority. That was awesome. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Now it's impossible for anybody to try to rebel. 
for now. Remember what we did for you, my liege. Well, who are you? What are you? You're the Counts? What number do they have next to their name? I don't know, but whatever it was, there was the best possible RNG for yours truly. It was a two. Your Majesty, these good folk are bounty hunters representing the Republic of Kurt. King Hamburger Larry, we greet you humbly. How may I help? We are searching for someone. Fugitive, you might say. Last we heard, she went by the name Ulreed. What kind of fugitive is she? The ship's under her command or the property of the Republic of Kurt, as is their cargo. I am afraid she is under my protection. I've never heard of her, what? As we feared. Still, perhaps we can work out a deal. The Grand Pensionary of Kurth is offering a large bounty for the return of this woman, and we are sure that an esteemed king such as yourself would not risk drawing Kurth's ire. As I don't a give a shit at what Kurth wants. They don't vote and murder me. Right, exactly. As proof of our goodwill, we will even allow you to keep the firearms that were stolen. What if he's lying? What if he's also a pirate? He could be a liar. Um, I mean, he's he's not an official representative of their government, right? Uh, he's 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 a, 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 a he's a fucking mercenary or something, right? Bounty hunter. Hand O Reed over to them. Okay. Refuse the bounty hunter's offer to discreetly pay the hunters to take someone else. It's pretty fucked, chat. Uh, I can't veto anything, so you're gonna do whatever you want, guys. I have no- I can't influ influence this at all. Although, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Okay. Um. If we tell these people to go fuck themselves... Are they gonna, like... Come mess with us? Like, can we, can we, can we go to war with the, with like another NPC country or something? Oh, maybe. You know. Yeah. Um. Probably. Somebody. Hmm? Well, be chat's problem because they're gonna win. Although we have a very powerful military, dude. But I don't think it. I don't think it's a thing in this game. I don't think that's real. Um, Danny, hey, they said reminder that you probably don't want to go under 10k gold. Okay, I have yeah. to... Be... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, you probably don't actually have $10,000, right? I think it's I think it's a meme, yeah. Yeah, it's, something's going to happen. And it's going to be like, yeah, now the money's worth blah. And so then it completely devalues again. Something bad's going to happen like that. Yeah, 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 so I think so. I would so. try and not lose any money. Is that That's why that person was, was saying that, right? Like, don't... Yeah, I think so. This game doesn't use dollars. Okay, I so I don't use shits to give, my dude. So I, I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe if that's true, we pro, we might want that. Just, just tell, just tell them to eat shit. Yeah. No, but um, vote, vote with your heart, guys. Yeah, monarch's choice means fucking nothing because you can speak words. Totally irrelevant, and I will never use it again. Yeah. Now and and now I look like a cockhead. Now I'm just in, now 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 I'm just embarrassed now. But they see you you using that is actually just a way to embarrass yourself is what that is. Chat doesn't give a fuck if I fucking go bankrupt. They want that to happen. Yeah. What do they care? The bounty hunters do not take long to consider your offer. They return to Kurth with the head of a nameless prisoner. You hope officials back in the Republic will be none the wiser. Ori decides to stay in the kingdom, offering her advisory services to your navy as payment for sparing her. Military is increased. I truly hope the patricians are... appreciating what we have going on here. 
Because it kind of feels like they're not. Just saying. Mike, you need to use the monarch's choice on shit you don't want. In a yeah, tiny... maybe it's like that, where yeah. like chat will just ignore whatever you say anyway. Yeah. So you might as well just like... Reverse psychology. Yeah. In a tiny village far to the east, two counts meet in a derelict tavern. No one dares glance in their direction. Another priest left my estate today. He said there was no sense preaching to the truly lost... I've heard the same across the East. We are no longer trapped under the church's thumb. Now, we must not fault there. If the king grows proud, we can offer him the ultimate reward, immortality. We never even had an opportunity to raise to raise their faith. I want you to I want to just point that out. Yeah. There there was literally nothing that entire round that had anything to do with raising anybody's faith. So we we yeah, sometimes you just get fucked by this game. Like that that was the tip I gave you was be lucky. Get ready to get fucked. If I think the king that was tip two. Tip one was keep this call going longer than it should, just so it seems like I'm giving you real tips. Now we must not falter if the, and that's it's lasted really long now. If the king grows proud, we can offer him the ultimate reward, immortality. For the next stage of their scheme, the counts must raise 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 authority. Huh? Wait, what? What? That's interesting. The counts must raise authority to five or more in four seasons. They want you to feel like a big dick G. All right, we got a choice to make. But first, I'm going to do pee pee. Do you want to just hang out with chat while I do pee pee, dude? Yeah, and then I think I want to go after that. All right, cool. Don't... All right. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I'm just going to do a pee pee. Rev's going to Rev's gonna babysit. You got the keys? No, I can't do that. It was too loud last time, apparently. I took <laughs> my wife up. All right, so just, just, just talk to them with words, I guess. Yeah. It turns out that this office isn't that, that quiet. Discord didn't pick it up unless if I talked, so it was like... Man, why are you coming out of the gate with that cursed shit? Can I just say jingle jingle? No. I'm feeling alright. How many fingers am I holding up? I can't see you, dude. I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm just chilling, man. Do I have any life advice for you? No. Why am I gay? Because you like men can i have a juice box no i'm not tucked in at all i'm sitting at my desk and i'm playing a backpack here i cannot for the life of me make any progress i have this distillery it's the keg uh, i got the the sandwich makes the keg booze good Who's the most challenging character to play? Oh, dude. I don't know. Um, I think the robot, just because you have to manage both the, the, the backpack mechanic and the laser thing, and laser puzzles are weird. Uh, it's the, the, the... They say it's like creamsicle, but it's more just like, you know the smell of orange scratch and sniff? It's that. It's that, but a taste. It's like, yeah, I tried the other kinds they've got, but like, I think it was like the blueberry one just tasted dank. Like, really dank. Oh, hey, Fred. Mike is uh, peeing right now, so it's just me. I'm just here by myself. What's up, my dude? Not anymore. I'm back. Hey, he's back. There he is. Hey, Fred, where are your kidneys located? Yeah. 
You should call Fred so you could ask him about his kidneys. No, it's okay. We're... Mike, your kidneys are right next to the lowest ribs. Okay. Uh, right next to your to the lowest ribs? Is that real? Yeah, well, no. You sure, bud? Yeah, I think that's another way of saying the same thing we said. Like, if you look at it on a map, I mean, diagram. Yo, Fed Nudson? Yo, Fed Nudson? Okay, we gotta pick a we we gotta pick a new rule. Okay, um, monarchs golden choice. If nobles vote for the monarchs choice, they gain five hundred personal wealth, or reverse voting. Nobles must vote for their least favorite option. The option with the least votes will pass, or anonymous voting. How nobles choose to vote is hidden from the monarchs view. That is just pointless, right? I have no idea what the point is. I think reverse vote is like the number one choice. Yeah. Then, the monarchs gamble or something. That's probably like the second best. Yeah, guys, you want you the 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 bribery seems cool. The bribery is pretty good cuz they actually do care about that. Yeah. Okay. Let's 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 do that. Let's do it's that like this time. Easy points towards you or them getting what they want to get. Um Oh, we didn't I didn't have to give one up. Oh, cuz you start with two. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. All right. The royal wedding. Let's freaking do this. Your wedding to Bogdan is naturally the talk of the kingdom. Uh it feels like you're the only one not taking part. Do you take this man as your lawfully wedded husband? Yes. God damn it, my fucking authority is going to go up again. Fuck this game. Oh, and look, shit. all the defiance is going to go down. You know, what it does, if... that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. What Blue if is you still say fucked. no? Just to, oh. If you said no, it'd piss everyone off. I could have said no, huh? No, yeah, I could, no, no, option. no, no, because I need an heir. Oh, yeah. I've never said no, so I don't really know how that would work. I need an heir. Yeah, you do. By the time you need to make sure that that guy likes to suck your dick, I guess. I hope you had a good a time as I did. Um, you too. You both lapse into strange silence. He gulps back his wine. So tell me about yourself. Not much to tell. I like to read. Okay, he makes excuses and heads to the bedchamber. And they never want to just put out on the. Is there a character who just fucks you that night? Like, does that even exist in the game? No, because it'd be too easy. Because then you'd get the air too quickly. Yeah, I've never been lucky and had, like, them not suck. Like, they just... You, you, you never consummate your marriage the night of the wedding in this game. Wasn't that the twink boy on the first playthrough? No, the twink did the same thing. He was like, I'm tired. And went to bed. Your Majesty Chief Pat the Man, Triple Two of the North, has been... He's been bleeding all dry, yes? What's he doing? Oh, tax is ten times higher they've ever been. I can't afford to feed me cows. He's been taxing his peasants twice as much as the next highest noble. It's been a hard year, your greatness. I've barely any gold in me vault. I'm just doing what I can to stay afloat. Okay. What about the this poor peasant's cows? It pokes on the stupid cows. Let's see what the council thinks of this, hmm? It was an illusion of choice. Wow. So... Look at... Would you... Would you look at... Would you look at that? Would you look at that right there, right? Um... That, that's probably a veto right there. You're talking about A? Yeah. Yeah, A is the, is the veto. Yeah. A is, like, excessively bad. A, A fucks my butt Wait, no, yeah, so no, deep, wait, no, 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 I, no, I no, feel no. it Hold in up. the back of my mouth. Hold up. It'll... Who's it going to piss off? If you throw Blue into the dungeon, then it's going to piss off Blue. We want... We like, we like Blue being pissed off, but we, we don't like... 
my authority going up again, man. Because they have yeah. a fucking... Purple Ooh. has a plot that requires me to have five authority. I need... I, I can't I can't have more authority. He would be so good. What? C would be really good. Have a royal great. tax collector take over tax duties in the north. It pisses them off. It adds money to the treasury and it drains their coffers. Chat. That's the one that you want to do. Guy, purple and green. If you choose that, you are going to destroy any hope of the of the chiefs of winning this game completely and i'll tell you what i'll do i'll sweeten the pot i'll sweeten the pot with a bribe guys what do you think although this one's good too lower the farming Lower it low okay lowers the farming but it, it but it lowers their defiance bringing them closer to the first phase of their plot, dude. Right. You need money for when the presume for when the treasury presumably crashes. Yes, yes. However C, that happens. C has everything we need. It, it's 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 C. Yeah. Chat, you know what to do. Destroy uh, the blue team, guys. Everybody wins. You're gonna get so. You're gonna be able to build beautiful, beautiful civic buildings that will make your society great. You'll be able to move into the next century, guys. Guys, the, the, every game needs a fucking punching bag. Okay, blue, blue. I. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> Listen, I already got one doppelganger to worry about, remember? That kid? Oh, and by the way, I want you to know, Blue, I'm still very pissed off at you for the way the first game went. The other night. Okay. Every team I've been on, Mike has fucked over. Guys, as long as Mike loses, I'm okay with this. <laughs> I wasn't on blue last time. Well, I mean, you know, it's just, it's just, the, that's the way it is, guys. It's just Wait. the way it is. Am I still on stream? Mike, be careful with blue because their military is stupid high. They could still usurp you. Okay. Don't worry. I forgot to leave. I'm going to do that. Now. I'm not going to let their defiance get any higher. You're going to leave? Rev? Did he, did he just go without saying goodbye? He totally did. He totally did. He just hung up and he just hung up and disappeared. I'm going, um, good night. He did an Irish goodbye. So close to so close to uh St. Patrick's Day. He tried to tell you you talked over him. He said, I forgot to leave and then didn't give me a chance to respond to it and hung up. I didn't fucking talk over him. I was in the middle of a sentence when he said it. To be fair, he had mentally left a long time ago. <laughs> Alright, so. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make sure that we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do things to keep blue satisfied, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got I got plans. Tithe trouble in the east. Your Highness, I've come to submit a complaint about the counts of the East. Lately, they've been neglecting their tithes. Okay. Um, I'm not a debt collect collector. Who do you think the common folk would blame if the church starts failing? Church failing? Me? No, they'll blame you. They'll blame you alone. Especially if I tell my priest to spread word that you refuse to help a holy man in need. 
Dude, if this if if I was the king in this situation, I would have this guy assassinated. I would have this guy fucking like you're coming. You're, you're dude. You're coming to try to blackmail me. You're coming for me. Your posi your your cushy bullshit position and try to blackmail me. Your head's gonna roll down the steps of this church, dude. Wolfgang, thank you for 44 months, and thank you for enjoying the uh, the mustache. Um. If I tell if I say go away, you irritating old fart. I do lose stability. I also lose authority. Um, faith goes down, but I'm not sure faith is relevant to anybody right now. And we have... Defiance goes down in the East, but they are... Um, that means nothing. Because they already have the lowest defiance possible. Yep, we're going we're gonna to do it. Get out of here. I have never been so... You will regret your words and your deeds. I'll see to it personally. We'll see. We'll see. The Archbishop soon proves the truth of his words. Yo, please tell me my stability goes... My, my authority goes down more. It does! It does! It does! But I don't know if it's going to go down enough in the time in the time span that we need it to, right? Also, this is going to have other unforeseen consequences, especially when it comes to the defiance level of the Chiefs. Alchemical Apocalypse, thanks for two months. I'll tell you why I'm not worried about the Chiefs rebelling. I'm going to tell you why. Because I have the beautiful Counts and the, and the lovely, tremendous, tremendous patricians. Tremendous, lovely, beautiful, the best patricians that are going to come to my aid militarily in the event of a rebellion. Right? So I'm not worried. Right? Because you guys, you guys fucking rule. Look how much you guys love me. I've done, I've done literally nothing to piss you off. The patricians have been getting everything that they've wanted from me. They have no reason to betray me whatsoever. It would be, it would be, it would be silly if they did. Frankly. In a dingy seaside tavern, two patricians of the coast meet to plot the scheme. The economy's never been better. We're making more money than I know what to do with. Right. The, uh, right, right. Buy up the kingdom. The king must be in need, desperate need of our gold. The patricians must lower the treasury to 1,500 in less than two seasons. Hmm. Whether or not you're going to be able to do that is contingent upon how badly I get fucked by inflation. Right? Apparently, I missed the game calling me a baby kicker. Okay. There it is! <laughs> there it is! There it is. Okay, let's see what we've wrought, guys. As you ordered, uh, the Royal Mint has churned out thousands of new coins using cheap gold-like metals. The treasury is technically replenished. My genius is almost frightening. Sorry, patricians, but I'm about to fuck the both of us. Actually, it's not relevant to you anymore. <laughs> Let the good times roll! I said to but- No, there is no but! It's also devaluing the currency across the kingdom. A loaf of bread now costs a hundred times what it used to. Fuck my ass. Everybody's went down. Fuck. All I did was fuck myself. Uh, let's go take the Federal Reserve approach. There's nothing wrong with this. Let it continue. Adopt a foreign currency. This costs me 10 that Oh, come in my butt. Wow, look at that, huh? All right, guys. Stay with me on this. All right, this is gonna sound this is gonna sound fucking crazy, but stay with me on this. Stay with me on this. Stay with me on this. 
Literally A. Okay. What's the fucking worst that happens, guys? If we say seriously, seriously, what's the worst that happens? Okay. All right. What is actually the worst? Okay, so 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 trade will go will go down. All right. Trade will go down. Well, I think we learned a valuable lesson from this. Never ever choose the inflation. Never ever choose that that money printing option. Veto C, we lose all our cash if we vote B, so it will force A. Guys, there's a problem. There's a problem with that. There's there is there is a there is a problem with that. We we can't we can't let trade go any lower, guys. Okay. We can't. It it can't. It can't. We cannot, we cannot allow it. You will go bankrupt. Who is we? You know who it is. You know, you know who it is. You know who it is. Adopt an ent entirely new currency and declare the old one illegitimate. Okay. Okay. All right, this is going to be painful, but there's only one way out of it. We need to adopt a foreign currency, guys. This will be some temporary pain, and I and I will be experiencing the overwhelming overwhelming majority of that pain, guys. Okay? I'll tell you what. I will bribe you. Okay? Because if there's one thing I have a lot of, it's overinflated coins. Okay? I will bribe you. We're going to adopt a foreign currency, guys. Okay. That is that is that is the only way out of this, guys. Okay. And yes, it will it will be worth it. This will still bankrupt you. We will we will get the money back. We will make we will we will find other ways to make money. I I will find Don't worry about the king. Don't worry about the king, guys. Okay, I will find Don't don't worry about the king. A is your best. A is not my best choice. Because if I choose A, if I choose A, trade will will fall further. Okay, I'm protecting I'm protecting our economy, guys. Okay? I am protecting my economy. Also, as you make these decisions, Please try to keep in mind the effect that it will have on your fellow teammates. Not just not just the effect on me, because I have a feeling what's going on here is a lot of you are choosing things based on how it'll fuck me over. You need you need you need to think about the effects on the other teammates, guys. Okay? Go A, don't let him bribe you. I mean, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be like that, this can happen. Okay. Somebody in chat said if they said veto A and you will never be fucked over because people won't vote B because they lose all their money. Yeah, but why would you tell me that? The fact that you're telling that you're saying that to me makes me feel extremely suspicious. I mean, you're right. Because who because who is going to sit here and and yeah, it's, it's mind games. Because who's going to sit here and and be like, "Oh yeah, I want to I want to lose 20 200 2250 gold." Yeah, 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 I want that to happen. Yeah, I'm down for that. That seems that, that seems cool. Okay?
I also want to point out one more thing to you guys. Okay? Voting for C. Voting for C. Hear me out on voting for C. Yes, I lose all that money. Authority goes down. And we really need that to happen to keep to keep purple away from the victory. You guys understand that, right? Guys, you really want to you really want to let purple take this home? Green is closer to victory. Green and purple are 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 tied right now. Green is not cl is not closer to victory, guys. They're tied. They're tied. Green wants you destitute. We have time we have time to make the fucking money back, though. Dude. No, we don't. We support our king as green's golden choice, my lord. Someone has said, you can tell he's actually this stupid because he's bad at lying. Please time that guy out. Okay. It's not about being stupid. It's about not understanding how the game works. Okay? It's about not understanding how the game works. See, my understanding of it is that if I go below 1500, which I understand I will if that happens with B or C, green doesn't instantly win the game. You guys are acting like green instantly wins the game if I go below 1500. Okay? That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. Okay? Green moves to the next step. Green... Okay. Answer this que answer this question. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Stop telling me to fucking stop trying to rush me and and, and answer this. Don't I have some turns to make money back? Don't I have like a number of turns to try to go back above 1500? No. Well, see, here's the problem is, is like, everybody is saying that, is replying with the answer that's in their best self-interest and is not caring about whether or not I learn how this game works. So I can't get real answers out of this chat. I think you will get a little bit of time, but do you really think the RNG is going to have your back? No, I don't. No, I don't. Mike, I am betting for you. This is true. They are the fourth choice. You have two seasons to get above 1500 after you lose the money. There, there, there is a four. There is a four next to their name. Voting for C fucks purple over.
So those. So now, now you have the opportunity to fuck purple over. Over. Either you do it or you don't. Either you do it or you don't. Beautiful. My original choice. You slowly adopt the currency of the Ash Median Empire, resulting in kingdom wide shame and loss of pride. Beautiful. Beautiful. Although, the Chiefs are looking real mad. Real, real, real mad. Alright. The Chiefs are looking real mad, but you know what, dude? It's all good. It's a good thing most of your citizens can't read Ash Median, because you're pretty sure each coin is inscribed with records of past military victories over your own kingdom. Oops. The Wandering Bard. Your Majesty, a traveling bard, she says she has come to compose a song for you. It's this again. I can't afford this. I can't afford this. Okay. Teach them. We did teach them to love me last time. Okay, that went cool. You know what it did? It gave me authority and it gave me stability. When we, ta when we taught them to love me. And I don't think we want any of those things. But also, I can't pay for this. Okay? Maybe we can get some of the defiance down. 500 gold. Mm. Hmm. Now, if I tell her, fuck you, I'm not paying you, she's going to write a song that makes me look like a clown. Isn't she? She's going to make a song that, yeah, yeah she, she's going to make a song that makes me look like, a, like an absolute doofus. Won't that lower authority? We don't want authority that low. Or do we? Very well. Thank you for your time. You'll write that song whether I pay you or not. <laughs> okay, but then, but then what? You know, okay, so stability goes down, but then what? What 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 benefit what benefit comes out of that, right? Just get out of here. Just get out of here. Just get out. A risky wager. Hold on to your masks, hats, and other accessories, everyone. Chief Funky Frog is about to lose a huge amount of money. We bet our life savings on a boat race around the coast, and I am sure to win the day. So sure, in fact, that I petitioned the council to officially sponsor my voyage. Uh, what makes you so sure? Depths below, your esteemed highness, I'm a patrician. We practically learn to sail before we can walk. He's talking rubbish, your highness. My nice little carvey will easily beat that Soaring Blues old Trerimi. If you sponsor anyone, sponsor me. Treasury too low. Come? Yeah, well, um, hmm. Okay. Well, if anything, we'll save face in, in, in the way that, like, everybody will be choosing my choice. So it'll look really good for me. Right? It'll look really good for me. All right, so the other option is actually to to give all of you money. This will achieve nothing. 
in terms of gameplay this 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 will this will give no benefit to me whatsoever if i do this okay this will do absolutely no benefit to me in any way shape or form except except i can hope i can hope that it gives you that it wins over hearts and minds hearts and minds okay emote only why why emote only what why would i put why emote only so we can't vote oh right right i didn't understand that okay um It's pretty funny. The mods can still do it. Yeah, the mods, <laughs> the mods can still do it. What if you want to bribe us next time? There's we. The, the, doesn't the season end after this? Okay, Fr free money. Why, you're just going to use the money to fuck me? You're just going to you're just going to use the money to fuck me. Why am I going to hand you the means to my own destruction, guys? This is just free money for everybody because I'm a benevolent awesome king. Free money for every- I mean, it's worthless, but it's free money. Completely worthless. Blazing Saddle, thank you for the gift sub, bud. You can always print more. I sure can. Actually, now I- Not unless we invade and occupy that other country now. Guys. You're, uh... It's- it's- it's free money. It's all it all it is is you get money. That's all this is. The game gets harder for me and you get free money. What? Are you really so cheap? My god. Excitement builds as merchants and tourists flock to the starting town. Soon, both boats embark on the journey. They look very small and flimsy against the ocean backdrop. Your esteemed highness. I understand you elected not to sponsor the competitors, but surely you have a sense that one will outdo the other. Would you fancy a small wager? What sort of wager are we talking about? A mere trifle for you, I'm sure, your esteemed highness. Your wisdom is known by all, so naturally you'd have great fortune. I'd love to. Then where shall you place your bet? There is the patrician who, like he said, learned how to sail before he learned how to walk. Or you could bet on Lord Patrician, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the, the chief funky frog. Blue to lower defiance. Why did you agree? Because I fucking need money, that's why. My, he's a frog. Frogs are good swimmers. Blue lives on a mountain. I think they're like Vikings, so they like their experience with boats. Okay, so chat is trying to tell me draw wins. Is this RNG or does really is the same outcome every single time? It's probably RNG, right?
Okay, I, I I have been shitting on on blue a lot tonight. So let's let's throw him a bone. I'm gonna bet on blue. I think your I think your guy can do it. Oh, I'm gonna bet everything because I have no choice. You return to the capital to wait news of the race. Oh, well, we'll, 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 we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens next season. But the good news is that purple um, is uh, not going to win now. For right now. Guys, it's time to auction on buildings. All right. So I think the things that you want to do are pretty clear. Um, I helped you. I gave all of you free money. I'd like to see you use it to help out your king. Right? And what are some, some cool ways to do that? What are some cool ways to do that? Um, you can um, definitely not get that Thieves Guild built. That'd be cool, right? Um, and man, it sure would suck if the monument got built. Bring the authority back up. Um... I think faith is irrelevant. Yep. Farming, I don't really understand what that does for anybody right now. I, I, I just think that, um... You got a big army and they gotta eat. You got a low farming stat, guys. Just try to keep in mind, Chiefs, I bet on your guy the entire game. So that shows you that I really do... I do have... Fondness for you, Blue. I absolutely do have fondness for you guys in my heart, which is why I bet on your guy to win, and I also gave you free fucking money. I gave you free money. You fucked them over. I fucked them over, you know, but I gave them free money. Guys, free money. Free money, guys. Free money. Guys. Guys, free money. Guys, fucking free money. What the actual fuck free money? Guys, free fucking money, guys. I mean, come on. Beautiful. So it looks like... Um, the, the 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 counts really 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 want to see that that monument get built there huh really want to see that monument get built and of course the um patricians are trying to get that stadium built um i i feel like i'm missing something right I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm missing, like, I don't really understand why the patricians wanted the stadium built that badly. Blue helped fund the stadium. I see that. Blue contributed to it because they wanted to fuck over Green's military. My, it wouldn't do to see your authority brought that low. I'm still good, though. I'm still safe from the, the, the Count's plot. Yeah, this is not looking good here. That's not good, guys. That's not good. Yeah, this rebellion is gonna happen. About your heir. Guys, I gave you free money and I bet on your, on your guy. Your marriage to Bogdan has grown stale. There's no spark. He cares more about the books. I need an heir. Fun, fucking little fucking wiener. <sighs> okay. Uh, we're not having a child together. He's not. He's not into me. He's just not that into me, guys. Um. I'll adopt a little adopt the adopting thing just makes no sense because bastard makes more sense. But remember, we never like got the bastard. 
right? Like the, the last time I did this, that bastard, we never, I guess we never found the bastard. Try the cousin. You do the bastard if faith doesn't matter. Yeah, but the bastard, again, we, we never got the bastard last time. It was because you lost the following season. Literally every single one of these things has happened in real life history. And then what was the result? People were constantly questioning the legitimacy of the fucking heir and using it as an excuse to undermine the king's authority. Where they were like, oh, he's not even really his son. And it's, guys, he's not legally the heir. He's, he was born out of wedlock. He's illegitimate. And that guy like civil. Oh yeah, it happened in history. Duh. Yeah, and then a civil war followed it. Followed it every single fucking time. So what do you? What point are you trying to prove? Okay. Cousin is legit. Cousin is more legit. Because at least it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a it's a fucking relative, right? Um. So, if you if you adopt if if you try to claim that a bastard is an heir, then um, faith is going to be impacted. I don't know what happens if you choose the cause. Maybe a different thing is impacted. Adopting a lowborn probably impacts something else. Right? I love how Mike Mold argues when he's totally wrong about things. You Fuck. Why didn't the emote work? Guys, was the emote removed? It's K. It's K. It's K sensitive. <laughs> Since when are they case sensitive? The they've always been. They've always been case sensitive. Since always. The hair is not going to survive anyway because of the rebellion. All right, chat. We'll go cousin. Okay. Bankruptcy looms. The treasury is almost empty again. <laughs> the inflation option is removed. What if I was like, what if we simply printed more money? And she's like, um, my liege? Take a hefty loan from the Savant and Gal Bank. That'll probably stave off the, 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 the fucking... Patrician's plot for at least a couple of seasons, right? Cracking open tombs raises defiance, lowers stability. I don't think stability needs to go any lower, bro. Um, it also lifts. It, it gets me out of the. It gets me out of the danger zone with the, with the patricians, dude. Right? A lowers authority. I uh, yeah, but if I had to choose between the two, I'm choosing authority being lowered, I think. Right? Okay. We're going to do the <laughs> We're going to do we're going to do the loan. <laughs> the banker they send to take your signature has delicate hands and sharp teeth. He watches as you put your pen to paper, eyes glittering. You're making a great decision. You shall pay us back with 25 interest in one year. <laughs> Saddling the kingdom in debt isn't great optics, but you had no other choice. So the rebellion is happening, it looks like. A tempting offer. Chat disappoints me yet again. 
Your Majesty, it has come to my attention that across the kingdom there are all manner of roads, bridges, walls, canals, and what do they all have in common? Um, they... infrastructure, okay? They make you no money. I am willing to take them off your hands, saving you the cost of upkeep, and pay you handsomely in return. Ask your treasurer. It makes perfect financial sense. What do you make of it? The treasury is looking healthy. We don't need to sell anything, but the sudden interest of the patricians in public property is quite suspicious. Perhaps we should call a council vote. The monarch can mark their own pre preferred voting option. Make the roads and bridges pay for their own upkeep, upkeep by charging tolls. Somehow this lowers stability. I guess I people are pissed off because they have to pay the tolls. <laughs> Enact law to prevent the patricians from buying public property. Delay scheme for one season. See, there's no reason to take any drastic ap action. Dude. 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 I think I'm... I, okay, I think my best interest... Is probably to veto A. Okay, because... I don't want stability going down again. I... I don't want any more defi defiance happening here. I, I mean, like, at this point, who gives a fuck, maybe? Um... And you know, I think B I think B is gonna is gonna get selected because I think blue and purple realize how much that, that shaft screen. Okay. Mike, you need money. Yeah, but not this way. The price is too great. The price is too great. This must be vetoed. Cannot be chosen. Cannot be chosen. Can't chance it. Can't chance it. Can't chance it from happening. Enact a law to prevent the patricians from buying public property ever. That, that's, that is that is still gonna that's still gonna piss them off, but like they'll still be in the game, right? And I didn't need their money, by the way, because I just took out a big fat loan from that bank, right? My lawyers will have something to say about this. Get me Saul Goodman. Okay. They do. The new decree is bogged down with legal challenges. After months of agonizing courtroom antics, it is declared unconstitutional. You weren't aware the kingdom even had a constitution. The council isn't interested in trying to pass the law a second time. You've delayed the patrician scheme. Their stat gold will not be evaluated until the end of the season. And, uh, that's it. Okay. Who are we taxing? We're not taxing the chiefs. They're in rebellion, even though they got all that cash. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to tax any of you, because guys, guess what? I need help. I need help. I need help, guys. Please don't. <laughs> please. <laughs> guys, please help me. <laughs> please help me, guys. <laughs> All right, rebellion. At long last, the chiefs have reached their boi boiling point. You're confronted in the throne room by Boximus. The chiefs of the north will rip the false crown from your head and stomp it in the mud. You're never happy. These people are never happy. The authority is now mocked. And the stability is now unstable. We lost three stability? Because the guy... 
guys, do you see how hopelessly broken this game is? This, this game needs like some serious balance patches, man. You know, like this absolutely, it, it's so stacked against the fucking king, it's not even funny. This is a formal declaration of war. It dropped one. No, I, I... Okay, but do you still see how it's stacked against the king, though? Like, I already had a problem. I already had a rebellion. Him coming in here and, and declaring war against me and that causing these stats to drop further? That's too broken, dude. Right? Like... That, that's that's so broken man like it, it's not it, it's not very well balanced man it, it. uh the next time we see each other will be on the battlefield okay okay one day i will see your head on a spike you lose authority <laughs> does it does it does it matter which one does it matter which one goes goes down? Does it matter? Does it really matter which which one goes down? Does it... Okay, so if authority goes down again, I, I mean, like the defi so the defiance on the counts is three. And it doesn't matter how good I've been to the Counts. Again, it doesn't matter that I married their candidate or whatever. It doesn't matter that I tried to be cool with them. That I it doesn't, and I and I and I was many times. But again, I'm proving my point. It is absolutely irrelevant because the second the team gets the chance to rebel, they they do it. You know. Ivy Gunner says, to be fair, as blue, I would have been more loyal after all the smooth brains voted doppelganger, but you continue to fuck us over. I want you to lose now, respectfully. Can you explain how I fucked you over? Can you can you can you actually explain, please? Ser like, seriously, explain how I fucked over the, the team, the blue team. Please explain how I did it. You made us mad on purpose. Can you be more specific? Can you give me specific examples of how I did that? You screwed blue pr pretty hard. Can I have specific examples of how I did that, please? You constantly raise their defiance. Because they picked a fucking thing where they had to have low defiance to usurp me. You have to balance it. You taxed us for us first and didn't choose our knight or marriage candidate. Right, and if I had done that, you would be replacing me with a fucking doppelganger right now. Can you please think, chat? Like, can you can you please think about that? Like, like come on, guys. One day I will see your head on a spike. Lowers authority. So in order for them to rebel, all right, so you need... The defiant stat has to be higher than the authority stat. The, what, the, the stability... What is the... Okay, what is the stability stat for? I'm, like, confused about this. Mike, please think yourself. I'm just asking you to explain a game mechanic. If authority hits zero, you lose. Yeah, so so basically, yeah, we, we can if if either of them goes to zero, I just die. Right? Yeah, I just die. So then I think we want we want to we want to sacrifice the stability here because it's getting dangerously close to one authority. 
So we are going to decapitate this guy, box him as sorry. Okay, Boximus is dead. How did things get this bad? The leader of the rebellion is Chief Dusknun. As reason for the uprising, he's citing your past transgressions, mainly your adoption of a foreign currency in the kingdom. That's the thing? That's the thing that pissed him off? Really? That's, that's it? That really? Not all the other fucking slaps to the face? Is it too late to apologize? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in the palace who understands this situation has wet themselves. They've all been tased. The pussies are no longer juicy. Okay. Okay, opening strike. Okay. Too long have those bastards held us down. They called us heathens, mocked our way of life. I never said any of that. I thought it, but I never said any of it out loud. Okay, when we're, we can launch a preemptive strike. Here's your... Oh, and then the game does this, where it's like, let's just go fucking get the other... T and, like, at this point, of course your fucking defiance stat... Your, your, your stats are fucking low, because you had a rebellion happen, which lowers your stats by fucking default. Okay? So then when they go try to get the other teams to join it, they always fucking will. Guaranteed. Like, you can't win this game. It's impossible to win this fight. It is so fucking stacked against you, dude. And then Chad will just sit there and be like, you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this. It is literally impossible to win this fucking game. Limes and Rev both won. I argue the both of them won because their fucking chats hate them less. I swear to God, I ar I argue my fucking argument is is that they're they fucking won because their their chats, yeah, their chats deliberately actively chose to fuck them over less. Launch a preemptive strike on the counts. Call upon the patricians to join the cause. Send an assassin after the king. So, I mean, like, if you want me to have a really, really on fun time, you can go ask the patricians to join. They absolutely will. And it'll just be, it'll just go exactly the way the, fir the, first, one, the first game went. If you really want to see me have a fucking horrible time tonight, you go and you vote, vote B. And I will never fucking play this shit again. 100, 100% I will never play this again. I, I, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm dead fucking serious. This is the last time I fucking play this if you do this. No, I'm not kidding you. I swear to fucking God. I'm dead fucking serious. Unironically, people choose you losing over themselves winning. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, that's not fun for me, guys. Like, like, put your, like, put your, like, put yourselves in my position here. Okay? Why would I continue, why would I continue playing this game when it goes the, it, predictably the exact same way every fucking time? Like, think, like, 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 really think about that, okay? Not even gonna read this dialogue. This stream went differently than the last one, but that's my point, is that it absolutely didn't. It totally didn't. It went exactly the same. It doesn't let no it doesn't let it doesn't even let you don't even get the option to reject it You don't even get the uh, green doesn't even get the option to reject it It's just like if the fucking stat if the stats are low enough you just you just join you just join the rebellion Yes, they do they didn't last time 
They have to choose. He's so mad. Of course I'm fucking mad. I just spent fucking like four hours on this game. And it's going exactly the way the first one did. Like, come on. And it's your fault. It's And it's all your fault, chat. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Mike, you forgot to say that it's midnight and thanks to the subs in the chat to say you're not ending the stream yet. Oh, it's midnight and thanks to the subs in the chat and I'm not ending the stream yet. Thank you, Hell Whiskers. Thank you. The boat race is causing problems for us. Military goes up? Are they still doing it? Mike, you gaped the fuck out of the blue team like you did to the green team. You played super aggressively, whiffed, and can't handle the consequences. Bro. What is the... If I had done... If I had done literally anything differently, it would just be a different team rebelling right now, and the same fucking thing would be happening. Yes. Yes. Not wrong. Yes. No. The exact same fucking thing would be happening, dude. Okay? The exact fucking thing would be happening. The skill issue. There wasn't a rebellion in the last game. Yeah, because we didn't even get... Because we, it didn't go long enough. Because it didn't fucking go long enough. You guys, okay, but okay, but the but the blue the blue team is acting like I never did anything to inconvenience the other two teams when that's definitely not true. Okay? That is absolutely not the case, dude. You helped Green a lot? Yeah, but do you remember why? Do you, re do you remember why? Because we had a common interest in the trade stat. Which, by the way, is never happening. I'm, ne I'm, never, I'm never fulfilling that win condition. You know? All of your interactions with blue were bad. You let the blue team build militarily and prevented them from having low defiance. If, if I... If I made choices, okay, okay, you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what's happening with the blue team. I made like two choices in the very beginning of the game that fucked them, and then they got so butt hurt by it that they continued to like to to act like everything I was doing was fucking them over, okay. But you have to understand something, okay? Every one of those decisions, if you remember correctly, if you remember correctly. Every single one of those decisions had other consequences. Like, does that make sense? Every single other decision had, had other consequences. There were fucking... And, and it's like, oh, you, but the defiance is so high. The defiance is so high. Guys, there were a lot of decisions that I made that had absolutely nothing to do with you. And by you, I mean the blue team. Listen to me. There were a lot of other decisions I made that I made for other reasons that had absolutely nothing to do with you that had the fucking other of other consequence of raising your team's defiance. Like, for example, the adopting another country's currency had absolutely nothing to do with you. But I but my, your your defiance went up as a result of it. You know what I'm saying? I w I I am admitting that in the begin in the beginning of the of the of the fucking of the game, 
I took a couple of choices that did that deliberately that deliberately raised your defiance because specifically you had chosen a thing where you were going to be able to fuck with me if you had low defiance. Right? And yes, I did I did say every game needs a punching bag. I did say blue was going to be the fucking game's punching bag, but that was mostly to be funny. Okay, because I saw that it was that it was that people were laughing at it and I ran with it, okay? Also, Dior, thanks for nine months support. The punching bag punched back. Okay, well, let's look at it this way. Let, let's let's look at it this way, right? Chad is saying I'm wrong about the the green team not getting a chance to say whether or not they join the rebellion. So if I sucked green's dick as hard as blue is saying I did, okay, then when that vote comes, green is going to join me and, and, vind and vindicate everybody. Everybody fucking saying that is going to be fucking vindicated. But I could tell you right now, 100%, that that's not going to fucking happen. Green's not going to do that. Right? They're not, they're not going to they're not gonna do that. They're not going to fucking do that. And yeah, I did. I, I'm, okay, I, I remember, again, why did I suck Green's dick? Because they had a big juicy penis? No. I sucked Green's dick... Because we had, in the, especially in the beginning of the game, we had the common goal of trade. Right? Which, the total trade... The total trade stat needs to be 12? Well, I have it then. Don't I? So basically, I just need an heir to win. progress and finish the game jerk off this is the game this is the game what do you think makes this so fun this is the game bro this is it seeing the streamer get pissed off and arguing with him that's the game that yes that's it <laughs> that is the fucking game okay okay um, are they still doing it? They've returned to their homes now. <laughs> On his little race, Chief Funky Frog found one of our secret island supply caches. He sacked it, of course. So now their military stat gets to go up right before the rebellion? Guys, this almost seems too fucked up to not be RNG. Like, they now have a max military stat while they're rebelling against me. Like, is this is this really fucking RNG, guys? The game is just taking the piss. The game is just taking the piss. I have a question, though. Did he win the fucking race, Funky Frog? Because I bet on him. I really thought they'd destroy the boats with the race. Now they got the best crossbows and armor. Okay, what about the fucking winner? Who won? When someone rebels, their events change to other related events. The race never happened. You got scammed. So I'm not getting my money back because of the rebellion? The race got called off because of the rebe rebellion and your green pal stole your money. Guys, can you honestly say that that's like fair? Like can you can you honestly say that that's not that that's not fucking fair? We're going to have to pay this loan back, guys.
probably soon. While playing a, a game of chess in an austere castle, two counts of the East discussed their schemes against the crown. Blood and stars, the king must get a better grip on my penis, otherwise our plans fall apart. The count's aim is to raise authority to at least five. Well, that would probably help right now, guys. At the villa. Sitting on a bench outside of a Sunbleed's villa, two patricians pl uh, plot their latest scheme. The thrice-cursed king is still refusing to sell us any public land. It makes sense. The treasury's flush. Patience, my friend. We'll bide our time until it runs out. Okay, we get to pick a new law. We're obviously going to remove the monarch's choice. Okay. Royal Gamble. Plus 500 treasury if the nobles vote for the selected option. If the nobles vote otherwise, 500 minus 500 treasury. Was that the wrong choice? Why not stability? I didn't even see it. You needed call for unity. I didn't even really read it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I did this. I, did, I lost all motivation to do this. I, I don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I joined forces. I, I didn't. They appear to be doing it, which is shocking. Yet they still are actively voting for rebellion, which is strange. All right, some of the stats got moved around. Looks like trade was affected significantly. Your Majesty Oreed is here to see. Oh, I thought. Oh, this is this is still going on. Your luminance, I see you're in a predicament. Oh, you noticed. I wish to volunteer my services as a ship's captain to fight in your war. I was never good at sitting on my hands. She's bad at the stranger. My gunships are still docked at the western shore. Let me command them as I was born to do. Do it. Do it. Weeks later, Orid smashes a northern fleet to smithereens, despite being desperately outnumbered. The only thing that happened here was that the North's military went down one point. <clears throat> now it's only terrifying, yeah. <laughs> You got a victory point? Oh, I don't... What, what, what is that? 
If you remember the last time I there was a rebellion, there were no victory. I just got fucking decimated. Everybody, re the, the, the entirety of chat joined in rebellion against me and just pushed my shit directly in. Five of them ends the war. Okay. Peasants on side. Deep in the mountains, a group of rebel chiefs have gathered to discuss the civil war. With them are their spies, a cluster of nondescript northern citizens in ordinary clothes. Hello, noble warriors. I trust Morgana doesn't like the thought of King Hamburger... Oh, I forgot we called him Hamburger Larry. I was like, what? That's precisely why I invited you here. We know the counts are in the king's pocket, but are there villagers? Conti Mizali has amassed vast wealth even in this time of conflict. I doubt it's shared with the ordinary people of the East. Our spies should spread the word. We'll be kinder to the peasants than Conti Mizali and their cor corrupt compatriots. The gods are good. Let us decide how to proceed. Blue? Do whatever traitorous thing you, you're planning on doing. You're, they're voting for give a huge amount of actual money to Northern Army recruits. They're trying to raise their military back up after what... What's her name did to it. So that ace in the hole turned out to be useless, basically. They're also lowering my stability. Um, and they're doing it for a pittance. Especially when you consider I gave them free money to do this. Wah! 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 Mike was such a shitty king to us! He gave us free money! Wah! Now we have to use the money he gave us to fuck us in the ass! Wah! 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 Trusted spies pour into the east, spreading word about the generosity of the chiefs. It's not long before the plan bears fruit. Droves of peasants make a dangerous trek to the north, a golden glint in their eyes. As the troops clean their weapons and make repairs and heal their wounds, one thing's for sure, they'll soon have a chance for action. <laughs> the game is extremely one-sided. Hopefully there will be enough of the kingdom left for them to enjoy once this is over. All right, Fi Fi uh, Fi Fi uh, Fi Fi Fi. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but but this is this is what I was trying to vocalize earlier that I could I I couldn't. The major issue with rebellion specifically is that pretty much every rebellion event lowers your authority and 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 or stability for free. To the point where it's probably going to be removed from the game. He's, they're saying. I, I would think that that was the most obvious thing for uh, for a patch here. Like you got you got okay. Am I gonna okay? All right, all right. All right. Let me be. Let me be. Let me be fucking perfectly honest here. Okay. What should have happened, all right? End season, then talk. Why? Because I'm giving them time to vote on rebellion. There were probably, like, realistically, okay, realistically, there were probably one or two instances where I could have where I could have fucked over one of the other teams instead of the blue team, okay? I'm gonna say they were like, they were like one, literally one or two instances where, where my thinking was honestly, where my, th where my thinking was, 
The relationship with the blue team is so fucked, there's no salvaging it. Might as well in for a penny, in for a pound, okay? Hey, Psionic, thanks for 52 months. Yeah, I, I, I saw Vinny today. He he said he, he really enjoyed... He really enjoyed the, the pussy chips. But at the... But at the same fucking time, I totally fucking lost my train of thought on this. I don't, I don't even remember what I was trying to say. The pussy chips distracted me so badly, I don't even remember what the fuck I was trying to say. At the, at the, at the same time... I don't fucking I don't I don't, rem I don't I don't remember I don't remember what I was trying to fucking say. I don't I don't remember what my fucking point was. It was something to do with like the mechanics of this game. My hair my hair. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. You stand before the council holding a small child in your arms. My cousin and adopted son. All three things raise uh, stability. Oh, it's just saying the, the, the gender, I guess. The assembled nobles break out into sporadic applause. By designating an heir, you cemented the stability of the kingdom. Perhaps you can survive this, 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 this war. It's that... There are like literally, there, there, are, there are unintended consequences with, with, with like everything, with all the choices. That's what I'm, that basically was the point that, I, that I'm trying to fucking say, right? The assembled nobles break out into sporadic applause, okay. Hamburger Larry Jr. Wow, these people are really not voting to rebel. The RNG... I'm... Okay. I remember the RNG fucking me really, really, really hard the first time we played this. I don't feel like it's fucking me as hard in, in this one, honestly. I mean, we'll see now, right? Okay, should the counts obey orders? Guys, you can send the joint forces of the, uh, the, the counts and patricians to fight the rebels. Or you can do nothing. Combined, you have a higher military stat than they do. When she finally returns, it's not in the manner you'd hoped. She's carried into your throne. Okay. Caught the chiefs in a pincer movement. The counts attacked from one side, the pincers from the other. The chiefs had occupied a defensible hilltop. In my arrogance, I thought our combined forces was enough, but they prepared a few surprises of their own. It was a slaughter. All I remember is blood and screams, so much death. 70% success rate, right? Y you, you guys lost a significant amount of military, and the rebels gain three victory points? But chat will still be there and be like, Mike played the game bad!
sickness spreads. We've seen this. We saw this one last time. It's the one with the, um, the their bodies are turning into gemstones or something. Okay, what can we do about it? Send medical doctors from Quail University. We did that last time, if you remember. Um... Hire a wizard to cure the coastal troops with magic. Okay. That... I feel like that's gonna end up costing us money anyway. Quarantine the disease and order the healthy to leave them behind. Do nothing to stop the spreading of the sickness, which is definitely not acceptable. I feel like that'll be the blue. The blue will be voting on that. Even though, like, wait. Does blue get to vote on things like this? No, because they're in rebellion, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. B will cost money. I'll tell you what, chat. Um, let's sweeten the pot here. Monarch's golden choice. Okay. Hold on. Plus 500 treasury if the nobles vote for the selected option. If the nobles vote otherwise, 500 treasury. I'm leaving my fate in your hands. Okay. We're going to hire a wizard. You can bankrupt me right now if you want. Totally up to you. Or you can bail my ass out. Like I'm Lehman Bros and you're Barack Obama. Wizard time. Green is throwing. Green is not throwing. Because green is being... Green, leg, legitimately, legitimately. Blue's war is fucking d d annihilating any chances of green winning. Okay? Okay, okay. Honestly, the trade stat doesn't matter anymore. Okay? Okay? Okay, green ki green kind of is throwing because if you would if you would chose this if you would if you would chose anything but the one that anything but the one that I chose. Okay, I could you you could have you could have drained the treasury, but you know why you know why they're not doing that because they're loyal. That's simple. They love the king. And because barbarians are smelly. They are smelly. The wizard costs 2k. They weren't throwing, chat. A few days later, the wizard Pestia arrives at your court. She is clad in flowing black silk, wearing a mask in the shape of a rodent's face. Likely black fever carried by body lice. Make sure your troops are bathed and scrubbed. <laughs> she was just like, tell them to stop playing Smash Brothers Melee and fucking tell them what soap is. It is honestly a ripoff. Like, you're not a wizard. That's all. Why should I give you anything for that? You ever heard the expression, never break a promise to a wizard, your majesty? You want to become the main character of a cautionary tale? Do you? Well, do you? I don't. Really. Military is going to go down. You would order your soldiers to take a math ba a mass bath. T 
together. Eighteen thousand naked soldiers in the shower at Ram Ranch. Eighteen thousand hard throbbing cocks waiting to get sucked. Mm hmm. We can't lose any any more military right now, guys. We're being attacked, guys. Okay? We're being attacked, guys. So... Can I point something out right now? I have an air, and I have 12 trade. Both of my win conditions have been fulfilled. Why have I not won the game? Okay. Well, I think I I think I I think I can tell what's going to happen here. I think that the the chiefs pouring money into B is is going to be an obvious move. Uh, of course this is being done in an effort to bring down my trade to stop me from winning the game. But it looks like the other teams want their shit built more. But I'll tell you what, I don't I actually I'm I'm starting to think it don't fucking matter because frankly we lost that that battle where they got the three points pretty much I think I think that like finished the game. Any Mario Kart tonight? It is 1 a.m. guys. I'm not sure I'm not sure there's going to be Mario Kart tonight. 3 points was way too much. Th that was fucking ridiculous. My loyal subjects, thank you for the stability and authority points. Very very poggers poggers of you. Very poggers. Schemes take priority over rebellion. Purple, if we manage our scheme, we can still win. That's the scheme, right? They want authority to be five or higher? Mike, if you Mario Kart, you're going to yam because of daylight savings time. Guys. Should we do it? Yeah, daylight savings time is fucking trash. It's gonna go from 2 a.m. to 3... It's gonna go from 2 a.m. to straight to 3 a.m. 1.59 a.m. is just gonna turn into 3 a.m. That's so stupid. All right, so we're probably we're probably not gonna fucking play Mario Kart though. But let me again, I'm sorry if you were looking forward to the cart. We'll do it soon, guys. We'll do it soon. But guys, thank you for being here. Um, even if you are on the blue team, thank you for being here. Okay. The game is fun, even though it's like, it, 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 even though it's extremely imbalanced. It is. It's extremely fucking imbalanced, but it is fun. No, it's extremely engaging for me too. Hey guys, th thank, thanks for being here, guys. The king is getting. Apparently, it's confirmed that the king is getting buffed in the next update. You're forgetting the loan? Yeah, the lo that loan is going to be fucking painful. Guys, pay attention to this, especially if you're new here. 
Okay, Pink Pikmin, thanks for the sub, the resub. Check out the links that I posted in the chat, guys. It's my it's my social media shit. It's my YouTube channels, right? There's three of them, full stream highlight and the shorts. There's also a link to the Ko-Fi and the Patreon if you want to support uh, the, str the, the stream that way. Also, you could support by joining our Discord and becoming a Discord subscriber. Um, but at the very least, you should just click that link and get stream notifications. You don't have to actually be in the Discord if you don't want to. Salute says, this game places your stream on my main window. If you want me to keep streaming this game, keep saying that. Keep saying shit. Keep saying shit like that. No, I'm serious. Unironically, that is how you. That is how you. You could fucking push my shit in every time we play this game, and I could sit here and mold and bitch about how unfair it is. But if you tell me it's first monitor content, I will fucking stream it anyway. If you tell me it's main monitor content, then I will sit here and, and I I will let blue team gape me till fucking 6 a.m. every night. That's what I want to fucking hear. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear that my stream that, that people are watching my stream instead of having it on, on in the background while they're fucking tabbed out, jerking off to Lola Bunny's fucking tit porn. Okay? That's what I want to fucking hear. Sorry, Mike. You're on my second monitor. Ban that guy. Babu. Babus. Try to relax. Whoops. Freak. Fresh freak. But also. Try to relax your anus. Because why not? All right. Okay. So. It looks like the, the counts are no longer in Open Rebellion. Uh, debt collection. Yikes. Let's check out this one first, guys. Your Majesty, I have bad news, good news. Which would you like first? The bad news. There's an outbreak of a rare disease called Timian's Pox inside the city walls. Ooh, just in time for a siege. Civilians are dying by the hundreds and it'll spread to our garrisons if we're not careful. But I have good news. I have a plan for how we can use this disease against our enemies. After all, they're, they're thrown, stones throw from the wall these days. You're going to put the fucking diseased bodies of the dead into trebuchets and launch them at the, at the chiefs. And you know how I know that? Because that is exactly what Tyrion Lannister did in Game of Thrones. Timian's pox is named after King Timmy in the short, a very tall man by all accounts. The pox, for whatever reason, causes people to grow a foot or two before they die of exhaustion. Let it never be said that physicians have no sense of humor. It also happened in several real-life sieges, ellipses. If you're missing the context, I am convinced... That this game is drawing a, a vast amount of inspiration specifically from Game of Thrones. But I'm also aware of the fact that George R.R. R. Martin direct, d d used his history, actual real life history, as pretty much a, 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 a cheat, cheat sheet for literally everything that happened in the story. I refuse. I won't be known as the king who stooped to such a low with a 40% chance of something to happen to authority. He's a huge history nerd and it works well. I, I think I think he's easily one of the most talented authors that I've ever read. And no, I stopped reading as I got older, but I did read a lot when I was in my 20s, for example. Um, but I, 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 I believe he's very talented. Feel free to disagree with me. Mm, 
That must be against some kind of rules. The only rule that matters in war is that you must win at all costs. Perhaps you could bring it to the council if they voted in favor of the plan that might have value of guilt. Okay, chat. Do you want to be responsible for this shit? Spread Timian's pox to the besieger besiegers with it looks like what with what looks like an 80% chance to fail, but you know the RNG doesn't give a fuck. Try and contain and eliminate the disease. Or let the disease run rampant and focus on protecting the nobles. Counts? Patricians? I don't know if you were going to do this regardless. But let me make sure that you do. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. We want this one. Let me make sure that you do. Let me sweeten the pot. You need money. It's not taking money away from me. It doesn't... It, this doesn't cost me money. The debt? We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. The other option would have given you 500 gold. I did not want give, to, to give anybody a reason not to vote for this. Does that make sense? The plan goes off without a hitch. It's not long before the pox spreads through the enemy camp like wildfire. And we're getting two fucking points for this one. And now we're even. The military is, is uh, lost two points. N meanwhile, the pox spreads rapidly through the city, having failed to contain it. The death, coal t the death toll climbs and, and climbs. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. Look at this shit. The king can't win, dude. The king can't win. The king can't win, dude. Furthermore, the nobles and your palace servants are also infected. Though you personally avoid the worst of it, nearly everyone in the city has lost someone by the end of the epidemic. And then for literally no reason, the rebels gain a victory point. And now everybody's mad at me. <laughs> like, what? 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 Besieged. The chiefs march through the crown lands, pillaging and burning. The roads are heaving with refugees and corpses clogged the rivers. Is there any hope, Marshal? Only one. The patricians and the counts are still out there, your majesty. Their combined army may have been defeated by the rebels in the last battle. But they'll be gathering reinforcements and calling on their reserves. Hope they get here in time. Alright. As you finish your sentence, an immense trebuchet hurls a ten-ton boulder th toward the capital. It crashes into a nearby clock tower, smashing it to smithereens. Marshall looks at you and says, Well, that just happened! Like I said, Majesty, you'd better get inside. Okay. Well, here comes this. Greetings, your majesty. I'm on uh, here on behalf of Salvini and Gaul to collect what we're owed. You owe us a grand total of 3,750 gold. And what if I don't pay? 
<laughs> Can I extend the terms of my loan? We will be willing to grant you another year at the same rate in exchange for a 20% down payment of 750 gold. What if I tell him to eat shit? I don't have that. We can offer you another year, but we will raise our interest rates to 75%. <laughs> this is our final offer. No, I refuse those terms. Then you are in trouble. We will return to the public of Kurth and inform the pensionary that you are refusing to pay your debts. Suck my dick. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Tell him. Fucking go ahead. Go ahead. Tell him. Tell him. Because I give a fuck. Should have paid the 750. Well, if I paid the 750, Green wins. The scheme. The patricians fift fisheries net 500 wealth this quarter. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. I see people saying we can we can take the hit tax us. Tax me my liege. My instinct is saying common tax because I really don't I really don't want to piss these people off right now. I really don't want to I really don't want to piss these people off right now. I'm not trying to piss these people off right now. But guys, you got to admit, you're so fucking loaded. You're so loaded, guys. It is in Green's best interest not to rebel because they will lose to Blue. Green and Purple need to stay together and Mike needs the money. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I have to spit in their goddamn face. You know? So tax purple. I, everything I everything I said about green applies to purple. Green, listen. Green is already basically on the verge of rebellion. They can just go and vote right now after, after I tax them. They could just vote to rebel. Please tax us, my king. That, is, just, just, that guy, that guy is, has a three next to his name, which means he's a patrician. They don't have the military. They're proven loyal. Guys, I can't tax the patricians of the coast, and I'm going to tell you why. It's because they are our job creators. They are our Elon Musks and our Bezos and our and our fucking our Zuckerbergs and shit. They create jobs and keep the economy good. I can't tax them. That wealth will trickle down in other ways, guys, okay? Look at this garbage.
The siege grinds on. I think the game is about to, is going to end right here. Another dawn breaks. The great army of the north sprawls outside your city walls. For the last three weeks, they have tried to fight their way in. The siege drags on. The food supplies are dwindling. Uh, the council will be here to save us soon enough. That's literally it. That was the whole season? What do you mean that was the whole season? New law. Call for unity. If more than 50% of nobles vote for any one option, we get plus one stability. Get rid of the gamble. Well, the ga the gamble, the gamble is is gonna be how I fucking avoid fucking complete bankruptcy, dude. Guys, it's time for golden choice to go. I I you you've gotten so fat off of that, guys. I can't get rid of Vito. Are you kidding me? I can't get rid of Vito. I can't get rid of Vito. That's insane. Absolute. That's absolute insanity. A grim dawn. The sun rises on a city in turmoil. The chiefs begin their assault last night. And you've heard nothing outside but screams and howls and the clash of cocks in, in the showers at Ram Ranch. Half the capital is in flames. Soldiers rush back and forth, shouting panicked orders. You haven't seen your marshal since the night before. Perhaps she's already dead. Your honor guard are in the streets outside the palace, building a barricade and organizing last-ditch defenses. Vital work, but you're vulnerable without them by your side. The royal court is empty except for you, your husband, and your cousin cradled in the arms of their now. This is where your fucking assassin comes in and kills me. We'll be alright, won't we? We'll survive this? Yes, of course. And you wouldn't lie to make me feel better, would you? The spy master arrives out of breath, her face stained by blood and smoke. Hell, Vatican, thanks for two months, buddy. They'll be here any moment, your majesty. You must saddle your horse and escape the city. I know of a secret passage. How exquisite. We're saved. No. Then you will die. Hamburger Larry, I'm going with the Spy Master. I can't venture out there with you. I'm no fighter. But I understand where, why you're doing this. I love you. Where's the I know option? I love you too. Now get the fuck out of here. You rush to the stable, saddle your horse, and ride out into the street, sword in hand. A column of hardened northern warriors advance down the road, roaring and waving their battle axes. At least I didn't fucking run like a little bitch, blue team. You kick your spurs into your steed and charge forward. Sword waving, it's beautiful, it's glorious, it'll go down in the history books forever, it's almost almost instantly, battle axes chop you into dog food, you get crushed into paste, you feel like a king. Can I ask a question? Yes, the game is broken. Can I ask a question, though? They never got to five victory points. You shouldn't have singled out blue so early. You And you should fucking... Listen to people when they speak and, and understand why I did that. Because again, I explained that fucking eight times. 
You could have let green win to take it away from blue. That would have been so fucking... That would have been so douchey if I had done that. That would have been so fucking douchey. We're going to do another one. You know, that was a typo, but I'm gonna, but I'm gonna leave it. It's like a French penis. Pinoa. We're gonna call him Pinoa. 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 Le ca. Cox. Like Cox. You know, we gotta spell it like this. Like Cox. Pinwa like Cox. Okay. Very mature. Red. Yellow. Purple, I guess, again. Green. There should be six of these. It's not going to be five hours. We're going to speed. We're going to speed run this one. We're we're going to speed run this one. Vol uh, Vic P. Thanks. Uh, thank you for the uh, the the resub. Purple. You guys like purple? Okay. I'm going to speed run this one by trying to get fucking decapitated as quickly as possible, guys. Okay. Um go ahead, do whatever. A lot of people haven't even joined yet. So you still gotta jo join and then vote immediately, I guess. Looks like I'm going in the river again. Taking a dip. Alright. Guys, what if this river contains the little catfish that swim up your pee hole? What if there's can Candiru? What if there's Candiru in there, guys? Let me get changed out of my nice robes first. Okay, council introduction. Yep. We've seen all this already. Um... Uh, Cool, okay. And the path to victory. I want to be... Let's try this one. Goal stability. An admirable aim... Over the next few years, focus on improving the stability as much as possible. It, once you have an heir, I will return to discuss how your ambition is progressing. So, I mean, what does it need to be? Like, what's the win condition? Like, how high does it need to be? You know, like what? Someone said, yeah, that, yeah, that's going to work. Okay, here you go. You got the barons of the march. What do you want to do, guys? You can go propaganda and be in direct opposition to my fucking goal of, of, of high stability. Modernization, lower others' military. That's an interesting one. Uh, intimidation, raise others' defiance. How is that? Intimidation. Lower others' military. Yeah, I mean, that could be interesting. I guess. The Barons plan to modernize the Kingdom's army in such a way that it's totally under their control. First, they must prove the military is in need of reform. To advance the scheme, the Barons must lower the other region's military to a combined total of ten or less in four seasons. And they already have that. A false pretender occupies the throne while my claim is ignored. 
All right, here you go. You got, again, the you could do, that's like the propaganda one that the, the Barons had. Would have been a nice synergy between the two teams, I think, to team up on that. Witch Hunt, which is for you to have a very high faith, which makes sense because you start with the default very high faith stat. It's a witch hunt. So you kind of start at a fucking uh, advantage there. The Grandees must be the region with the highest faith in three seasons. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Okay, now it's time for the counts. You can do doppelganger again. Lowest defiant. You need to have the lowest defiance for that. Which is very similar to... Oh, well, that, that was the exact same one that the North had, isn't it? In the last round. That was why... That was why... No, in the round before. In the round before. Right? Ascension. Lower own faith. See, that's interesting because that, that, put, that puts you in direct opposition... Or will that that puts you in having a common goal with with the grandees, basically? In a way, kind of. This the the counts must lower their faith to four or less in three seasons. You already have it. Okay, so it's a lot of faith bullshit going on here. Blue had it the last round when you overdid it trying to prevent them from advancing. Right, right, right. No, it was the last round. Um, now that you're the king, you need personal protection, I suppose. So who's it gonna be? Who's it going to be? What if it's none of you? It's none of you. Yay. The battle bitten brethren arrive a few weeks later. You've never seen such a gang of huge, unpleasant looking cutthroats sneering and smirking and cleaning their fingernails with daggers. Your fears are assuaged by their commander, a gray haired man who calmly explains the service they provide. As long as the coin doesn't run out, they'll sacrifice themselves to the last man on your behalf. Now everyone's mad at me. Yay! A need for horses. My liege! I've been thinking marcher soldiers are without peer, but our armies could be stronger. What we need are better horses, but the best don't come cheap. Normal words, but a horse guy. The Ash Medians have a surplus of destroyers at the moment. Horses bred for war. Perhaps the crown could go halves with the barons to acquire some for the good of the kingdom, of course. That depends what it will do. Discourage the Baron's reliance on war horses. No. Don't need that. You can have horses if you want to. Encourage the Barons to breed their own destroyers in the march. That seems cool. Um tell you what a ain't happening because i'm feeling kind of i'm feeling kind of light in the pockets especially after i just hired these people so why don't we why don't we find out what b is all about could be cool could be cool just don't know we don't know could be cool could be lame it could be nothing it could be po could be poggies? Po poggets? Oh, you typoed. You were going to say poggers.
Ban that guy. Poggets. Poggets. What is a what is a poggit? There's something in my po You got a cucumber in your pocket? Or you're just happy to see me? It's like a tiny pogger. But a tiny pogger would, would be a poglet. A poglet. A pog... Someone in chat said pogget pussy. Okay, you succeeded your farming challenge. I don't know what it... What did it do for you? Did it raise farming? Did farming go up? That's cool, I, I guess. Is it... Probably military next season. Your Majesty, it is my singular honor to invite you to attend the annual Night of the Seven Pyries celebration. What's that? It's the biggest festival in the South. It's a celebration of the ninth god and his victory over the other eight. It is the holy and sacred night of the year. Most people like it because fireworks are involved. We fireworks. I look forward to attending. Wonderful. I trust that you are willing to finance and organize one of the pyres. It is customary for the king to do so if he is in attendance. What does everything cost money for? Well, can't back out now. It would be nice to know how much it would co it was going to cost. Why'd she dupe you like that? She didn't tell me it was going to cost money to like the very last second, right? Okay, a good idea for anybody who is trying to sabotage the grandees is funding the observatory to bring down the faith. Yeah. Good idea. Solid idea. Solid idea. Oh, it's like a bidding war. Fuck. Oh, the grandees are, are just trying to cancel out the... the, the <laughs> fuck. They're trying to outfund the... Both are going to get built and it's going to have absolutely no effect on, on anything, right? No, that's not, how, that's not how it works, right? It's only going to affect purple. Come. Come, 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 come. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, come. Yeah, so, okay. That's great. I got confused again. Grandpa got confused again. The grandees built a conservatory ensuring that they will be completing the first phase of their scheme. And the, uh, the counts built an observatory also uh, ensuring that they will be... Um, Securing the, f the, f the first phase of their scheme. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. Very, very fucking cool. Very cool. A popular priest. Um, I would not normally interfere with the Archbishop's dealings your Majesty, but I'm a bit concerned about his popularity in the South at the moment. Who? Sounds like you're jealous, Chancellor. You jelly? Your authority has been slipping recently, I'm afraid. It's only natural that the people turn to alternative leaders. In this case, it's the Archbishop. Perhaps the other nobles could be convinced to help. A few of them are jealous of the attention the Archbishop lavishes on the grandees. What can be done to combat the king's ailing popularity in the south? Conduct a propaganda campaign against the arch archbishop, which will lower stability. Not something I would like to see at any point. But it's also lowering faith for everyone. B raises authority, but it also raises faith. It lowers everyone's faith, so it doesn't matter. So A will lower everybody's faith. B will raise everybody's faith. You probably want that if you're a grandee. 
you probably don't want that if your account for a baron it's irrelevant donate a large sum to the southern church no oh, yeah we could or we could spend more more money <laughs> right we could spend more money allow the archbishop to continue as he pleases which does nothing but lower my authority which is not going to do me any 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 fucking favors at all is it okay so here's what i think i will be doing okay i am just going to veto d Because you know what, honestly, if 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 you want to if you want to be spiteful to me and vote C, to drain my treasury, you are increasing my stability by doing that, and lowering my def and lowering all your defiances by doing that. So do what you will. And you're off to the races. You can abstain. Of course, you could choose to abstain. Okay, it looks like we got option A significantly in the lead. People are trying to erode my stability because they know it hurts me. They are also trying to lower faith. Which could potentially hurt the grandees. I don't think it's going to matter because we have to get that to... Fuck. We would have to lower that by th three points for that to be a problem for them. They're fine. Right? They're, I mean, they're going to survive that. So the Count's Faith is also going to be dropping? No? Oh, oof. It looks like the South's Faith dropped by, by two. Now I was anybody else under the impression that like all of all of the faith was going to was going to drop? Yeah, so that's what happened there. Okay. Finding a spouse. Yamada. Okay. A city in flames. Since the text read this read the south, it meant yellow. But the fucking banner was in the crown lands, and the event happened. With, the the banner was placed in the crown lands. So when that happens, you just think it's going to be a, a neutral thing applying to everybody, no? Uh, what caused the fire? A cow kicked over a lantern, Your Highness. You sure it wasn't a teapot? A milkmaid was burned in the midnight oil. It must have had unexpectedly cold hands. Poor cow. Sorry to hear the city's gone up in flames. I was hoping the council might unlock some funds from the treasury so we could rebuild. Oh. Well. Hmm. Well, guys, I, I I mean, I'll tell you what. I, I can't influence this in any way, shape, or form. So, um. Do what, you, do what you're going to do. Again, A, A fucks me pretty hard because I lose all that money. Um, D is funny because the milkmaid gets punished. Punished milkmaid. Um, also causes my authority to go up, which is a surprising choice, chat, from you guys, honestly. I'm kind of, again, now that this feels like I'm missing something here. As so many of you would vote to raise my authority. It's literally for the meme. A peasant named Heather is deemed responsible for the fire. You send a squad of soldiers to arrest her and bring her in for a speedy trial. By the ninth, tis not my fault. The cow is to blame. Regardless, witness testimony proves Heather's guilt. And both she and the cow, whose name was also Heather, are milked. Until they die of dehydration. 
Farmers throughout the East report uncharacteristically sour milk from their own cows for weeks after. The Glanch Tyrant. <laughs> both, both Heather and the cow, who was also named Heather, are milked fucking dry. Milked until they are chafed and bloody. And then die of exhaustion and dehydration. Death by milking. Okay, somebody's getting taxed. The barons enter a partnership with the local mercenary guild, making 500 wealth. The other nobles gain 200 wealth. It's going to raise the defiance. Tax the rich. We'll tax the rich. Nothing personal, guys. A tasty innovation. I don't mean to exaggerate, Your Highness, but I believe I have pioneered the most incredible invention in the history of mankind. He's going to say sandwich. He invented sandwiches. Sounds like your servant invented it. Yes, and he's my employee, so I own the idea. It's only fair. The legend goes that the Earl of Sandwich was playing cards with some other nobles in medieval England, and he was getting sick of eating meat with his raw hands because it was causing the cards to become greasy. So he ordered his servants to place the meat in between two pieces of bread so as to prevent the grease from getting on his fingers. And so it goes that the Earl of Sandwich invented the sandwich, and so it is named a sandwich. There is a place in England called the Sandwich, in case you haven't figured that out from the fucking context. But now you know, and you have been educated on this evening. Is there any evidence that any of that shit's true, by the way? Like, is that documented? Is that is that factual, or is that, like... Is that source crack pipe? The Earl of Sandwich is all right, but the Earl of Burrito was even smarter. <laughs> oh, man. Source crack pipe. The Earl of Crack Pipe is the guy who invented the crack pipe, right? You know who was actually really impressive for the time? The Earl of Pringles. Think about that. The burger of burger. The Earl of Mountain Dew. Baja Blessed. Okay. He holds in the air a plate. There's two slices of bread with meat wedged in between them. Okay, the bread serves as an impregnable barrier. Oh, I can impregnate that, that sandwich. Especially if it's from Burger King. Dear Mr. Beast. Oh, I can impregnate that sandwich. You can fuck this sandwich. Ingenious. Naturally, uh, this is my in invention. I propose we name it after me. In a few years' time, I expect everyone to be enjoying a nice Confucius Rex for lunch. But naturally, the innovation cannot be made available for free. Every time a Confucius Rex is consumed, I expect a small royalty payment. <laughs> okay. Guys, do we give Confucius Rex the royalties he deserves? He's really trying to get royalties for the word sandwich, guys. Like, he's actually trying to do it. Confucius Rexes are too delicious to be controlled. Confucius Rex shall receive a one-time reward from the treasury instead. Okay. 
The servant should be rewarded instead. What was his name again? The servant uh, being rewarded is the funniest option. Like 100%. But why don't you just go ahead and do... Go ahead and do it. Veto D and make a real decision happen. I might need that veto later. Besides, this is too this is too funny and is the correct course of action. I think everybody here agrees this is the correct course of action. This is the based choice. This is the based choice. That guy's gonna be so mad. He wouldn't have invented this snack if I hadn't specifically requested a convenient meal. That that went up by two. You know what? All right, all right. I mean, like, he's not wrong completely. Maybe we could like do a mashup of both of their names, right? Stay mad, grandees. I saw tons of grandees voting for this. The servant is brought before you. Um, hello, your majesty. Most people call me footlong due to my, ahem, large feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Footlong. I like the sound of that. Or I prefer calling it a Confucius Rex. We can't call it that. We'll name it something boring. Right? You, just, you, you, I, you know what? You know what? Let's, let's call it a footlong. Let's do it. Trade is now opulent. In, in the South. Footlongs prove a massively popular luncheon. Bakeries spring up across the South, experimenting with new ingredients. Turns out you can put almost anything between two pieces of bread. Mm -hmm. A terrible curse. Grandy brain curse. Man, that's eerie. In Spyro's name, we must honor the footlong. Wait, you mean... Anything? Oh, yeah. Anything. <laughs> Sonic meal. <laughs> Sonic meal! <laughs> Alright. Grandy brain curse rushes into the council chamber, breathless and in disarray. By the ninth, you look like you haven't slept for weeks. I've been placed under a curse. Look, my hair's falling out in chunks. Oh, we've seen this one before. My pe the peasant was a witch. She was a witch. She was a witch. She's a witch. Have the so-called witch tested. And then there is a 60% chance that something happens to Faith. Okay. So I'm going to assume it's this. I'm going to assume it's a 60% chance for Faith to go up. And a f maybe a 40% chance for Faith to go down. That didn't, go, that didn't go well last time. The reason it didn't go well last time, Additive Inverse, is because I was trying to do a Faith victory and it caused my Faith to drop. That's not happening this time. Random stat checks don't necessarily mean it will affect that stat. It just uses it as a check. Okay, so it's not a... It's a 60% chance to succeed because yellow faith is a 6. Okay, you, you know, here's the problem though. I, I don't know what success means in this case.
No one does. This is just like crap. Okay, do whatever you want. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna use a veto here. Do do whatever you think is is cool. So obviously, probably a voting A is most likely gonna end up helping the, the grandees. Just so you know, guys. Just just so just so you know. Could fuck, could fuck him. It could fuck him. It absolutely could fuck him. We just don't know. Look how close that is. I I'm just gonna let this. I'm just gonna let this play out. Look at that. Holy fuck. I'm just gonna let that play out. That's crazy. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh, that's amazing. Holy shit. King is a tiebreaker. Is he? Alright, I think we got it. No? <laughs> no, we don't. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, my God. This is insane. <laughs> That's insane. Holy fuck, dude. When do you end? I end it whenever I want. Look, <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Wow, you're really gonna let this happen, guys? <laughs> I think that's it. It's over. It's over. It's over. That's chat for you. They're doing this deliberately. <laughs> Okay. Of course we are. Of course you are. Have the so-called witch tested or have the accursed brain curse sent to the march to relax? You've already fucked yellow. Keep in mind that we have no idea what this is going to do to yellow. We don't know if this is... We don't know. We don't know if this... Understand. We have no idea if this is going to fuck yellow, guys. It could help yellow. Alright, I'm going to tell you something. On the... On the I'm choosing this. I don't want a situation where their faith goes up again. And then that and then that slipped. And then any opportunity to do anything about this slips through my fingers, dude. Okay? Verily, that would be wonderful. Be sure to bring plenty of coin. The trip is a success, and Brain Curse and his entourage praise Pikawo's hospitality. The march becomes a popular destination for those looking to improve their health. Isn't that nice? That, what, how nice? That's so nice. Time to get some dick! Okay. This is Avena, the eldest heir of the Eastern... Okay, so there's the... Um, the counts, uh, the counts choice, um, we got from the south, we have Bellona, um, preferring the solitude, preferring solitude to the company of others. Like many in the south, she claims to put her faith in the ninth 
God above all worldly concerns. She's a little intense. She calls herself an avatar of the Ninth Justice. I don't think that's going to be somebody... Hmm. That I'm going to be able to impregnate easily. Um, and she sounds a little bit scary. Although, I feel like the grandees are starting to hate me a little bit. And if... if it, hmm. Yeah, but I mean, like... It, Martin Scion of the Bread Bottle Bloodline. He's known for his blunt honesty. The kind of honesty that makes you en enemies. I respect that. Um... See, some of you were thinking like, oh, well, you really pissed off Yellow a lot, right? And I mean, like, I, I guess I guess it's the way to go because if I marry her, this stat will go up to four. This one will probably go down to three. But I but I keep I keep this from going to five. Does that make sense? So, so let's marry... Yeah, let's marry her. Right. Yellow has no military. They would be bad at rebelling. Is Fucking doesn't matter as much as you think it does, dude. Trust me. Uh, okay, um... D d it's, it, it really just comes down to fucking literal coin flips, dude. It's, it's fucking the coin flips. Have you noticed that red and purple have their schemes complete, but you were worried about yellow? Yeah, but marrying their 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 cho their people doesn't change that, Raylan. If I married Reds, it wasn't going to change their... If I marry, it wasn't going to change any of that. We have a faithful South and a friendly High Inquisitor. Now is the perfect time to expose the King's sins. Everyone is saying the Counts are trying to induct the King into an immortal cult of blood drinkers. Not this time. We have the High Inquisitor on our side, but we must also sow dissent in other regions. We won't succeed alone. For the next stage of the scheme, the grandees must rage, raise other regions' defiance to a combined total of eight. Or ensure another region starts a rebellion. Not them, another one. Well, it's already there. Is it not? Four, five, six, seven. It's nine. Oh, theirs isn't being counted. Theirs, is, okay, theirs isn't being counted. So yeah, they just need one more. So I have to really like make everybody fucking as happy as possible. In a tiny village to the east, two counts meet in a derelict tavern. Um, We are no longer trapped under the church's thumb. There was literally, I had no opportunities to do anything about any of this. For the next stage of the scheme, the Counts must rage authority to five or more. It's, it's this again. It's fucking this again. Alright. Um, we have Gamble, Unity, or the Golden Choice. I think the bribery thing worked like really, really, really fucking well last time. Like the, the the bribery thing was was just perfect, dude. The royal wedding. Let's let's do it. Do you take the woman? Yeah. Oh, look, my authority is going up again. Y yay. Get fucked, grandees. Uh, 
Hello, I hope you had a good time as I did. Um, so tell me about yourself. Not much to tell. I am dust carried on the wind, as are we all if you read the scripture. Cool, do you want to have a baby right now? The Knight of Seven Pyres. Good talk, good talk. Yeah, good talk, good talk, good talk. It's not long until the Knight of Seven Pyres. As you journey south, the sun beats down like a hammer. Grandee T. Anonymous greets you at the gates to the city of Merona. Glad you could make it, Your Holiness. Welcome to Merona. Beautiful place you have here. But first, which of the deposed gods' effigies do you want to be responsible for burning? Listen, can you please fucking tell me, like, if I'm going to do a faux pas here, like, and not... Guys. Remember that flat, that One Piece flashback episode in the, in the, in the fucking Skypea arc? I, I told you I just watched that. When that dude chops down all the holy trees for the, from the, the fucking tribe's holy trees. And then they get mad at him and, like, refuse to talk to him. And it's like, hey, man. If you didn't want him to chop the trees down, why didn't you fucking tell him? And now why aren't you telling him that that's what he did? It made me so mad. It made me so fucking mad. Why didn't you tell him? Oh yeah, don't chop those trees down. Okay. Most of you don't know what I'm talking about. Which of the deposed god's effigies do you want to be responsible for burning? The entombed one? The Dung Eater, the Lord of Darkness, or the Drowned Lady. Let's go, uh... Entombed. Mike literally says, get fucked, grandees, and will ask in an hour, what did I ever do to you? True? NetSpeed, thank you for 10 months of support. You're talking about the defiance going down? Like, you're gonna... Con what, like, are you gonna consider that a personal slight against you because the fucking... Because, because the defiance stats went down? Really? I just married the person that you sent to me. Me saying get fucked grandees is just like, it's a little fucking, it's, it's the game. What do you want from me? Just, I'm, I'm, it's, 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 it's ribbing. Like, it's not, it's not that serious, man. I'm, do if you can't fucking tell, I'm legitimately trying to play this game in a way that is as equitable as fucking possible right now. To avoid what happened last time. To prove chat wrong and show them that it still isn't going to fucking matter. And I'm going to prove to them that if you try to make everybody happy, then nobody's happy and you get fucked in the ass anyway. I feel like a marriage should make it harder for a place to rebel. Well, technically it does because it reduces their defiance. It reduced their defiance by, I think, two. Let's go shit eater. An excellent decision, Your Majesty. Traditionally, the sixth god's effigy is over 50 feet high and burned outside the city in a nearby orchard. Now, what kind of entertainers will you be hiring to surround your pyre and impress spectators? Clowns. Lion tamers. Acrobats. Okay, I'll tell you what. Fire breathers. It's cheap. It's not clowns. They can breathe on the on the effigy with it with the fire to burn it. It'll be it'll be awesome. I do not know how they do it without burning their lips, Your Holiness. Must be a technique to it. You'll need more than that to draw a crowd, however. Who else? Oh. Uh let's let's go acrobats. Trapezing above the roaring flames, enough to make even a stone heart sing. Anyone else? N nope. 
You must decide on the pyre's spectacular climax. Sometimes we go with fireworks, but those are expensive. The black powder must be sourced from Kurth. A less exciting alternative is to topple the effigy over like a falling tree. We will fill the effigy with an obscene amount of fireworks. We're going to do a normal amount and call it a night. I can't wait. Soon, the night of the Seven Pyres is upon you. The streets of Myrona are crammed with merrymakers. They're all wearing diapers. Because they don't want to miss the fireworks, and the local businesses refuse to allow any of them to use the restroom. So every single one of them is walking around with a load of shit in their pants. Because if they let everybody use the bathroom, it would be chaos, right? Sound familiar? As the royal stagecoach makes its way to the orchard, the citizens greet you with cheers and tossed roses. A thorn hits you squarely in the fucking eyeball. The effigy of the sixth ta god towers over the treetops. A 50-foot woman covered in thousands of flowers as it bursts into flames. Out come your acrobats and fire breathers. They roar gouts of flame. Overhead, acrobats glide above the flames like doves. The crowd applauds, delighted at the sheer spectacle. Finally, your effigy explodes and fills the night sky with fizzling colors. The crowd coos. The surrounding trees look distinctly flammable. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. Guys, if the fucking trees are on fire, that's their fault and not mine. Because why are you having... Why are you doing this? Why, why are you doing it? Why are you doing that? Fortunately, no stray sparks catch anything alight, thank the stars. You didn't want to be known as the king who burned down Mirona. <laughs> that would have been great. The next day, you wait to hear how they reacted to your display. Congratulations, your majesty. Congratulations. Oh, joy. Their faith went up. Their defiance went down, which is irrelevant. And would you look at that? My fucking authority fucking went up too! I think everyone's went down. Everyone's what went down? But yeah, the grandees are, are, are getting fucked. Should have got the clowns. <laughs> Should have got the clowns. Yeah, dude, we, we need to we need to do something about that. I have to do something to undermine my authority quick. And like buy a lot too. Fuck. Always a pleasure to serve my people. Okay, goodbye. Fading season. Great news. The new foals have come in and our horse breeding program me has proven successful. They're stronger than ever. Of course, they'll take a few years to reach maturity, but my fellow barons are very optimistic. A new generation of mighty war horses awaits military going up. Defiance is going down. Cool. And what about the rest of us? Giving the barons a monopoly on war horses is irresponsible, I say. You can't trust them. Okay. The counts and the grandees can buy the new horses for a fair price. Why not? Who cares? Somebody's military goes up. Probably the, the grandee's military goes up. If that happens. Football fanatics should share the foals with everyone for free. Which raises... Again, now that will raise the grandee's military. It has to be. Nothing else makes sense. The barons are entitled to the fruits of their own labor. Let them keep the monopoly, which will do some, some shit with defiance. And then you have D, which will... Uh, we have no idea what that'll do, but it, 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 it's not telling us if it's going to directly affect the stat. So...
My king, you want A. Baron's A is bad for us. Who's us? Baron's A. Raising defiance is bad for you right now. Okay, well... The Counts and Grandies... Okay, so here's what's going to happen. The Counts are going to lose money, but they're going to gain military. The Counts and the Grandees are going to gain military, but they're going to lose money. Baron Defiance should go up. Yeah, I'm not interested in Defiance going up at all in, in any in any in any situation. Okay. So that's what we're gonna. Fu I'm gonna fucking veto that. Okay. If the if the Defiance wants to shuffle around, if you choose C, the Baron's Defiance will probably go down, but the Grand D Defiance is gonna go up. Guys. I've been very good to you, Grandies. Evil Crash, thanks for 27 months, bud. Go ahead. But I'm not gonna just, just I'm not I'm not just gonna allow somebody's defiance to go up for no reason at no fucking benefit to anything. And by the way, the Grandies defiance going up has no impact on their fucking scheme. So there you go. We got the 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 barons and the counts. The sorry, the the counts and the grandees wanting to buy the horses. They're cool with that. They're cool with spending their money on that. Probably a good call, having a a, a brolic fucking military here. Well, hold on a second. Cause I forgot about this. Fu I forgot completely about this scheme. What, what what was their stupid fucking scheme? What was their dumb fucking scheme? It had to be below ten combined. I forgot about that. Oh. I forgot. Okay, frankly, honestly, I forgot about the scheme, but it worked in my advantage. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I totally forgot about the scheme. Completely, 100% forgot about the scheme. Uh, genuinely. So, so, so honestly, later, when, when Red Team is all pissed off at me, please remember that legitimately, you fucked yourselves. Okay. And I had absolutely nothing to do with this. Can we see who those ten guys are? We just have questions. We just have we just have we just have questions. <laughs> we just have some questions for them. We just want to ask a couple of questions. Amidst dark and foreboding forests, uh, the marcher plot continues. Great God, those other regions still throw their military weight around, eh? Sadly, yes. We need to prove to these fools that the only army that... Man, if that didn't happen, this would be totally different right now. We need to prove to these fools that the only army this kingdom needs is ours. The Baron's aim is to lower the region's combined military to ten or less. Okay. Hmm. An honorable challenge. Your Highness, this lopsided churl has besmirched my honor. She claimed I am a cowardly cheat and I did not earn my scars in battle. Which lopsided churl are you talking about? That honorless dord, lumpy, ugh, lumpy, ugh, of the barons. 
My scars are a symbol of my duels. They are hard-earned badges of, of honor for any grandee. I would duel her to regain my honor as any grandee should, but Baroness Lumpy ugh, will not accept without your express permission. Now, hold on a minute. This is a matter of respect. We can't be dueling in the King Peen Peeny Peenwa's throne room without due process. You're a coward, Lumpy. Ugh. And you may as well admit it now. A coward? That's rich coming from you. Sure, you didn't earn those scars in a farming accident. You may duel. It might be fun to watch. Dado Potato Dato w grins wickedly, drawing her sword. Lumpy ugh grunts in frustration. It sounds like this. Ugh. And then hefts a nasty looking turnatch mace, testing its weight while looking Dato Potato Dato square in the eyes. Tempest, thanks for six months, buddy. Re upping for the best emote on Twitch. It's great, isn't it? Of course, he's ta they're, they're, they're talking about uh, Chatoid. The duelists circle each other before the grandee, uh, Dato Potato, steps in for the first move. Lumpy ugh, jumps backwards, batting the sword away. When Potato comes in for another strike, Lumpy is ready for it. Though the grandee is fainting, she has already anticipated it, dodging out of the way and stepping inside Potato's reach. The mace swings around and connects with Potato's ribs, causing a sickening crunch and pain yell. I yield. She drops her sword, her face a mixture of agony and embarrassment. Bravo. Nicely fought. Though Potato has suffered a crushing embarrassment, the grandees still view your sanction of the duel as respecting their customs and are clearly grateful. Complain about that. Airborne Dink, thank you for nine months. If anything, I get to complain because I didn't get not, not, nothing that... There was not, nothing that benefited me took place there. Okay, and I still have a big fucking problem with authority right now. Y you, you know the counts are going to win this. Yale, hey, thanks for seven months. Apparently, something has escaped from the cellars of Countess Fifi's castle. I've asked for an eyewitness report from a, a local. Oh, God. The fucking creature has gotten loose again, hadn't it? Oh dear God. Oh fuck me, the creature. Fuck. Now how will we get fresh dairy? Your Majesty, it was a rite on holy site. A monster stitched together from parts dug up from the village ceremony. I recognized my Aunt Edna's earlobes. Did it hurt anyone? No, it just seemed confused. Kept asking for its, its mother. Kept asking for your mother. Chat. This creature is my life's work, your majesty. And my son. His escape was regrettable. He just wanted to see the village up close. Rest assured, I have chained him up far more securely in my dungeon to ensure this won't happen again. It's too late for that, Countess. You and your unholy creation must be burned. It's the only way to cleanse the world of your evil. Free the monster. Could do. Burn the monster, but let the Countess live. You get some defiance. Faith goes up. Faith goes up for... The Counts? That's irrelevant. I lose some stability. Fucks me in the butt a little bit. If you look at A, you got... Um, Defiance is going to go up here. Faith is also going to go up. I'm again, I'm assuming for the counts, which is irrelevant again. Stability goes up, which you may not want to see that happening for me. Um, if you're not looking for a mic dub here, okay. Um, I personally like C. Why? Because, well, I really need this authority stat to dip. I probably, realistically, I don't have enough time left to avoid the consequences of that. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Um, also, I think that's the, I think that's, I think that's the fairest. 
option for the situation. Right? Mike, there is no way you are going to make the low authority. It, it's, 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 it's fucked. It's, it's totally fucked. I have to just t take the L on that, right? Absolutely. Okay, C will help yellow in the sense that defiance will, will, will go. No, you're wrong. No, in fact, I don't. I don't see how. I don't see how C helps yellow at all. Actually, if anything, that fucks them. That fucks them. If if, if this is too late to do anything about, then I might as well keep my fucking my stats, bro. Let's find out what happens here. I'm going to make this a sexier choice. Guys. Yes, it's a bribe. It's a bribe. The monster will go free and anything could happen. Could be good, could be bad. Free the boy. You have a great incentive to do so. A financial incentive. It's a bribe. It's a bribe. Yes, it's a bribe. It's a bribe. It's a bribe. Beautiful. It's going beautifully. No, Your Grace. The boy's not ready for freedom. This will end in disaster. The council would free this unholy monstrosity and allow its twisted creator to go unpunished. What kind of message does this send? You're all mad. You'll see doom will come to the east. Doom! Luckily, the High Inquisitor's prophecy proves nonsense. Yo, tell me it gets a job. The so-called abomination turns out to be a gentle fellow with a green thumb and a fondness for puppies. Soon enough, he's won over the villagers who allow their children to go on piggyback rides with him. Holy fuck. I have nine stability. He spends most of his time in the fields growing flowers and vegetables for the community. Fi-Fi couldn't be more proud. You got farming out of this because the thing is a f grown vegetables, apparently. And defiance has again gone down. Blued money. Mm -mm. What are you talking about? Nothing is wrong. Absolutely nothing is wrong in the east. Uh, okay, this is weird. You look like you swallowed a wasp. Things must have changed. This calls for a celebratory glass of wine. Okay, things must have changed. There's definitely not an old witch who lives at the border of my lands, and I definitely haven't been having money troubles. And most importantly, she didn't offer me a fortune in exchange for a drop of blood, an offer which I absolutely didn't accept. Okay. Okay. Ever since I didn't accept the witch's bargain, I haven't found myself obeying her every command. I definitely still rule over my estate, not her. Furthermore, she didn't forbid me from telling you any of this, and I'm not using negative statements to bypass her magic. <laughs> okay, that shouldn't that shouldn't work, right? That shouldn't work. That shouldn't work. <laughs> That shouldn't work. He shouldn't be able... If this if this magic was worth anything, this wouldn't be possible for him to do this. Okay. Hang on. I'm starting to think you mean the opposite of what you say. Hang on a minute. This is like Fry from Futurama dialogue right here. I'm glad that's cleared up. Let's celebrate all this good news with some wine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
No, let's fetch the court physician and see if we can cure this. After a week confined to a cold iron box with nothing to eat but salt, the magic stops affecting Arch knows so strongly. They're even able to talk about their ordeal directly. I always tolerated that bloody witch. She'd sell medicine to the peasants to help them find lost sheep. I never suspected she was capable of something like this. We need to call a vote. Send a regiment to take back my stolen lands. All right. Take back Conti or Ar Archnos's land and burn the witch at the stake. Take back Archnos's land, but let the witch go free. Don't like that one. Because I like having money. Let Archnos suffer the consequences of their bargain. I will be vetoing this. I'm keeping my money, chat. I have no idea what happens if A is selected. No clue. No clue what it does. We don't know what it we don't know what it does. We don't know what it does. No, I nobody no nobody knows. Nobody knows what will happen unless they've seen they've played this game before and have seen this exact scenario before. We're gonna find out now though. Whatever it was had a 70% success rate, and it succeeded. When the Eastern troops are... Why did it have a 70% success rate? Because their military stat is only 6. I thought those success rates were based on the military stat of the people. When Eastern troops arrive on the estate, the land itself fights back. The soil opens up beneath them. Trees swipe at their horses. Ho horses. That's awesome. A base of 10 makes sense. But they fight their way through. Shut the fuck up, chat. Shut the fuck up! They fight their way through with minimal losses. The witch tries to escape, but she's caught by sentries posted around the perimeter. That evening, she's burned in the town square as the peasants watch in silence. Conte or Archnos is pathetically grateful for the return of their ancestral home. And you got a little bit of faith, but that's meaningless. The fields are never again as bountiful as they were under the witch's reign. And you lost a little bit of farming, which is, again, irrelevant. End season. Okay. We've got au auctions here. What do we want to do? Um... I don't know that any of this is relevant. In any way, shape, or form. Um, looks like there are some options where you can try to fuck with me a little bit, but... Maybe there are better options to, instead of fucking me, helping yourself? Alright, so... Looks like the Counts want to try to... The Counts are currently attempting to lower the military... Oh, I understand what's happening. Right, okay, so you have you have other teams attempting to lower Right, probably you have bar you have barons attempting to lower the count's uh military, which you probably shouldn't let happen, guys. Guys, probably shouldn't let that happen, guys. They can't stop us. It kind of looks like that's real. They can't stop you. Well, I think you I think you I think you stop it by spending the money on something else. Unfortunately, the fucking barons are loaded right now. Looks like they just fulfilled their fucking condition, dude. For the Yeah, they just fulfilled their conditions for the scheme which gapes uh gapes my asshole uh significantly, right? All right, about your heir Your marriage to Bellona has grown stale. Yeah, of course it's fucking stale, bro. She cares more about the god than your happiness. You still need an heir. Yep. This fucking shit again. Guys, I only actually had a baby with the, with, with the fucking the spouse one time.
I don't think me and the, again, I, I'm not I'm not feeling good about the wife. I'm not feeling good about the, 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 the having a child. Um And we have to choose one of these options again, dude. Does anything lower authority? Yeah, plenty of things lower authority. Um Here's the thing, guys. I, I sort of feel like... Oh, my stability got lowered because the other thing that was built. Thanks. Um, I also don't want to, like, piss her off. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't want to... Guys, we all fucking time traveled just now. Did you notice that? Yo, holy shit, we time traveled. Adopting a lowborn probably lowers authority. Probably so bastard probably does that too. There's no way we can get that authority to less than five though. Right? It's like the only one I haven't fucking tried. The nobles won't be happy with the lowborn child being elevated to the status of a royal. I urge you to consider. All right, so that's going to give us a little bit of maybe a, li a little bit of defiance. Like a lot of defiance or a little bit of def <laughs> defiance. <laughs> Plus three defiance to to every bot? I, I'm not doing that. Because defiance was my fucking downfall in, in, in every time. You have eight stability. So they would have to have nine defiance. Yeah, but that stability is going to drop as you guys figure out ways to undermine it. Man, why couldn't she just have sex with me, man? Come on. Incel moment. You can still try. She's religious. And we're married. What's your fucking point? We're married. She's a woman of God. They love to have kids. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm fucking saying. Come on, it's our it's our it's our fucking obligation to God to have children, dude. Let's go. It's our fucking obligation to God to have children. God loves babies. God this, God that, God, God, God. Your distant cousin. Your Highness, I have a matter of delicacy to speak to you about. Good day, cousin. How's the old kingdom going? I always thought it looked like a lot of work, but I suppose you do get a fancy hat. He's your f he's about 50th in line to the throne. You haven't seen him in years. What's going on? Uh, Fitzalbert's been staying at my estate for the last year, your highness, but unfortunately there have been financial impacts. He's been borrowing money from me for months, saying he'll pay me back when his luck turns, but now my coffers are bare. Yes, poor cold press couldn't afford a little banquet to see me off. I'm sorry it's come to this, but I must petition the court for funds, your highness. I'm not paying for this. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Absolutely the fuck not. No fucking way. No fucking way. Absolutely not. I'm not paying for this. Do whatever you want. I'm not paying for this. I refuse to pay for this. It's not my problem. Option C, of course, lowers defiance for um, the barons, which is very juicy. Um, which gets them you know, further from rebelling from me, which is great for me. 
Um, if it does something else, I haven't figured that out. Nobody has... There is not a single person anywhere in this kingdom with a single fucking thing to bitch about. So when I lose, what's going to be your fucking... What, what are you going to... What, what are you going to tell me when I lose this time? No, 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 seriously. When I lose this time, what are you going to fucking tell me? Baron Cold Press quickly sends a wagon of Fitzalbert's belongings to the capital. It contains a prodigious amount of clothing, playing cards, porcelain, and a bassoon. Your cousin will neither explain the bassoon's presence nor play it for anyone, and sets himself up very comfortably in a disused wing of the palace. Okay. That that's that's sort of concerning. Rumblings at the university. Your Majesty, we've been hearing disturbing rumblings from the university. Yeah, I heard. Nasty rumors of secret nighttime meetings in one of the older libraries. Lemon parties. The rumor is they're examining the rules of succession. The very rules that put you on the throne. Who, knew, who knows what conclusions they might come to? Let the scholars work their harmless. I feel like I had many, many opportunities to, to lower authority to avoid what the counts are going to do to me. For honestly. And you guys fucking lied to me. And the fucking counts lied to me. They lied to me. I did definitely too late to do anything about it now. We need a spy to uncover their secrets. And I'll put, I'll sweeten the pot, chat. I'll sweeten the deal for you. find out what's going on. It's going to cost 250 coins, but it's okay. We'll get it back. We'll make it back. We'll make it back. We'll make it back, guys. We'll make it back. Not worried. We'll just print more money, guys. We'll just print more money. Your spy is sent to Quail University, disguised as a student of metaphysics, and is given a bag of gold to use for bribes. Alright, so we'll see where that fucking takes us, okay? The kingdom's mil- this came to pass. The kingdom's militaries are in shambles. The pansies couldn't fight their way through a field of rabbits. I've dra drafted the reform proposals as planned. The council will be more than happy to follow our lead. Good, but we must ensure they don't get skittish. The kingdom must be stable for our proposal to work. For the next stage of the scheme, they must raise stability to five or or more in two seasons. Guys, this 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 fucking game, guys. How could they be so blind, trusting in that fool of a king after everything he's done? Grandees, I need money. Guys, I need money. This is the first time- this is the first time I'm fucking anyone right now. But at the same time... Boy, howdy, do, 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 do the barons have a lot of money? Alright, let's see what the consequences of this are. Your ingenious cousin. Your Majesty, you'll never guess what arrived today. I've decided to set up a salon here on the palace grounds. 
Philosophers, thinkers, the best and brightest will flock here for civilized discussion and delicious food. Anyway, the tents arrived today, the silverware, and the menagerie. Peacocks, doves, a few water deer, they'll give us more to discuss. You'll allow it, won't you? Stop this, now. <laughs> I'm leaving the capital today, I can't stand in a minute longer. You do not hear from him after he leaves. Perhaps that bodes well. Your Grace, you are, of course, the greatest king of this century. It's true. Indeed, I'm sure that soon all will kneel before you. But your power could be even greater. Death comes for us all. But what if it didn't have to? What if you could be the greatest king of... For all... The greatest king for all millennia? <laughs> I won't lie. That sounds delightful. I don't know if that's even possible. There you may be wrong, Your Highness. I happen to possess some knowledge that may interest you greatly. There are opportunities beyond what any of us had imagined. If you are strong enough to take them, I can arrange more meetings so we, that we may discuss this matter further. The door bursts open. Ah, uh, so he got to you first, no matter. The Counts have agents everywhere and they've been building up your strength. But there's something more sinister afoot. Their ultimate aim is to recruit you into a cult of immortal blood drinkers. What a tale. All we want is to help the king. Is this true? Of course not. This is heresy of the highest order. The council must know. Okay. Guys, I had so many fucking opportunities to lower this authority. It's not even funny. This chat fucked me so bad. So fucking bad. It's, 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 it's obscene how bad you guys fucked me. It's, it's, it's disgusting how bad you guys fucked me. Why did you believe the counts? Because I'm stupid. Because I'm stupid. Well, guys... We're 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 doing we're doing this. It's it's another bribe, ja, you, ch Chad. I, I need you to bail me out here, guys. Please bail me out. It's in your best interests. I think some some of the counts see the writing on the wall with this. Read the second option. Sec second option only delays the problem, bro. Second option doesn't fix the problem. You sign a statement saying you're not interested in immortality. Not one bit. That's binding. Why didn't I get paid? Skill issue. Your Majesty, the spy you sent into the university has been picked up by the K palace watch. Hauled from the river, Your Majesty, after a boating mishap. The young spy entered the student body, taken up drinking, and now spends his time composing three-syllable poetry. Your Majesty, read me some of your poetry. Beer at noon. Was this bread? Flatulence. Read me more poetry. Lovely face. Good strong teeth. Is that wig? False monarch, not the boss. I knew it, your majesty. The university is definitely pro plotting against the crown. Perhaps you're even looking to prove your succession was not legitimate. If you can brook the delay, your majesty. The monarch can take a voting option off the table. Okay, so the first one, we sober him up and send him back. It's going to cost another 200 coins. We can arrest the scholar, which is going to raise my authority further, which is not really what we fucking want right now. Okay, so I'm doing this. Cripple the university financially, which apparently gets me money, so I don't know why you would choose something that makes me money. You probably want me not having money. So probably you're going to be choosing the first thing. Yes. 
only one faction would would vote B. That's true. But I'm not taking a chance, especially because, especially because this is the last event of the season. Okay. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this choice not that appealing. All right, we're sending him back to the university, or are we? Holy shit! Holy shit! Everybody who is voting for me to have more money is is so based right now. Cripple the university financially. Also, it has the benefit of being the meme answer. A message is sent to the university demanding a hefty tribute and threatening dire consequences for non-payment. The scholars pay without looking up from their desks. While playing a game of chess, how exquisite the king is drunk with power. But I was thinking, should we really show the king the true secrets of our group? I thought that was the point. Immortality and all that. Yes, but those secrets are meant to be kept secret. What if we pulled the wool over his eyes? Plan of false immortality ritual for the king that will kill him. Goal. Lower own defiance. Your defiance is zero. Induct the king into the real secret society of immortal blood drinkers. Goal. Raise own farming. But you have... You have it at seven. I don't know what it has to be at. It needs to be nine. It needs to be nine. You need farming at nine. Good luck. The gamble is cool. Um, the monarch's choice has to go. Swing votes? Fuck that. Monarch's iron choice. The monarch can mark their preferred voting option. Defiance was literally at purple zero. Sure is. Monarch's iron choice. The monarch can mark their preferred voting option if chosen. They gain plus one authority. Guy, to be fair to them though, it, it is very easy to raise for me to raise defiance in this game. Okay. I mean, you're just never gonna choose my preferred option. Like, what's the fucking point? You're just not gonna. You're just not gonna. You're just not gonna vote for it unless you you really need to, right? The gamble is cool. Gotta go with swing. Fuck swing. Five hundred treasury. If the nobles vote for the selected option. If the nobles vote otherwise, they remove the treasury. Um, okay, let's try this one out. Modernization proposals. Your Highness, the Barons of the March plan to have the Council push through a number of military reforms for the good of the Kingdom, but they are designed to consolidate March or control over our ranks. The Barons are waiting for a period of stability that will allow them to pass the necessary amendments while everyone's guard is down. Unless there are some drastic developments within the next few months, I predict they will be proposing these reforms very soon. You bring the revelations, which the Barons wholeheartedly deny, to the Council. 
accuse the barons of treason. Well, guys. I don't think I have to explain that everybody who is not a Baron should be voting for A. Do I even need to bribe you guys for this? Do I even need to bribe you guys? Do I even need to bribe you guys? No, in fact, in fact, I'll use this because why do you, why why would why would counts or grandees b vote for the other two? Why would they? Why why would they? For the meme? For the fucking meme of it? Also, my stability is dropping, which may cock 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 their scheme even further. Although my stability does need to be high for my win condition. But you know what? I don't think I'm having a child with this woman anyway. She is very frigid. Very frigid. Fucking ice cold. Council chamber erupts with shouts and insults, accusations, formal and informal, circulate throughout the kingdom, shocking everyone, peasants in the march and beyond, protest the reforms, derisive cartoons are posted on tavern notice boards while priests warn against trusting the self-serving barons in their wicked ways. You could only hope it will be enough to delay the reforms. We'll fucking find out. We'll fucking find out. The rogue golem is back. Uh, my liege. Okay. Add it to the marcher army. Remember we the last time we did that and it, like killed a bunch of them. <laughs> Um So uh we have me and me and the barons have a little tussle going on right now over the stability um I think if you're, I mean, you you may be, I mean, if you're a grandee, you, you want to raise defiance, you want to raise the baron's defiance, but can I be honest with you guys? Like, like, like ask yourselves an honest question. Do, do, do you really think you're going to pull this off? Guys, at this point. Like, do you really do you really think it's worth it to 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 vote for D just to just to raise defiance a little bit? Do you really think it's worth it just to raise defiance a little bit? You know, like I mean, like if you go for stability, I mean, like you you could try to get the stability up, but all that does is help the barons. So I mean, keep all that in mind, and I guess vote for what you want. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even veto that, because I don't think. Because that's just so dumb. However, it's it's winning by like a lot. I mean, it's fucking stupid. It's just a wa It's just a waste of what you're doing is a fucking waste. And fuck you, it didn't work. Fuck you, it didn't work. Fuck you, it didn't work. Fuck you. Fuck you, it didn't work. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. 
It works out exactly as described. The golem works tirelessly, grinding flour day and night. Yay! Your Majesty, help us. Baron Lim Lima Bees of the March has been bleeding us dry. We saw this one before. Okay, it's taxes. Okay, um... What about the poor peasant's cows? Um, you're clearly having a hard time lowering defiance, lowering farming for the, for the, for the barons. What about the cows? Okay. Okay. Um, authority up. Right? It doesn't matter anymore. Stability is not going to be affected here, unfucking fortunately. Um, what's the what's the one I don't want to happen? Let's veto it. No, there isn't one. Throw Baron Lyabees into the dungeon to te teach him a lesson. Defiance is going to go up slightly, but also my authority will go up. You guys will cost you money. This one makes you money. Defiance goes down. Irrelevant. Farming goes down. Irrelevant. This one, Defiance goes up. Treasury goes up. And it costs you money. If that one happens. But, I'll tell you what. Mm, you picked that one. Bribe A. Why? So I can have more authority? Bribe for B. To lower defiance? Meaningless. I think if anything, bribe C. You still lose? You still lose 250? Yeah, but you're going to make some of it back. You'll make some of it back. It's a little, it's a little quid pro quo. Right? It's like a tax return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bribed. Another successful bribe. Okay. They're a little bit madder now. They're okay. They'll get over it. They'll get over it. They'll get over it. They'll get over it. After several rounds of deliberations, the council approves wide-ranging reforms to the kingdom's standing armies. The barons are the major contributors to the new model army, having volunteered the expertise of Mantower in these trying times. Meanwhile, in a foreboding march or fortress, the barons are celebrating. They went for it. We must make final preparations. What is your final scheme? March on the capital with the full strength of the new model army. Or quietly force the king to abdicate by lowering his authority. Uh, it's probably going to try to make you raise it to nine. If it's anything like the other scheme, the one that the, that the, the counts are doing, it's probably going to want you to raise it to nine. So you only need to get that up by one, one point. Or it's already there. We'll need a sizable home garrison to repel opportunistic attacks from other reasons. It has to be 10. You need it to be 10. Okay. My hair. Your quest for an heir is finally complete. She get she fucking had the baby. She had the baby. The baby. She had the baby. Your Majesty, I want to be the first to congratulate you on the birth of the child. The name is Pinwa Tu. 
Most pleasing, your highness. They'll grow up to be a chip off the old cock. A spot of heresy. Your Highness, I'm stunned, outraged, and incensed that I've been summoned to trial by the Inquisition on a nonsense fabricated charge. They're claiming I'm part of a cult because of the peculiar design of my crest and how I have exactly ten people at every meal and the strange noises from the hidden chambers. It's ridiculous. No one dares defend me on their own. They're too scared of the High Inquisitor. My trial is set, but the Council must intervene, Your Majesty. Though she remains silent, the Council is keenly aware of the High Inquisitor's steely gaze from across the chamber. So we can search for a witness to defend Countess Pseudopod, or we can help the Inquisition gather evidence against Pseudopod. Or suggest she pray for a good outcome. Okay. I will bribe A. You know, I'm wondering if bribing you so often is fucking me in the ass. Because now, the next time you get an opportunity to build a building, the barons are absolutely going to get a barracks funded and raise their military with a fucking building. And the counts are going to do the same thing for farms. You distribute a proclamation among the counts asking for witness of pseudopods. And the barons are broke. I just gave them all my... I just gave everybody money. Conte Orion eventually comes forward, claimed to have known pseudopods since childhood and that her devotion to the ninth god is second to none. I gain stability. I gain money, apparently. The High Inquisitor finds a little, little solid evidence that could work against such a testimony. She drops the charges and pays compensation, compensation to Pseudopod, who sends me money as a thank you. Your volatile cousin. The Spymaster strolls into the library, dragging cousin Lord Fitzalbert by the scruff of the neck. He wriggles half-heartedly with a sulky scowl. I've intercepted a number of threatening letters from your cousin. Nothing of concern, but recently he hired an assassin against you. A very poor one at that. You treated me dreadfully. Why shouldn't I move against you? They were an amateur. Frankly, I'm amazed he didn't trip over and stab himself before he got the chance. But your cousin's actions raise concern. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Exile, perhaps. Exile for Fitzalbert. Or put him in a monastery. That means nothing. Um, I don't really want you guys fucking with my stats. And I don't, I don't like uh, uh, the defiance happening here. So I'm going to veto that. And you could choose between these two. I think the exile would be cooler. And it has more of a chance to succeed in seeing something cool. Probably be cool. Exile his ass. Send him over the, sh the, the narrow sea. <laughs> and he's getting exiled. Pretty fucked up. Loaded on a ship to Dania where they don't care for aristocratic titles, he shouldn't gain much traction there. Got some more stability. Several marcher merchants sent you letters of gratitude. Your cousin has been a thorn in their side for some time, incessantly begging for free gifts. Hey, as long as it didn't raise their military stat.
And here comes the part where you build the fucking fortress. That's based. Remember, guys, if you allow the barons to build that, they win the game. They win the game. Similarly, if you allow the counts to build the aqueduct, they win the game, guys. Um, want to... Want to just make sure everybody everybody understands that. Just want to make sure everybody understands. Someone like how somebody in chat was like, "I think red is broke." So guys, why the fuck are you funding a uh, library? Uh, in the Grandies, why why are you doing that? Why are you guys funding a fucking library? It, 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 it might help me somewhat, but it's not gonna help me nearly as much as 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 fucking forcing the stupid barons to build a fucking thieves guild. You know, like actually the. This fulfills neither of their win conditions, if I'm if I'm seeing this correctly, because they have to. Counts have to get it to nine. Military has to get it to ten. But it's brought a lot closer, which is still terrifying. Right. My ambition. Please tell me it was nine. At the start of your reign, you said you wanted to be a peacekeeper. You've succeeded on that front. The kingdom is peaceful. You've rena you're renowned for your mercy and wisdom. But to shut down your noble scheming for good, you need to build on the reputation. Your advisors have ideas. I've never gotten this far. The common folk are a sleeping giant that even the nobles are afraid to wake. If you become beloved by the peasants, the nobles won't dare overthrow you for fear of revolution. My advice, on the other hand, would be to infiltrate each region with loyal spies, defeat their schemes with schemes of our own. But the Chancellor has other ideas. Create a kingdom-wide spy network. Stability and trade. Become beloved by the common folk. Stability and farming. Is it possible if I pick the second choice that it raises the farm, uh, the counts farming to the stat that they needed to be to win? Somebody said maybe, and I don't like the maybe because I know trade is completely fucking irrelevant to everybody right now. So we're going to do the first one. Your priority is to raise the kingdom's stability and overall trade as much as you can. And of course, there can't be open rebellion. A growing crowd. Your Majesty, something is... They didn't give me exact stats. Something is happening at the university. Again with this fucking university. This fucking clown college. People are massing outside the library of old law. Are they giving out wine? We should go. It's true. People are gathering in the university courtyards, trying to catch a glimpse through the windows of the library, and they are muttering. Okay. Um, arrest everyone? It has a 70% chance to go the way, to go, to go, to go, I guess, the good, the good fucking outcome? Burn it. Well, I, I don't know if we need to burn it, man. I don't want to be that guy. Right? I'll be honest with you. I don't give a fuck what happens as long as it doesn't raise the Baron's military or raise the Count's farming. My stability went down, bro. It succeeded and my fucking stability went down. What? Why? What about Quail University itself, guys?
Okay, so th this this gets vetoed. And then um I guess you could try to undermine my fucking authority if you want. You could try to lower my authority if you want to be little bitches about it. Go ahead. If you want to be a, if, it's 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 actually an irrelevant stat to me. So I I I say bribe C. No, I'm going to save the bribe for something more important, honestly. I'm going to save it for something like my, more important cuz this this lowering my authority at this point means absolutely nothing. Cuz dude, they look at their defiance. Veto is way more valuable. Yeah, but there was no way I could risk my stability being lowered further. Ooh. Oppressive. A likely-looking egghead is found and dragged into the dungeons. He moans and pleads for ink and paper and can be heard well into the night. Later, nerd! Okay, we have a ghoulish problem. Your Majesty, we're having terrible problems in the East. The people have lost faith in the Ninth God and churches are being left to crumble. I don't care. Without priests to perform the rites, the dead are rising as ghouls from their abandoned crypts. There have been nine attacks in the last week alone. Dark news indeed. We must remind the Eastern folk they are lost without the Ninth to protect them, especially once they've passed. Looks like, uh... Employ the ghouls as a source of cheap labor. Which has a 50% chance to... I don't know. Succeed in some way. Um... First one says, send more priests to the east. Defiance goes up. Faith goes up. And that's stupid. These two increase my stability. This one will co this one will cost money. It'll raise farming. That's interesting. So, guys, if if the if if, if C wins, purple wins the game. Purple wins the game instantly, and this ends. Too bad you don't have a veto. I I am aware of the irony, chat. I am aware of the fucking irony, guys. D might also end in a purple win. Okay, well, here's my bribe. My bribe is for B. Okay? My stability will go up. Authority can take that hit. I'm trying to seduce you guys, as many of you as possible, away from voting for C. I mean, at least vote for D, okay? We want trade. Yeah, but we don't know what's going to happen. This is, this is, we have no idea what this means or what's going to happen, guys. If, if you vote for this. I'm curious, but I don't know if it's going to do anything. The A option is S. Yeah. There's just not enough for you to clinch this uh, counts. I bet the ghouls will work the land and it will boost farming. Perhaps. Burning bodies goes against our holy teaching. Fire is for heretics and demons. You'll regret this. Pagan as it may be. The practice of cremation does prevent the ghouls from rising. Very cool. Okay. Tax time. I want to give a big shout out to the grandees for being so based. This entire time, guys. You guys have been very based and epic. And um, I really appreciate it. 
So that's happening, obviously. Ambition. Spy network. Okay. All goes according to plan, your majesty. Let me show you. Your spy master takes you through a secret passage in your own office you didn't know was there. You emerge in a chamber where hooded figures are waiting. These are my agents. Highly skilled men and women. They can blend into a crowd as effortlessly as they can slip a knife between a traitor's ribs. How can we be sure of their loyalty? You can rely on these agents. Soon they will infiltrate the courts of all the nobles on your council disguised as traveling bards. One of them tosses aside her cloak and reveals a loot and a colorful costume of a troubadour. With charm and flattery, they'll worm their way into your nobles' hearts and minds. And then we will have a spy network the likes of which the world has never seen. I hope to make even the Gaunt of Tavalin look like rank amateur amateurs. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that! Haha, <laughs> yeah, what, what, what you said. Joke's on her. I don't have a heart or a mind. <laughs> Did I win? Absolutely not. In fact, my defeat is one event away. Um, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on really, really, really uh, shaky ground right now. Can they give us a song? It's not bad. Your toe is tapping. This should put a stop to their foolish schemes. A word of caution, however. The plan is for spies to spread via existing trade networks. As a result, we need to ensure the kingdom's economy is robust. Uh, we also need a stable kingdom to lull your nobles into a false sense of security. Fortunately, I see you have this well in hand. Your goal is to raise the trade and stability as high as you can. Give me numbers, woman. Give me numbers. Give me numbers. To what? A vanity project. The chief architect. Yo, if the numbers have to be 10, 10, and 10, and 10, for all, for all three trade stats and the stability stat... Then this game is Omega fucked. It, it, it can't be that fucked, guys. It can't be that fucked. It can't be. It can't be that fucked. It just influences your end game role. Statues can be torn down, paintings can be burned. Don't you think it's time you left a lasting mark on this kingdom? I propose we carve your majesty's visage into the side of a mountain. Hmm. That does sound pleasing. I'm glad you think so, your majesty. Call a vote to discuss the outrageous plan. Okay. <sighs> Ed, queen, consort, Bologna, 3,000, 3,000 fucking holy shit. And the defiance drops... The nobles will fund it. Wealth goes down. Defiance up. This is an idea best left forgotten. Yeah. 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 We're, we're going to bribe. We're going to bribe this. Yeah. We're going to bribe that. A lot of you are not going to go for this bribe. I, I, know, I know that. I know a lot of you aren't going to go for it, but... It is the best option for everybody involved. Guys, how are you gonna how are you gonna afford the buildings to upgrade your military and your and your and your farms if you don't if you don't take the bribe? Right, guys? You need money to, to, to buy that shit, right? Your money in no way affects the game, but chat always wants more of it. It absolutely affects the game. What are you talking about? Look at that. Oh my god. When do I fucking win? The scholar you arrested, your highness. He has been teaching the officers 
guarding his cell, the economic sciences. And now they're negotiating for better pay. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. So pay them more. As you wish, my liege, there are quite a lot of them. Your officers are extremely pleased with their pay raise and congratulate themselves on their newfound negotiation skills. The scholar turns his attention to teaching them politics. Fucking yikes. I think I'm happy with my bribing and the iron choice and the and the well the iron choice is like whatever at the, at this point. Yo, stop the count could be fun. Call for unity is OP. Plus one stability if more than 50% of nobles will for any one option. This will put you into so many fucked situations right now. Because you'll have to cho you'll have to choose between giving me a stability point and and like or or like fucking yourself. That's going to require honestly though, using that effectively is going to require some massive fucking brain power on my part and it might not be brain power that I possess. Ambition spy network. You're sifting through paperwork one morning when you look up to find the spy master standing before you. Between two fingertips, she clutches a tiny scroll as small as a cherry stem. It's a scroll for ants. This is a message from one of our agents in the field. I sent her to Grandee Shore Why Not's Manor disguised as a caroler armed with a flute, a lute, and a book of hymns. Why are you sending spies to the grandees when they are very obviously the least of our issues right now? Open it. The spy master come. The spy master studies the scroll for a moment and then sighs, holds it over a candle flame. She was turned away at the gates. There's no money for entertainers at the moment and little reason to celebrate with song and dance. To improve your chances of victory, Focus on increasing the kingdom's stability and trade as much as possible in the next two seasons. The challenge will decrease in difficulty with each failed attempt. So you're telling me if that succeeded, I would have won the game? Okay, I'm going to tell you something right now. As far as I'm fucking concerned, regardless of what happens... I did just win the game. I did just win the game. Yeah, but you get another roll. You get to roll again next season. Yeah, and guess what happens before next season? The March build. The March builds another barracks, and the and the fucking East builds another farm. I lost. This this I got excommed by this game. Your Highness, this comb br fucking clay comb, clay comb cock brained cock brain has besmirched my honor. They spread rumors that my sword is a fake. We're doing this again? You want to have another duel? Those damn grandees think they can challenge members of the council whenever they like. Okay, they're doing another duel. I don't care. Give them a colostomy. Colostomy bagel. Honestly, I have had enough. Arrest both of these fools. Arrest them. Do it. You know, is that going to lower my stability or something? It's going to lower my... It's going to do something where it, like, lowers my stability. It is. It will. It will. It, they, well, it doesn't tell you, and it won't tell you that. It'll tell you other shit, but it won't tell you that. Go ahead, have the duel. 
Uh, colostomy bagel jumps backwards. Okay, the sword cuts cleanly through colostomy bagel's clothing. Grandy dado potato wins this time. Throw yellow a bone. This is the bone. What more do you want from me? Bravo, nicely fought, and the defiance cannot go down. Hooray! What a waste of an event. Red Hot Chilies. Ooh, it's like a... It's like a, a heat contest. No, Baron J Varg Skeletor, you're not supposed to fucking eat the whole bag of beans. No! I can't take it anymore. Baron Anthony spits out his chili, and the council hall erupts into cheers. They're gambling on this. Let me try. Of course, Your Highness, we compete in growing, but also eating the peppers. As the winner of the last round, I would be honored to face you. Bite into the pepper. No, I'm not going to pretend. You bite hard into the pepper, but the spice is immediately overwhelming. You choke and spit it out as the other nobles cheer, and my authority goes down. Who cares? As long as it's not fucking stability. Your Majesty, perhaps you'd like to sponsor my growing contest. No, Kit! No, my liege! You're GERD! I'm looking for the hottest chili in the land. The winner will receive a hefty cash prize. Or you could sponsor us. Counts. With the treasury support, we'd be sure to win. No, the king should sponsor us. We have the better chance and everyone knows it. Sponsor the competition and double the prize money. Huh. Looks like there are two options that raise farming. King, you have to veto C. Y y y yeah, well... Okay, so this this is my only chance of 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 winning now. I have to bribe B and hope uh, and hope enough of you take the bribe. That is this that that's it. That's the only way I that's my only prayer of winning. And a lot of you are going for the fucking bribe. Which is beautiful. It's a shame that these raise farming because they also raise trade. Right? Chad is throwing because they want to go to bed. You think that's is that what's going on? Is that what's going on? Which one of the plucky regions will you sponsor? I will sponsor fucking neither of them, bro. Okay, why can't I sponsor the grandees? Okay, if I sponsor the barons, trade goes up. The farming goes up for the barons, not for the counts. Yes. Good, yes. <clears throat> yes, good, 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 yes. Good. Excellent choice, my liege. We won't let you down. The contest is a success. Premier Fear of the Barons comes out on top, producing a sickly-looking pepper that makes even Grandy Pigeon Liquor Professional gasp for water. And they lick pigeons. Spicy pigeons. Oh, look. As an added bonus... To your wise choice and sponsorship, the chili craze injects new life into ailing farms throughout the kingdom. Cool. That's awesome.
What a good game. What a what a good game this is. What a good what a good fucking fucking game. Oh my god, what a what an awesome game this is. Such a based game. Hold up. The Eternal Monarch. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm losing. I'm, lo I'm losing. I'm losing. Yeah, this this is this is the lose fucking what what a holy fuck. Okay, I'm telling you right now, I am not fucking playing this again until this game gets a massive fucking patch that 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 fixes this shit. Is 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 that fucking fair, guys? There is an over. I want to say an overwhelming majority of this chat was actually trying, was actually fucking making choices deliberately to fucking like cause me to win, and this still happens to me. Can we now finally agree how fucking unbelievably stacked this is against the fucking king? It is unreal how fucking stacked it it, it is. And you know what else is disgusting? That the mods are gonna have to pay out to the, to the, to the, to the fucking, to the counts for this. I'm taking a short trip to the east. It's nightfall when you arrive. Wait, wait, wait till, wait till it's, wait till it's done, done, Wisp. Wait till it's done, Wisp. Count we twenty four hurries you inside, a cold, down cold stone steps to the cellars. You blink in the darkness. You follow him into a wide chamber lit with dozens of candles. A circle of sigils is daubed on the floor with something thick and dark. There's a strange quality to the stone that you walk. Spirits are with us this night. I'm not sure about this. They pass around the chalice. It's with blood in it. I have to drink it. You know what? I've got a bit of a headache. Back away from all this. You've broken the circle. The counts gasp and then attempt to chant once more with fear in their voices. But your feet are fused to the ground. And no matter how much you struggle, you cannot move. As you look down, rock spreads up your legs. You are becoming a statue. Your last thought before everything goes to black is to make sure you strike a flattering pose. Could have taken immortality. I I was just like praying there was something that 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 this fr frankly fuck this game. Okay, until they patch this, this game can eat my ass. I I want a massive fucking a massive buff to being the fucking king. You you got you gotta be you gotta be fucking kidding me with that shit. We're we're at a point where like the the majority of the chat is is deliberately trying to make me win and that still happens. What the actual fuck? It's just a, I think I think you need you I, Wisp. I think you need to pay it out to the to the counts. You need you need to no you need to pay it out to the counts. Thank you. 
I'm fucking heated, dude. There's already enough RNG just getting events. I don't think there should be sub RNG nonsense like that. Yeah, because you're getting like... The RNG event happens. And then like... The things that you, that they that they choose to do also impacts your stats. We're going to do another one. Um he chose purple voted to kill him instead of giving him immortality. He chose to do that entirely on his own. Dude, I wanted... I didn't want immortality. I wanted to fucking win! I'm joking, obviously. Um, Guys, again, thank you for being here. Thanks for playing this with me. It was... um, uh, uh, I, get, I guess it was fun. Do me a favor, guys. Especially if you're new here. Check out the uh, links I just posted. It's my social media stuff. It's my um, YouTube channels. Again, especially follow the full stream YouTube channel. Subscribe to the full stream YouTube channel because... Honestly, like... I, I am convinced that this, this website is, is not long for this earth. And... When it's when it's over, I'm going to be streaming on YouTube, I think. Probably on that full stream channel. So in preparation for that, please subscribe to the full stream channel. Also, furthermore, there's a link to my Discord. I'm going to ask you guys to uh, join that Discord or at the very least just get in there and like just stay in the default role for stream notifications. What's hap- Why do you think so? What's happening to Twitch? I don't want to get into it right now. I- I just... I don't feel- I don't- I don't feel good about it. I don't feel good about- I don't feel good about the future of this website. Um... Twitch might be too big to fail. Twitch has been dying for the last five years. What's different? Recession. Recession? It's owned by Amazon. Okay. It's not, yeah, yeah, it's not, Twitch is not too big for Amazon to, to kill it, gut it, and cannibalize it. Yeah. Amazon is killing so many projects right now. Yeah, it's, it's not good, guys. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think, yeah, I don't think this website is going to survive Honestly, the ne the next few years, I'm I'm serious. I, I really. YouTube YouTube will be fucking fine. YouTube is YouTube's not going anywhere, which is why. I'm I'm asking you guys, to help me get those those sub numbers up, because. That's gonna be, the next chapter of my career. Honestly, I think. I really, I really do think this. So just, yeah, I, I really, for for a variety of reasons, I don't, I don't see this website surviving. You know, this this recession coming up. Um, Anon, thanks for the gift sub. I'm gonna look at art right now. Uh, so if you made art, please put it on the Buru guys. Let's start with this one. It's from Arthur Fgus. Some of you will will recognize the birthday elf here. Right. Got 
Guys, keep an eye on your fingers. You gotta wa watch your fingers around this guy. I like the toothpick. Nice touch. Right. Watch your feet. Uh, don't whatever you do. Don't rub his nose, no matter how cute he is. Uh, here's something from Bored Lizzie Wax. Looks like some. Um, smart of me. All right. Sire. The brand new burger you can fuck. This burger is better than sex. <laughs> the, the logo is changed to Burger Sire. Right? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so great. Free money, guys. Oh, thank you so much, Lizzie. Um, we also got this. It's from Aether. It's, uh, it says... Oh. Of manta rays and Italians. And you can see there's an Italian flag and a pizza cutter. And a little manta ray. That's weird, right? Well, here it is. Wattpad. And here's a Wattpad link. The Peppino X Big Man fanfic chapter one is done. You can thank BJ Kircher for the cover art and some topics in the story. Please give us your honest thought and criticism so we can improve. Okay, maybe. I, I don't I don't necessarily know that to be quite honest with you guys. I, I wanna start a habit of um fanfics during the art segment because that is going to become very exhausting for me. And bad for my throat if I have to read fanfics at the end of every stream. So I'm gonna kind of put the kibosh on that, but um, I I we will we I will look at this at one point. I'm not. It's 5 a.m. I'm not looking at this now. Obviously, I'm gonna tell you I will read this next stream, and then I I don't think we're gonna keep um doing this. Okay, be just just again because of the reasons I just gave you. Um, we we can't have. Giant text blocks in, in, in the art segment, guys. Uh, it's, just, it's not gonna work for me. Um, we did, we do have a no walls of text rule. Um, that it, there is, a, there is a rule ab about it, but we will, we will check this out at, at some point, guys. But yeah, for sure, not now. Um, thanks for being here, everybody. I hope you had fun. I did have fun. Yes, this game made me fucking mad a couple of times, but I did have fun. Um, and guys, I will see you all, I think, Monday night. All right. Take it easy, everybody. And we will stream this again, but like I said, after they fucking buff the king. Because right now he's mega cucked. Mega cucked. Let's play that again. <laughs>